Well, that's... Oh, no. Maybe the audio comes later. Can you hear us now? We have to pay... Yes, you have to pay more for audio. Come on now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Sub for audio. Everyone will be getting their audio bill post-haste. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, we're dot good. .com, .org. We're good. We're good. Hey, Liz, how's it going? It's going pretty good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we spent are, an hour looking for Aaron. I so. went to my first class in like 15 years. It was awesome. Christine Van Patten, take her classes. It's cool. But um, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't think I had to be anywhere. Yeah. And that's what happened. That is exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. We're here now, right on time. We are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> All right. So, well, yeah. What are you going to be painting today? I'm painting this. Yeah, we're representing bust. Minish Monthly. It is Radagast Refugiden. I'm sorry, can you? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. She doesn't either. <laughs> the Ravager. The Ravager. R the Ravager. R the Ravager. Yeah. No, super freaking cool sculpt by Julie Guthrie. Yes. Um, she makes some of my favorite dragons. She's like, it's a super cool dragon. Also, so, hey, there's hey, other. That's my other arm. Liz. There's other oh, other Liz. Where? Uh, Raven Day. Oh. Other yes. other Liz. There, that is and the other. And Mike other. Disney. Hello. Other other Liz. <clears throat> Good to see you guys too. Yeah. We're doing great. This is probably my best performance ever at ReaperCon. I've been telling oh everyone God. that. Oh my God! Here we go again. To make sure they know. Um, yeah. Hello, Valander. If you're not here, you're missing a good show. But we're glad you're here yeah. live on Reaper Vex. Yeah. So anyways, this is a really cool dragon. Um, Julie is like the nicest person ever. She really and is. she makes the scariest looking dragons. Like yes. it's just awesome. Yes. And I love them because I like scary dragons. So we're gonna be putting this dragon together and Painting some of it today. And if you guys have questions out there in the uh, the, the nether worlds, the ether worlds of the nether ether, just go ahead and ask. It's cool. Yeah. I'll answer. We're going to treat this like an AMA. AMA. I don't even know what that is. That means ask me anything. Oh, okay. I just thought it was short for America. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah. No. no. All right. Well, it's, anyways. Nope. I'm going to put glasses on because I'm blind as a bat. Um, by the way, I taught my n and class this year, blind as a bat, because I couldn't find my uh, glasses. So. They were in your bag. It's, Welcome you to know. my, they were, they were in, my, in my teaching bag that I didn't bring with me to class. So. Yeah. It worked out very Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Okay, so this is a knife, standard issue, military grade. Um, Please don't cut your finger. I'm going to try not to cut my finger. So I may not clean this the best ever because... Um, I don't think anybody wants to watch me clean this model forever, but... Yeah. Also, if you're using an X-Acto blade, please do not use it the way that Aaron is currently using it, which is cutting towards your body. You actually cut away from your body. Yeah. I don't... Do as we do, not as... No, do I mean, as do we as we say, say not as we yeah. do. Sorry, Proctor distracted me with... And, uh, he, well, he's been a major pill this con. Oh, you stop. <laughs> Which, by the way, Michael Proctor actually painted the box art for this. Yeah. And it looks fantastic. I looked at it. It's super pretty. I don't tell him, but I licked it. Yeah. I licked so how, how are y'all doing? How's it going? I'm going to ask you the same question I always ask you. What did you have for food today? Yeah, not dinner, because we're not there yet. I mean, some parts of the world, maybe. Yeah. Also, glad to hear that the audio issues are resolved, because... Hearing us is part of the fun. It's the most special thing ever. <laughs> um, maybe. Oh my gosh, you were making me really nervous with that executive blade. It's 12.45 a.m., so barely time for breakfast. Yeah, uh, that is super a little bit late, for breakfast. late slash early for breakfast. Yeah. 10.45 a.m., so coffee and cereal. Oh, that sounds delicious, actually. What kind of cereal? Like, Lucky Charms? Yes. Lucky Charms are the best. 
They are pretty good. They're good with almond milk, actually. Yeah, that is true. Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its and Pepperidge Farm Chestnut. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it might be a little unhealthy, but that sounds delicious. I'd eat that. You really are making me nervous. Well, Why don't you use like some clippers? I don't have clippers. Oh. Yeah, we're that fine. would make it hard we're, to yeah, it's a little difficult. use. Raymond, well, Raymond and, uh, and I said I would love. Oh wow, I can't read. I would love it to have been Lucky Charms, but I stick with Cheerios. Cheerios are really good. Are they like Honey Nut Cheerios or like plain? You gotta be specific. Chestnut or the bomb? I don't think I've ever had chestnut. Are those cookies? What's chestnut? Um, I think it's like a chest game or something. I don't think so. Oh. oh. I can hear myself better now. Whoa, that was weird. It's like I'm talking in my own yeah. head. All right. So a Honey clipper would have been cool, but we don't have a clipper. Well, it's fine. There's a really big piece right there. Let me get the, the uh, other. You're doing great. Sometimes when I'm modeling, I just gnaw stuff off, but usually not resin. That's I not, would not do that with resin. That'd be like you. that one time that I accidentally ate resin dust, because I thought I was. You ate resin dust? You don't like remember? Like on your cereal? No, like I was. I was eating a snack, okay, and then I was also cleaning a model. Like, that look at this to be delicious resin. resin and dust. I was like, oh, I dropped crumbs. And so I licked my <laughs> finger, picked it up, and then licked it again, and it was resin dust. That it was, was not crumbs. The best story I've ever heard. I can't believe that I didn't tell you that. I thought I had. Yeah, I thought you were going to be like, and then that one time I was fixing you your morning coffee. And, and I, I, just I just put resin dust in, your, in there. Yeah. That's your creamer for the day. It no, explains a lot, really actually, do. but. Uh, Butter cookies, that's what chessmen are. I love butter cookies. Ooh, I like butter cookies too. I'm sorry, so this I didn't is really realize making me nervous. ReaperCon um, sounds like a soup kitchen in the background. There's like banging sounds and just random things. Did anyone notice that? Maybe it's just when you're I think it just sounds like a convention. A like soup a, kitchen? Yeah, like a soup kitchen. I don't think you should compare Reapercon to a soup kitchen. No, no, no. The sound of Reapercon. Not, I mean, Reapercon, you don't walk in here and be like, wow, this is a Campbell's noodle soup. Usually. I mean, you might. <laughs> Blander said, I can read the box, Frozen, Crants, and Guildenstern, or Dragons. <laughs> yes. I know, Mike. Could, I. Could you send us a sound clip of that? So we can... Yeah. I, I don't know. Aaron compares weird things together sometimes. It's just it's where my mind goes sometimes. Goes to weird places. Right. So why are you so nervous? Who? You, you didn't say that I'm getting really nervous or something. Or am I just hearing things? Did I say that? You did. You're like, I'm getting really nervous. And I was oh, like, oh, oh, because you oh, because have a me very sharp object and you just keep. Gonna, don't let anybody <gasps> do know. Do not. I'm gonna, okay. Oh my God. What do we have? Where do I Here, put this? Here, put it in this. I don't know Quit what. Eat it. No. I'm going to put it in the box. Oh, okay, that works too. Oh my gosh. I guess artists do have to visit soup kitchens from time to time, apparently. Ron better get on that pronto. It could be the Reaper yes. Soup Kitchen. I'm, I bet they would triple attendance. Is yeah. A soup kitchen here. What? And it was like you just came in and you could just get soup whenever you want. It's like a. That would ship. be super fun. I mean, that's technically what I do. Like, I usually just have tomato soup at the. But but as a joke, you'd serve soup that nobody likes. Oh, like split pea soup. Yeah, like like liverwurst soup. Ew. Or something. Yeah, Stewing it's definitely his knife use. It makes me so nervous. Okay. He just well, I, so my knife use is like chopping down a tree right next to your house. You know, it might go well, and it might not. Hmm. Yes, I do love soup, chicken noodles. Split. You like split pea? Like people actually like split <laughs> spit pea. 
I, I that means something like completely split, different. I like split um, pea soup too. Split pea split, soup. Split peas. Yeah, split pea soup. I don't think I've actually ever had split pea. So we started like doing that thing recently where, like, because we, we eat a lot oh. of soup for lunches and stuff because it's quick, easy, whatever. And we've been getting what the Campbell's soup, like all the no oh, chunky and all the all the cool soups. Oh right? yeah. But usually we like I would have one and she would have the other, and we do we do the same. But then one day I think we didn't have the same, and so we're like, what if we just pour it all together? And we yeah. made a new soup. And so now that's what we do all the time because it's actually really good. It yeah. was super good. It feels like you're breaking the rules too. And that's fun. Breaking the law. Yeah, I've never told your mom that we do that because I think she would think less. Of, me, probably. Probably. She would no longer approve. How could you be with someone who mixes soup? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what mom, mom would say. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So if there wasn't a dragon head here, I would have, like, cut my finger off. But there was. That is not right. making me feel more comfortable about that's you using right. this knife. Yeah. <laughs> right in the mouth. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. We got all the hard soup. parts I don't off. even like soup. Split pea with ham chunks? That sounds good, too. I mean, that might be good. I know I've had split pea. I just can't remember what it tastes like. Probably yeah. pea. Like, not like pea pea pea, but like Like, like pea. peas? Yeah, like a pea. I think split pea isn't split pea soup. Just Is it not even peas? peas? I think it's just what mushroom. What if it was like beans but they just called it you know how sometimes they call something something different mm -hmm. to fake you out yeah 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 it could be like tomatoes aren't a vegetable they're fruit but i like to think they are a vegetable like i'm like i'm being so healthy for myself by eating tomatoes which actually are killing me uh, okay. no uh, no yeah. i don't know if tomatoes actually adam lyon said that tomatoes were killing me and i believe everything that adam says that's true which, by the way, I'm bummed he's not here. I know. Super sad. <laughs> he's gotten too big for his britches. He's stop it. Big time businessman. In he house. is a big time businessman. Doing, doing super well. So uh, we're very happy. Samari said, "I don't know if it has a proper name, but we also do one that's great: northern beans, kielbasa, and spinach. That sounds really good." Okay, we'll be right over. Yeah. Our plane flights are not set in stone, so um, just tell us which airport. Stop. And, um, most stitches from cutting a mini. Would you like to tell that story? I have none, but I did cut half of my thumb off. So Not I just, off, I just, just... It was... So the beauty in. of an exacto knife cut, if there is a beauty of it... There's not. ...is it's a good clean cut, especially on a brand new exacto knife. So I... Right through, and it was like right midway through my thumb. We thought the bone stopped it. It didn't. <laughs> And I just kind of squeezed everything back together, and we went, we just kept going. Is I did that spend, what you did? I spent about a no. half an hour on the floor of the game store, which is yeah. disgusting, by the way. He sent me a picture of his thumb, and then he goes, oh, right. I just almost passed out on the floor, and now everybody's laughing at me. It was. People would come in the game store and be like, why is Aaron on the floor? <laughs> I couldn't get up. <laughs> I couldn't get up. I was just like, I'm, I'm gone. Bless his heart. Um, but what was funny was we didn't think it was that bad. And then later that day, Liz, uh, she, when I got home, she was like, could you send me a picture of your thumb? So I just I took the bandaid off and I took a picture. And then I'm, I'm looking at the picture because I'm like, I'm going to blow it up. Because I was too scared to look at my thumb because I'm a, I'm a wham. And I blew up the picture and I'm like, why is there a tiny line halfway through my thumbnail? That's weird. Oh, my God. I almost got my thumb off. It was, to be fair, it was the sharpest exacto knife I have um, ever encountered. I like, it, it was like the Michael Proctor of sharp exacto knives. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means Michael's either. generally awesome, so if there was a, a Michael's Proctor style Like the exacto most knife, awesome exacto knife. Yeah. They'd almost cut my finger off, so. Sure. Pewter Rooster, also I like that name, uh, said super glue is definitely better than stitches. Yeah. So whatever it was, I think it was just so clean and it all stuck together and it didn't really do. So when you cut yourself really bad, like your skin doesn't stick back together perfectly. That's why you got to stitch it, right? Mm -hmm. um, here, let me show you. No. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it didn't do that. I guess my your thumb skin is like kind of tight on there because it's just around bone or whatever, and it, it, it worked out perfect. I'm just now, that was like what, three or four years ago? Yeah. I'm just now getting feeling back in my thumb, so that's a plus. Yeah. I wish that was that way with my feet. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, your feet are, you're never going to get the feeling back to your feet. They're kind of jacked. Good to go. Yeah. Interesting things about Aaron. <laughs> He can't feel his feet. I dropped a I dropped a broken plate on my foot and it stabbed me right in the toe, and um, I didn't I feel can't a thing. Feel it. it was awesome. I walked I, in and the I looked down and there's blood water. everywhere. It was, oh, it was so cool. It's so yeah. cool. I got super glue instead of stitches for both of my surgeries. Hopefully they were like small surgeries. Did they use hobby super glue or was it like an industrial grade doctor super glue? There might there might be like better. I'm probably pretty sure there. I mean, maybe there's not. Maybe, maybe it's just like one of those. It's like, hey, it's sterile. Yeah. Did it? Did it sting really bad? Like, because yeah, like, like when you get super glue in a cut or some, or like in your like the fumes in your eyes, it just burns like crazy. Well, it also burns when you put it on a cut. Yeah. So it seems like. I mean. Why are we talking so much about blood? I don't know. It's really interesting. Yeah. So there's there's your answer to most of just from cutting a mini. Yeah. We um, that is not the best uh, horror story of hobby cutting of things. Of yours? Not of mine, but I, I mean I'm I'm not the I, I don't have like the best cut story. Um, one of my students, uh, a fantastic painter named Will Hahn, you should go check him out on Instagram. Um, and sick Willy miniatures. Um, he oh, he did cut his finger off. He did cut his finger off. With the router. With the router. It was awesome. Yeah. That's not good. Not routing, good. routing a plant. So note to self, just get someone else to do it. Just don't. Yeah. yeah. Just don't. Just don't. They sewed it back on. It's fine. I think it was a metal one. The first one was a spinal fusion down my whole back. The second was dual like, 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 Asian. I can't, I don't know why I can never say that word. Uh, slash hernia here. Uh -huh. So wait, like they super glued their back? They super glued their back. Yeah. That's, I don't know. that's wild. That's crazy. Reaper has an entire triad of blood colored paints. That's why. Ah, uh, that is a good point. Yeah. Says Valander the Red. Oh, yeah. Well, funny. Are you a fan of the, the blood triad? Probably. Am, am I? No, I was oh. talking to Blander. Not you. Not everything's in value, you I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about. Military has been using med medical super glue for stitches for years. Fast and easy to carry. Yes, absolutely. So there, there is a difference between like super glue you buy in a store and medical and, I mean, technically. Super glue. I mean, I guess in a pinch, you know. Like, yeah. I mean, would you Is be able to, like, Super so... Super was actually, wasn't it first made for... It was made for, for that, right? That, like I Vietnam think it was. War or something? Yeah. In fact, little, little known fact, the entire miniature industry was based off of Super Glue that was invented in the Vietnam War. We would not be here if it was not for that. Way. That was a lie. Keep, just keep yeah. cutting your, medi your mini. <laughs> My medical? Your medical mini. <laughs> Bless oh, his heart. Man. Okay. We're good. We're good. I'm going to call this guy um, Nandor the Great. You know, oh, okay, I was about to say, we don't have any yeah, super glue. Uh, I do. You did You did bring some. Look at you being smart and stuff. This is the world's cutest tiny super glue thing. What, what am I doing? I don't know. Why did you go up? Oh, nope, okay. nope, nope, oh. stop. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> get, a, get a close up of the super glue. <laughs> I mean, why not? Super glue is important. I love Reapercon because you just go crazy a little bit more each day. It's yes. awesome. Yes. So, who's coming to Reapercon next year? Yeah. I saw Raven Day said that she was going to bring um, soup next year. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it has been really fun, and we're doing a bunch of, uh, we've been doing a bunch of uh, 
miniature monthly stuff. We've been hanging out with all the miniature monthly people. Yeah. But you don't necessarily have to be in miniature monthly to hang out with, to us. Hang out with us and do all our miniature monthly stuff. So uh, everyone is welcome. We do have super nice uh, shirts. We've got this these. Year. They're legit. I am the, the fart ninja. You're um, the fart ninja. Can I say fart on live on air? Well, sweetheart saying is just you did. just did. Yeah, no, I think you're fine. This is really runny super glue. I didn't realize that this is kind of going everywhere. Uh, well, it is an Aaron Mini. It's OK. It can be messy. Um, I got to judge. I got to prejudge the contest last night. Yeah. Uh, my team is doing, I have Elizabeth Beckley on my team and Ian Markin this year. Because Tish forsook us, forsake us, For forsaken us. She Tish Walter left you. I think I saw her minis, her contest minis this year, and they're freaking amazing. Uh -huh. And I think she leveled up so much that she's like, I'm done with I'm you done guys. I'm done with you. I'm We're going to go somebody else. I'm now. going to greener uh, pastures? pastures. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah. So. Also, I think she just wasn't available Friday night, so she's doing it Thursday. Yeah. But we decided, because we're doing, I'm making my famous French toast for everyone at the Miniature Monthly Make. Uh, meet up, meet up tonight. tomorrow. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. tonight. Um, we were like, hey, we need to judge some of the, the dioramas. So my team is judging the dioramas, um, and we there's some really cool stuff in there. Okay. I mean, in all the categories. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, Valander said... So why is the single best STL repair tool for when I make my bases 3D builder that comes default on Windows? Can nobody make anything better? It even stomps all over mesh mixer. I, um, I don't know, because I've never used either of those. Yeah. I just use the, but the thing is, it's, it's, it's just like painting, what do which you is the best use? brush. I, I, uh, I don't mess up my files. Thank you very much. Um, no, I mess Lies. up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lies. So I use Blender, which is a free program on uh, the computer. And it has a 3D print software that, help, that helps. Mm -hmm. But I get what you're saying. It's not like perfect. Like sometimes it, you say fix and the whole mesh gets messed up. Um, so I think that's valuable to know which one works the best and now that you've said that it is the one on, that comes on windows i'm gonna check that out give it a try yeah raven day said i will without fail glue my hands anytime i use super glue same uh i remember one time i used it was a very runny super glue um i can't remember the name of it but i had it all over both of my hands and it was all over my desk and yeah, it was really, really bad. I have no idea what I did. Were you putting your fake eyelashes on? Or? Yeah, it was super yeah. glue. Yeah. You know. You're a baller. <laughs> Look, you really bring it, don't no. you? No. <laughs> no. Like, are those tears? No, it's frozen super glue it's on my face. Glue. running down my face. Just in my eyes. <laughs> no. No. I was gluing, I think I was gluing maybe Malico models or something. I don't know. This was years ago. Uh, I hate dripping it on my clothes. Oh my gosh, yes. Three times now, I've accidentally gotten it on a dress and all hope is lost. Yeah, that, that really stinks. I actually, I got it on a shirt on purpose because I was not smart. Okay, so let me, let me just say. It's new super glue art and she's just like no, drooling I, it all over. I ordered a new shirt. It delivered to the house. And then I used scissors to open the bag that it came in, which in turn also cut the shirt. And so for some reason, I was like, like oh, well, maybe I can like super, glue it, <laughs> super glue it back together. I don't know what I was thinking. It didn't work. But it was just crunchy and I guess I'm okay so note to self away. don't cut that little piece off down here I was wondering what you were the, doing but I was gonna just thing. let you, you just uh, let me fail I just let you yeah. do it yeah. I'm a professional it's okay you uh you have 
putty. You have uh, sculpty stuff. You have putty. But it may not matter. I'll just, I'm just kind of. Do it. Glue it into place, kind of. So. Oh no! This is this is where it gets really messed yeah. up. I think. Uh, you're cutting that crooked. I'm trying to cut it back flat. Fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Any more questions for Aaron? How not to ruin your Reaper Dragon? Or for well, me? I guess I could you also answer there. questions. If you have questions. I do have putty. Where's... I told you it's in that box. The one that I grabbed from the table. It is not in the box. This box? Yeah, it was in the bag in the box. Oh. It's Just... in the other big box. Or is it in one of those bags? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Well, well, whatever. We don't it's need no fine. Putty. It's fine. This will be interesting when this falls off 14 times. Yeah, yeah, you know. It will make the show all the better. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. We'll eventually get to painting. So I think what I want to do is I'll cover, I'll fill that and then just do it this way. Okay. Um, what's one thing you think is essential for painting cons? That's a really good question. Do you want to answer that first? Uh... I mean, first and foremost, getting a ticket. Well. And that's it. All right. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's, let's think about talk. this. Think about this. You're not getting in the car. Okay, so, but like. So, okay, like, if we go past that point. Ticket, you've got your hotel room, you've got everything all together. What do you need to bring with you to make sure that it is a okay. good convention? Full on, bring your brushes and okay. maybe a wet palette because the, yes. in the classes they don't have brushes. Obviously, you bring your own because yes. everyone's licking them and stuff. That'd be disgusting. That would be super gross. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Rita. <laughs> and second, second off, um, they do make you have like the ghetto wet palette. Yeah. So it's like the wet palette, piece of paper on a plate. Sometimes it's just on the table. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so if you brought your own wet palette, that would be awesome. Or if you're more partial to a, a well palette or something like that, just yeah. bring that. It's it, like you can put it in your pocket. Just put it in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they do provide water, so. Yeah, yeah. There's water there's, in there. There's, there's plenty of water. I mean, technically, if you brought nothing except your paintbrush, you would you would still be able to paint. But I'm yeah. just looking at, like, making a better experience for yourself. Yeah. So bring yourself a, uh, like, a hobby brush, like a regular synthetic. And then like a detail or a, you know a fine detail brush that's like Klinsky sable, and then like a bigger like size one or two Klinsky sable, mm -hmm. and then you're set for any class that's being taught. Um, also maybe a dry brush because I don't know, oh, I don't know. I'm sure there's somebody teaching like a dry brush class or something. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so and then the wet having your own wet palette is nice because then the ghetto ones work great, but they, your paints do dry out quicker and stuff. So you know. for those of Plus, you who don't know what he's talking about when he says a ghetto wet palette, it's literally just a plastic plate with a paper towel that has been wet yeah. and some parchment paper on top. It's it's not like, you know, we didn't go to some ghetto neighborhood and steal their palettes. It's keep keep it's working a, on your your model. Yeah. You know, this actually worked out really good. Um, some classes provide materials. Some do, but most do not. Uh, usually they do have the uh, plate with stuff. So the, the classes that provide more materials are like the sculpting classes and stuff. Yeah, we're having an announcement. Yeah. That was an important one, too. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody lost something, and they found Somebody it. Somebody lost That's their all I, <laughs> I don't know. That's what you should have done. You should have done. Well, I probably still wouldn't have heard it. Hesler <laughs> Polychromatic. Greetings from the Wizard Most Wild, everyone. Hello. Ooh, that's wizardy. Welcome to the we're, land we're, of. We're temporarily calling this House of X at Reapercon because. The land of dragons. This is what you get when you watch House of X. All right. But maybe a little bit more chaotic because we're trying oh, to be so professional. All right, we're moving and grooving. We've yeah. almost got this dragon completely painted. It's glued to the base. This 
This is like the new uh, avant-garde pop art. We'll just go. Let's give it some speckles. Done. And we're done. Ta-da! You're welcome. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> now, let's get this Best thing Best painter fun. in the world. So this will be interesting. I think this is glued on solid enough, but we'll find out. Sounds good. That sounds good. So how's everyone's day? How is everyone's day going? <laughs> there we go. How make you ride car? <laughs> I'm awake. I yeah. promise. Kind of. I am half awake. As soon as I saw the warning that the screen screen was stream, I can't talk. Was intended for mature audiences. I knew Aaron must be on it. Yes. <laughs> I'm actually or, really glad that they did put it's, that because it's, it's I was like I, a, a it's little like, worried. It's like a slash, though. It's like extreme or uh, mature audiences slash extremely infantile adults. Y yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. What'd you do? There's, like, there's a huge mold line right on top of his head. I, I just got to get this on. So. <clears throat> Resin miniatures, it's just, well, mold lines are always just a thing. So it's funny because whenever someone gets a model and they're like, oh my gosh, there's literally no mold lines. There are mold lines. There are mold lines. They're just really, really small yeah. and hard to find. And so it's harder to clean them because you can't see them. And then you start painting and they show up. Yep. So I almost prefer a mold line I can see over a mold line. Obviously, I don't want like mold slippage where it's like that, but this isn't mold slippage. It's just... Just mold lines that are at least visible, line. so yeah. I, I I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, doing good. Got myself a five-day weekend for some hobbying and working on my horse here at the army. That's yeah. awesome. Hope you're enjoying you that was gonna happen. <laughs> your weekend. You don't have like a pen vice or anything, like. I do. We're really I've seen prepared. that other box with the putty. Mm. We're good. This is fine. Everything's fine. I've done this at least once before, so I'm pretty sure I know. Maybe just hold the dragon and paint it. And hold it like. Um, I oh. think, I think we should be okay. It's fine. This is we that just was, make. That it. was our heavenly. Uh, the heavenly angel. Angel in our ears. talking to us in our ears. <laughs> my day has been slightly disappointing. I thought my. 3D printer was getting here today, but it's just the filament. Oh, that's super oh. interesting. The printer doesn't. We're not pay. laughing at you. We're laughing with you. We know the um, pain. We know. Uh, yes, we had that. Sorry, we were on I vacation and it showed up. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Uh, the printer doesn't get here until tomorrow. On the brighter side, after a long fussy week with my almost four-month-old baby, oh, baby. Uh, four-month-old baby, he's much more settled down. Today. I was like, That's post good. a picture, but I don't think they can post pictures. They can't post pictures. It would be, Twitch would be a train wreck if pictures could be posted. Yes, like, yeah, agreed, agreed. I just love babies. Not babies for me, I just like everybody else's babies. Because I can give them back. Maybe um, if they just thoroughly describe the baby so we could visually think about well, it. Well, it is a baby. Haha. <laughs> Uh, so when is Liz going to paint on Reaper Vex instead of Erin? I've been working at it, but she just won't do it. <laughs> Actually, oh, wait, what's what happening? Your ears I'm, are just I'm like not... It. So Liz has started her own Twitch stream, and she's thinking about doing some painting on it, too. Yeah, so. I just have to get another, um, You need to get another camera cam. or figure something It'll, it'll happen. Yeah, He's a baby. Their description done. He's chubby, has super blue eyes, and short, strawberry blondish hair. They like eat every day, don't they? Huh? It's, it's shocking. What? You When you first experience a baby, every day they eat. Every day. I don't tell you that at the hospital when you're picking your kid up. Babe, that's all babies do. By the they way, eat, this kid's going to eat nonstop, and they're going to, yeah, they poop they all the time. They just eat, sleep, and poop. That's babies. you got to be kidding me. His poor kids. His poor. <laughs> My kids, kids ate well. <laughs> Let's yeah, put it that way. Every three to four hours, day and night. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. 
he he does have children. They're adults now. Because he's a. They're probably more adult than I am. <laughs> for darn sure. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I actually know. I take maybe that back. They are. Jordan, they're exactly. I think Jordan is probably more of an adult than. Any of us? Taylor and you. Living the dream. Three to four. Yeah. Absolutely. Feng shui, shui thing. <laughs> I can't speak. What is it? Feng shui was off there we on go. the table. Feng shui. Yeah. I'm just really trying not to, to tilt this until that super glue's got to dry. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going to keep falling off. But. Also, man, that paint is real wet. It, it is, is real so, wet. like, so yeah, the, humid, but, like. The paint is staying wet longer. Yeah. I, I feel like. Like, even at home, I mean, we live in Georgia, and, like, even at home, it's not this. It's not, but when I was priming my in and in class minis, it took forever for them to dry, and I was like, oh. what is going on? But I, I didn't do it in the house, so we have air conditioner on, so that makes it drier, yeah. right? I was doing it in the garage. I was dancing, by the way. I was listening to That I have no idea. I, um, I can look up the video. That's it's called, what I should it's do. Down, it's called dance brushing. Dance brushing? Yeah. yeah. Um, you airbrush and dance, and sometimes you get caught in the cords and stuff, and it's, it's bad. But And then you trip and fall and break your body. Break, break your cord and body and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. I forgot where I was going with that, but you it's know, okay. it was important to get it off my chest. I'm glad you feel better now. Yeah. I'm glad. So, speaking of ReaperCon, what's your favorite meal? What's your favorite food at Houlihan's? Houlihan's is a restaurant here. It's dope. AF. It, it. That's a capital AF, you guys. It is super good. We eat weed at Houlihan's for like every meal except for breakfast. Um, <laughs> so I usually get tomato soup and... Ooh, tell us about it. Um, What's so special about the tomato uh, soup? It has cheese balls. Hell yeah. Fried cheese balls. It's the cheesiest yeah. balls. Oh my god, here we go. And guys, this is why... <laughs> you know what this soup needs? More it, cheese it, balls. <laughs> this is why this is um, mature audience only because Aaron talks about <laughs> balls. But it does. talking has about cheese balls. I don't know what's mature about It has fried cheese that. balls in it. It's so and then stinking good. They also have dumplings, and the mm -hmm. dumplings are real good. To the layman, that's gyozo. That's what they are. Or maybe to the San Diegan, it's gyozo. In I San Diego, know. it's always they're always yeah, called gyozo. Yeah, but they, it's just listed as dumplings. I don't know what gyozo means. If somebody could tell me, and maybe it means dumpling. Sure. I don't know. Um, and then their meatloaf is real good. The meatloaf is I had meatloaf is legit. Meatloaf. Yeah. It's probably it's it's very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, that oh, one. Oh, yeah. but they're like, come on now. Hot if stickers. They're the same thing. No. Do you put them in your mouth? Chew them up? You eat them? It's the same thing. So it's a sandwich? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's, a hot it's dog? like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich it's with a pork. Pizza, and, like, and soy sauce. Oh my gosh! Okay. This is like a peanut butter and jelly along. sandwich with none of that. Moving along. Yeah. But thank you for that explanation, because I, I mean, they are they're yeah. they are probably a little they're bit different. I've never eaten them both at the same time, but but they're both freaking delicious. And if you see them on the menu, you order them. You order them. Regardless. Or, or does It's all delicious. Yes, exactly. I can't believe our guardian angel knew the difference between... I mean, she's a guardian angel. She's so a guardian angel, that's fine. We just do that. Yeah. Maybe she's like... Uh, maybe she's made them before. She, we should maybe ask. she can make us. <laughs> uh, could we get uh, two orders of pot stickers <laughs> and a gyozo? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, we oh, do too. We oh, we my do. gosh. We Wait, do you first. eat them frozen? We buy them. Okay. God. I, I was, I, Why is that the question you asked? <laughs> because what? she said she doesn't make them. She got them frozen. I was like, well, you do have to cook them. So that's kind of like me. I mean, I get, I get it. I get it. There's we, like a we whole... We buy the frozen bags. And got, then we also... And they're delicious. Partake of yeah. restaurant bottles. Yes. Uh, I'm definitely a super nerd. 
watching a Twitch stream about miniatures convention while Freedy printing a stock extension for a Nerf blaster. Ooh. That's amazing. That's super rad. While talking about gyoza. gyoza. Yes. It is a Japanese dumpling and it is We're in an open did you just environment. Do? I just sprayed it straight up in the air. Aaron, no, you have a cup. Stuff's I do have a cup, there we are. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? That was a hard spray. Jeez. Here, spray on like the box or something if you want a hard spray. Jeez. Were you born in a barn? You're going gangster. That's scary. Never tell you the time we were airbrushing at Game Empire. So oh, no. Game Empire in San Diego, oh, if you no. ever go to San Diego, is the Oh, no. The best game store, one of the best game stores in San Diego. It's one of the longest running game stores. And they were kind enough to let us, me and my buddy Alan, just sit there and paint all day. So one day, Luke comes in. Luke's got a Tyranid army. He's never airbrushed anything, so he buys an airbrush to compress all that stuff. Shows up and he's like, what do I do? So we mix up some green paint for him. He starts spraying his Tyranids. I look up at one point and the entire store is a shade of green. I was like, they are never going to let us back. That's super true. Excuse me, and let me put this behind your body. I'm kind of starting to feel like Captain Ahab here, and like, you know, like the what Moby Dick mean? thing. Like, you oh know, oh, he beckons. That is supposed to go behind He beckons. I just, I give up. I give up. You've never seen Moby Dick. I No. How? I just haven't. It's like a classic movie. See you later, Raven Day. See you, Raven. Thank you for coming in. Why would I? That's not a, it's not a movie that I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go watch Moby Dick now. Odd. But I'm not judging you. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm just... <laughs> You no just more have cables just hanging for, off of you right now. Yes, it's that's exactly what happened in Moby Dick. He's like strapped to the whale, and he's just like, oh. He's like, if he had an airbrush, if he'd be like airbrushing in the sky. Over, there are things behind you. Be careful. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we get asked to leave. Volander said, <laughs> no, call me Ishmael. Get, get. There, thank you, Volander, the red. Finally, some validation. You know, my whole life is no. complete at this point. Oh my gosh. So, okay, Moby no, Dick no. is the most boring movie of all time. So then why did you watch it? Because my grandfather would watch it on Sunday. Oh my gosh, Moby oh, we Dick's We watched Westerns. On. We watched yeah. uh, Gunsmoke. It was the only time as a child we could cuss because it was, it was Moby Dick. He's, this is his name, right? Oh. I couldn't say that normal. You couldn't say the yeah. D word. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Duh. I mean, we couldn't say it either, but like... It duh. But anyways, um, the only good part of that movie is at the end when the whale sinks the ship. It was awesome. It was just like the Titanic. Thanks for spoiling it. I, I'm not spoiling anything. The ship sinks. That's all you need to know. You spoiled the whole story for Dude's me. Dude's on a whale. He's doing his little... Hey. Oh, I just whacked the... Yeah. I whacked the microphone. But, um... Little tornado. There's not much yeah. else to the story. I mean, it's a long story about, the, you know, oh, it's a love triangle. And... Blender said, take note, everyone. Proper use of the Reaper Vex airbrush requires flailing and in imitating a boring movie about a classic boring book. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Flander. <laughs> If you haven't read it by now, yeah, I'm never gonna read it. Yeah, there's gonna be a I'm spike. I'm also never gonna on, watch like, the movie. There's gonna be, be a spike on Google honest. searches right now of just like Moby Dick. No. But I guarantee you're probably not gonna get the Moby Dick movie. You're gonna get. Nope. The... Hey. Nope. Other stuff. Nope. You not just appropriate. keep. Not keep, appropriate. It's keep not airbrushing. Appropriate. Hey, it's not appropriate. Keep airbrushing. Oh my gosh. Do you actually have any paint left in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the proper way to prime your mini. You just prime yourself, too. That's what usually happens. Just turn it around and you can... Do you think they would get upset if I hit the 
couch here? I'm sorry, the what? Table? The tub. Just this is a really nice reaper right tablecloth. Okay, I'm just doing it. Just go for it. It'll dry if it's it's the same color. How are they gonna know? We'll never know. Um, I don't know if they're watching the show. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they don't. Nobody. I heard that Ron okay. watches every oh. Reaper live show, and every show that's on Reaper, he watches all of them at least once. Well, I don't know where he can do it all the time. Them? I mean, that's thousands of hours of video. He might. All right. <laughs> Google Mo Moby Dick hands, spoilers plus movie 1956. I think I'm good. That explains a lot right there. He does to avoid any work, doing any work. Liz, if you watch Moby Dick, then you'll have... Some cannon fodder. Did you just... I just blew air on myself because it's getting hot. I'm oh, hot. I'm you're going to accidentally pull accidentally the spray trigger back a little bit, so be careful. Mm. Liz, if you watch Moby Dick, then you'll have a whale of a good time. <laughs> yeah, how many Moby Dif Di difference, Moby Dick references can we get? You know, go. None. 20 seconds, go. None. Uh, hopefully they had the foresight to know painting on the stream would get messy. It is Aaron. I'm pretty sure that they were fully here. The set over here is still dry. Or is it still dry? Still dry. Is it still dry now? What paint are you using? Right now he is just, uh, just priming Steiner, with Steinor Res. Steinor Res. Steiner res. <clears throat> It's uh, probably one of the best yeah. airbrush primers out there. It's made and by Badger. Thanks to Royal Cow for uh, bringing his primer and his compressor for Aaron to use. Yeah, that was really awesome of Royal Cow. Yeah. Are you still not done? You just do a little bit more. Okay. OCD kicking in. We uh, gotta get all go. the spots. I didn't. He's do just it. gonna prime the model for the. What time is it right now? Yeah. For 30. 18 hours. So yeah, the whole time that we do this, you're just gonna be priming. Well, the problem is we didn't prime it before this, but. That's true. Moby Dick puns make me blubber. I can only harp spoon <laughs> one subject for so long before I'm told to throw it out my blowhole. See, wow. this is that where was, we want to That was action-packed. Yeah. So many. So many things. Rock and roll. Oh, yeah. So, anybody else have any more questions? I can't talk today. I almost thought you said corn husks, which would have been weird. Does anyone have a corn husk? I have, like, Google husk? questions to ask you. Yeah. Why do you need this job? Who are you wearing? <laughs> Why do you want this job? Oh, my God. I get to paint on myself. I get to use weird metal paint machines that do stuff. It's awesome. Right? White paint? Are you gonna are you zenithal priming? That's what I forgot. The white paint's right there. I know, but I don't have any cups to mix this in. Like, uh, if someone I thought they're in just, the no, they're oh. in the box. Where are they? <laughs> they're in the box. Um Hey, that still works. At least my mic still worked. Oh yeah, like I need one, two, three, four, five of them. <laughs> Did you. you check the box? I could check the box. Uh, no, that, the, but I need them for class too. So. Oh, Thank okay. you, that's perfect. Thank you, Ann. It's not gyoza, oh but it is for <clears throat> plastic bottles. I hope they're paying you for babysitting. They don't. Sweetheart, they don't, unfortunately. Uh, this is just my life. <laughs> As he likes to remind me, I chose this. This was my decision. This was like, yeah, you had no one <clears throat> badgered you yeah. or anything. Okay, uh, Peter Rooster said, tips for someone new to airbrushing. Uh, first, get yourself a general purpose airbrush. So 
Oddly enough, the Reaper Vex is both a general purpose and a high-end airbrush, so it would work perfectly. Otherwise, other airbrushes that are good are like Patreon 105, stuff like that. Anything with like a .4 size needle. I know that means nothing to you, but if you're looking it up, it yeah. starts making more sense. Um, so general purpose airbrush is the airbrush to go with, and you'll probably be able to use that most, you'll be able to use that your entire painting career, like for everything. Yeah. Um, once you get good at that, I also I would say take a class. Just take a class. If you're at a con, take a class. If you want to, like, I do an online class at miniaturemonthly.com, um, which is really good. But take a class because otherwise you have, like, it's like a seven-year curve yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for learning everything. And it's just, it's, there's a lot of moving parts and stuff, and it's just kind of hard. So do, do yourself a favor. You can watch some YouTube videos and stuff, but I, I think a class is better because you can ask the teacher questions um, and stuff like that. Yep. I totally agree with that. Um, what painting techniques are you seeking to learn or improve? Ooh, that's a good question. Or invent. <laughs> no. I want to invent the zero-handed painting technique. Now, I, I think for myself, I just want to get better at color, color application. I just took Christine Van Patten's class. That's where I was disappeared to. And yeah, that's where out. he was hiding <clears> when I... Christine is a sculptor for Moonlight Mini. She does a lot of Reaper sculpts and stuff. She's also a very good, talented painter. And she's so sweet. Incre increasingly, no, incredibly talented, talented artist. There you go. Um, she just does everything. She's an artist. She's a true artist. Oh, he's, I will get to all of these other questions too. Uh, he's mixing paint and his uh, thinner. Mm -hmm. The thinner is 10% isopropyl alcohol, 90% uh, distilled water or water from the bathroom because we just go that way. We're not fancy. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. And then Distilled he just is better because there's of that not as many paint. minerals in the water and stuff like that. Yeah. So what we like to do, Liz and I, we both do a shot of the paint before we start. So would you like to? No, you go no. first. Okay, no, no. Yeah, um, cool. Don't drink the paint. It's bad. <clears throat> Especially not Especially when it has, when it has isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, alcohol in it. It's it. probably really bad. But. That's not the right kind of alcohol that you're supposed to drink. Um, it's just a fluke. Maybe we can find the right box of Orcum Warriors to paint blue. Are you, man, Valander, you were like um, dedicated. Uh, I started with an Iwata Neo. 0.5 millimeter needles can blow almost anything. And great for priming an initial base coating of primary color and sealing with matte sealer. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. So, so the Vex reason can count as a 0.5, so it can do all of that and more. Yeah. Technically, um, Badger's point system is a little bit oh bigger than it actually is. I don't know. They have, they have a different they have a different way of measuring, but but yeah. If you want, if you stay in that ballpark, you're good. And the reason for that is because it clogs a lot less. And as a beginner, you're going to clog a lot. So if you go and buy a $350 airbrush like I did when I first started and then went to Clog City for the next four years, go yeah. right ahead. But if you want to actually airbrush and actually start learning your airbrush and, and, you know, a lot of it's trying to keep it from clogging and all that stuff, do yourself a favor and just get a general purpose. Yeah. Great tips. Yeah. Uh, I think you was going to take a class that's stuck at home with COVID. Oh no. no! I hope you feel better. That's awful. Hopefully it'll be like a quick, quick yeah. COVID sickness. So right now I'm spraying my sort of a shadow color. I'm just picked purple because it's dark. What color <laughs> purple is that? Is it it's the oil? color purple. Clear, Clear purple. purple. What do you know? By the way, clear doesn't mean that it's see-through. I no. always thought it meant it was see-through. No. Clear means it's just pure purple pigment. Yeah. Say that five times. Purple pigment. pigment. Purple, purple, purple. Purple pigment. Yes. I don't know why that made me want pickles. That's super weird. I know. Way. I know it's just really want pickles. Pure, 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 pure purple. purple. Pure, pure purple pigment. I feel like I'm summoning something that I probably shouldn't summon. Yeah. How 
do you choose where your shadows go? I don't know. Just guess. Uh, typically in shadow areas, but obviously as you get higher up on the model, it's, you know, sometimes something makes a shadow, so you gotta spray in there. Like the eyes, for instance, maybe spray a little bit into the eyes. I'm not super worried about being exactly precise. I can, I can precise it out with my paintbrush later. So, one, one big misconception that a lot of people have with airbrushing is, and you see it in some videos, they think that they can they can paint the eyeballs of 20 millimeter figure and like all the line highlights and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. and technically, you probably could if you did enough masking and stuff like that, but it would take forever. Um, you're going to have your paintbrush is going to be an integral, if not a major part of your airbrush. So your airbrush gets things going faster, but then your paintbrush makes things really, really awesome. So don't think that you know you're. If you think that you're just going to airbrush a figure and it's going to be done, um, it's going to look like just an airbrushed figure and it's not going to be the best. You could do it, but it's not the greatest. So. Um, Derpa Deb says, hi there, is this Dragon Bus exclusive to the swag bag or will it be available at Reaper? Um, hello, Ear Angel, can you please give us an answer with that? Guardian Angel? <laughs> <laughs> we have a price check on aisle five. <laughs> Okay, we'll have an answer for you shortly, Derpa Deb. Also, that's the cutest name ever. Derpa Deb. Derpa Deb. Derpa Deb. I like Darth Abacus. Abacus bot. Well, that's oh, just, that's Reaper. That's just a bot. Your angel. Yes, he's our guardian angel that speaks Your to angel? us to our ear. God? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> colors on there if you count the primer. Oh my gosh. What about the colors I'm thinking of putting on? Do I count? Nope, you haven't put them on yet. Right. Man, this is going to be a colorful dragon. It's so colorful. No, this is going to be a red dragon. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine until it's more than one voice. <laughs> True. When we start hearing Or her when voice only tonight, one of us starts like, to hear what? the voice, and then that's... Yeah. That's a little scary. I mean, I think technically they could probably do that. Oh, probably. Maybe. Maybe. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how these work. We should get these things. They though, are for, super cool. We should just get them for the home. house. No. And walk around. No. What are you doing now? But these would be great for like, for when Extra we do. Extra No, when we oh. do like classes and stuff. Yeah, classes. Because right. then I won't have to like yell across the office. And really hear me. Well, also your mic would be right into my computer or your computer or whoever's computer is. What? Note yeah. to self, cultured butter is too intense to really cake on waffles, wowzers. I would say, how do you know? But it probably just happened. That sounds like they just found just, out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jane Nizzle says, only available in the swag bag. OK. OK, perfect. Thank you for that answer. We got our answer. We got it. Perfect. Sounds great. So much purple. All right, oh, you just didn't clean your airbrush up very well. Yeah. It's okay. This is this is preliminary. It's like the preliminary bombardment. Huh? Do you just think of words and yeah. then you blur them? Blur them blur out, them. and they don't make any sense. The pre-post painting. Got it. Uh, Belinda said it's like salted real butter is three times flavor of margarine and cultured butter is like five times the flavor of salted real butter. Cool. So it's like it's like eating soy sauce on your pancakes. Have you Shh. done that? Shh. What? I haven't done it. I was saying it was like it. The words just fail, don't they? You guys, I question life sometimes. 
Remember in the Inca Man when he's drinking the milk and it's hot day? It's like milk, milk was, was a, a bad, bad choice. Idea. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Idea choice. Choice, whatever. I can't remember. What I don't remember which one it is. I miss that. I like what. Yeah, I'm. He said like soy sauce on pancakes. So I'll do that. Mm, I, mean, like, I was idea. just thinking like super salty. I mean, soy sauce would probably be a bad choice. <laughs> no, I'm not judging, but I don't think that's how pancakes work. They don't. Do not put soy sauce in your pancakes. I mean, if you do, uh, more power to you, but I will probably never eat at your house. Um, I grew up on margarine, never used butter regularly until I moved to my wife. With my wife. Uh, we also, uh, we used margarine growing up too, so. The only time we ever used real butter was in pound cake. Salt butter. We were butter snobs growing up. We only That's ate true. butter we made ourselves from the farm. And we didn't live on a farm, so we didn't eat much butter. We did not. I lived on a farm, and we did not make our own butter. I remember in kindergarten, we took a field trip over to Mrs. Wolgamuth's house. Did you just make up that last name? No, no. Wolgamuth? How do you think I remember her name? It was so crazy. And we literally, I think she lived across the street from the school. Like, how crazy is that? We literally walked over to her house and we made butter. Yeah. We made it. Yeah, we made hands. butter in like elementary school. And then we just ate it. It was weird. I think she gave us pancakes. I don't know. I mean, it was pretty cool. I just remember family. as like a, a kindergartner thinking, I just made butter. <laughs> well, I thought that too. <laughs> I remember thinking, this sure is taking a long time. When can we eat those it pancakes? Does, it does take a long time to make. <laughs> like, note to self, don't churn your own butter, you know, it if you're, takes, like, ready to eat pancakes right away. It does take a while. The butter isn't saltier. It's a much stronger butter flavor. Yeah, I can imagine. So what is actually butter's flavor? This is time. Can you describe whales, that? Whale spin. Whale spin. It's, it's a whale of an evening. I use butter so regularly, it's worth it to get butter and not margarine. I think we just, I don't know, we buy uh, Smart Balance. I think it's, I don't know what it is. I was on a farm too, fresh milk available, but no butter. Hope you have your running shoes on this time for another speed paint. Starting in five minutes over Oh, that's true. We eat a lot of Smart Balance. And that's what we eat, right? We, yeah, yeah. Smart Balance always. And recently it got a lot creamier. It's like just creamy yeah, out of the refrigerator. I don't, I, Slightly wondering if like it's, it's not bad. Or something. Yeah. It's super soft. I think soft. they changed it. It's super soft. Maybe. It's awesome. I like it. Or maybe it. we got a like, different. I just ate a spoonful of it the other day. That's disgusting. I actually, when I was little, I used to eat butter. I was an only I child. That, that, that my brother. That does not surprise me at all. My my siblings weren't born yet, and so I would go into the kitchen and I would just like my tiny little fingers. And I would just grab butter and oh, eat it. Oh, you were the original butter fingers. And then my my mom would be like. Elizabeth, I can't believe, like, stop eating the butter. Yeah, and then it's I'd be all like, gone. I didn't do it. And you just have butter. My dad's just like, yeah, it was me. <laughs> I don't know why I told that story, but I used to eat butter. I just really like butter. I mean, Georgia, I guess? I don't know. Georgia, the butter state. <sighs> the butter state. Uh, Reaper needs an airbrush emoji. Yes. There, oh, there is one. It's a, actually, it's a Vex emoji. I'm a city kid. The day I found out cows gave milk, I said, wow, steak comes from heaven. <laughs> Ew. Could you imagine, like, eating steak and drinking milk, though? Like, well, I couldn't My grandpa that. used to do it. That's weird. gross. That's you drink gross. milk and a beer at the same now, time. Now I want pancakes. Milk and a beer? Yeah. I was like, listen, old man, you're disgusting. You disgusting. Is that what you said? I did that no, four years not. old. How dare. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. No. You I would was, never disrespect. I loved my grandpa. He yeah. was awesome. <laughs> but he did drink beer and milk pretty much like glass here, glass yeah. there. Like it was. It's like I'm being healthy and partying at the same time. Yes. Now I want pancakes. Pancakes do sound really good. Excuse me. I have like all the burps today, so mm -hmm. I apologize to you. Awesome. I think I'll have pancakes for supper now. Ooh, do it. Do it, do it, do it. All this talk about butter is marginally, oh my gosh, entertaining. <sighs> Guys, 
man, y'all are pulling out all the stops for dad jokes. Um, I totally missed that. Thank you, Cindy. The subject is really the cream of the crop. Man, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like, how can you hear me? You talk really loud. I'm not, I'm not complaining, but like, this is like a power talk. No. Go do this. Go do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know how I can still hear you. I can hear you fine. Okay, good. Now I hear you like you're in a closet. <clears throat> okay. Well, good. That's how it should be. Uh, that's not that's, what I meant. That doesn't sound good at all. Like, I don't. I don't make Liz stay in the closet when we're at home. Like, it's not coming. I'm a monster. I am allowed to walk around the house. Uh, she puts herself in the closet. She's like, I'm just going to go to the closet for a while. Sometimes I do. I take phone calls in the closet because it's actually quiet in there. Because usually you and Taylor are like. Okay, okay. to preface this, we have a really big. We have a walk in closet. So it's not like. Yeah. Not like that no. little one in the front of the house. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a big room, and so I go in there and talk on the phone because it's super quiet. Usually the two of you are doing your boop, boop, thing from yeah, all the way across the house. You just sing opera and stuff. Hello. And, Hello. So, yeah. Um, the subject is really the cream of the crop. A nice subject to butter up the crowd. Crustacean needed. Oh, I can't read. That does not say crustacean. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but it's not crustacean. Something needed with a C. I don't know. Uh, it's really spreading. Cit maybe citation needed? Yeah, that may be. I like crustacean needed. Crustacean needed. <laughs> Just a warning, I tell dad jokes, but I have no kids, so it's a faux papa. A faux papa? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. Speaking of crustaceans, did you see Heather O'Neill's? Her little I crabs? Guess the, yeah, the little crabs. Those They're are crustaceans, so right? Yeah. Yeah. They're crabs. They're little crabbies. Yeah. They're awesome. That piece was awesome. Put them corner now. Blander, I think she's telling you to go to the closet. You can go take your phone calls in the closet now. How can you tell when a joke is a dad joke? I don't know if this is supposed to be a joke or not, or if you're actually asking. So I'm gonna say, I don't know. How can you tell when a joke is a dad joke? Crustacean needed what the shell is going on here. <laughs> His dad joke became the cornerstone achievement of the street. I feel when it becomes apparent. But um bum bum. Oh my gosh. Cheese oh, Louise. Lordy. Cheese Lordy. Louise. Lordy. Is that what House of X is just going to be from now on? It's yeah, just, it's just going to be jokes. dad jokes and Moby Dick references and... And poop stories? Yeah, and poop stories. I'm actually really I've proud told, of you. You haven't told a poop story I've today. I've told it... Oh, today. <laughs> yeah, like today. three of them yesterday. We went in graphic detail there a couple times. Yeah. I told about my constipation and... and You're constipating? No, no, on vacation. Remember when I got stuck in the bathroom for like an hour and a half? <laughs> I do remember that. Anywho, Life if you're a Reapercon, you know yes. all about it. <laughs> Life with Aaron. I don't know how I do it sometimes. You're getting better at blocking. Just you just block. Uh, yeah, no, that's pretty pretty it's accurate. A, it's a good skill to have. I mean, honestly. Yeah. So why don't you tell them what you what you just did? 
So you, I, we saw you spray. I've done the most magnificent thing on earth. You sprayed with red first, and then you did white, and then now you're doing red again? I think I sprayed with purple first, and then over. No, but you did red. Yeah, and then I did, well, no, I sprayed with purple. You missed that? I know, maybe I'm talking yeah. about up here. So then I sprayed with red to get my red tone kind of. And I could have kept going and insisting on that color, keep spraying on it, but I went, I went like a really vibrant red and then like a darker vibrant red. So I get both the best of both worlds. So put the white in from an extreme angle like this, like that. And then I did it over here. And then I did it over here. And then now I'm spraying red over, like the exact same color red over again. And I'm, so the key here is I got to cover all that white up, but I don't want to cover it up too much. So if there's white, it will be saturated and then that makes it not so red. So. <clears throat> Great explanation. Ta -da. Ta -da. No, but it is a good way of just getting, getting several tones of color just with the exact same color. Exactly. By using other colors. So it's not just that color. Right. And if it ends up looking like too much or not really what I wanted, it's easy to cover up, so. But this guy's looking pretty wicked. I like it. Look at that. This is how you check to no, make sure no, it's really no. good. Yeah. Uh, it is pretty bright still under the table. You'll have to, you know, take my word for it, but. You never did that before? Check, I got really check. worried because I didn't know that you were putting it under the table. I thought you were just putting it in your crotch. And I was no. like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? That's crazy. No, I was under the table checking color. Yeah. It's called under table checking color. -ish. With Aaron. With Aaron Lovejoy. Yeah. So, does anybody else have any questions that have just been burning your soul? If you don't have a table, you can't do this technique. It's difficult. Just go in the closet where you talk on the phone. That's true. Turn the, Turn the lights off. Can I still see my model? No. Okay, you got to go more. So it's, the reason it's a dragon Valander. It, there is actually so a reason every, for that. Every yeah. every guy checks his dragon under the table. Yeah, it's so like under the table dragon checking. Um, no, I because it's darker it. and that's more like a convention center. And you're like, oh, can I still see my model? Yes or no? I know why. Answer the question. I know why. You check the box. Are you asking me? Are you? What are you? I don't know. I was asking you. You. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anymore. Are you like? Um, are you okay? Are you having a stroke? Okay. Oh no. If you checked your model under the table yes. and you're like, then check the box. Yes or no? Can you see it? Yes. So you actually made a list and checked the box, or? I don't know what you're asking. I don't. I don't. Yes. Yeah. I think I, he no, I him. was going to say that. It smells like burnt toast in here. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a problem? <laughs> I didn't want to mention this at the start of the stream, but I really have to go to the bathroom from the start of the stream. Which, calling You've it a stream does in? not help. You've held it in for like an hour? Yeah. So if we could not call this a stream anymore, then no, it it's, it's a stream. stream. You just got to keep holding it. Okay. What if I just went? If you no, I'm pretty sure that Justin would probably come over here and like. I think he looks like he's okay with it. I think he's done. No, it he is yeah. no. You, you don't like just walk out on Reaper Live if you got to go to the bathroom, right? Maybe. Maybe. No, you just have to hold it. Okay. So that that red is looking a lot more uh, bangity banging. That's a technical term for yeah. red looking cool. Yes. Look at that red. Look at that red. How's the flow? Is the paint nice and wet out of Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> you serious, I'm serious. You gotta stop. <laughs> if you smell burnt, burnt toast, burnt toast. Burnt toast. Raise both hands. I like Burt Reynolds. Yeah. It's just toast in the shape of Burt's face. Hey, Bert, yes. is that you? Oh, no, it's a piece of toast. It's just toast. Where? Oh, love. Thank you. I was like, what is a gig kind wear gloves, though? Yes. Probably a good idea to wear gloves. 
Aaron never wears gloves. I wear gloves when I'm 3D printing. When you're sure. 3D printing, but you're oh, not when you're printing. Oh. What color is that? Volcanic orange. <laughs> Did you just spray that? No, it kind of dribble. It, it does like a dribble yeah, shake. It's dribbly. <laughs> generic knives. Yeah, Jakives is gen generic knives. That sounds like a screen name. Somebody needs to make an account just called Generic Knives. My fingers were in the wrong stop on the keyboard because pro. The wrong spot. Man, you're on a roll. Oh, are you mixing your paint with good brushes? Yeah, I am. I didn't have anything else. Don't worry, they're yours. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, this is fine. Edge versus wall. You know, it's okay. We all have those moments. So last week, re 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 Reaper, Reaper Vex, um, I airbrushed without ever using like thick paints. I just did glazes. The whole thing was glazes. This time I haven't done any glazes at all. Are you impressed? Mm-hmm. Good. I need to wash my hands. You need to wash your hands. I have been using the hunt and peck method since mid-1980s. At one point, I hit around 50 words per minute with the two-finger shuffle. Wow, that's amazing, that actually. Time, that sounds like your dad. <laughs> Except my dad's like two words an hour. Yeah. Bless his heart. That's exactly it. He can't fill his fingers. He was a ice sculptor for many a year. Yeah. I think and my family on my dad's side is just very neurologically messed up. We're that's perfect That's probably every where other you get way. that from. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. It's actually super cute though, watching his dad use a computer. And he's like, no one else can help me. I'm good. It's cool. It's totally cool. Don't, you need help? No. No, I don't. Yep. But I need to no, use a computer. I need to use a computer in like two and a half hours and you're writing a one sentence email. Yeah. Do you think you'll be done? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> but don't help me. I think that looks pretty Doing good up there. Orange. So what's the orange for? Painting. <laughs> what? What are you doing with the orange? Where are you placing it? Put it on the model. Oh, on the like in the my brightest. Yes, is it okay. like a highlight? So I'm trying color to put. Yeah. You? So I'm trying to. So. So, look at your color wheel, like that. It goes up to yellow. Um, and if the the closer you get to yellow, the brighter the color is. Like no matter what. So. <laughs> Unless you have some weird neon color or something, it might be a little bit different. But so yellow, if if you wanna if you wanna attract the most attention, yellow is a very good attention attractor. Um, so putting orangish colors on top of my red, I get more of that yellowy that yellowy goose and it makes it much brighter. So that's it. Goose. Goose. Typically, our eyes want to look at the, at the brightest color. Like it's psh, right there. Psh. Sweet. Right. That was a it. great explanation. Let's do some other stuff. Um, Melander said, so do we know the scale of the bust, or are we winging the dragon? Feel free to toot your own horn. Own horn. What? We know the scale of the bus. There's, there's like 50 scales in this bus. Yes, that's the point. We know the dragon's name. It's Chuck. It's Rancis. I really, really feel like this is the wrong shade of green for this. It doesn't matter. It does matter. It matters to me, Liz. It matters to me. There's a cute little corgi that just walked by. Yeah, there's a couple cute, super cute dogs. Sorry, that super distracted me. This just a little corgi butt. Let's just see if this works. What did you just, did you just mix green and purple? Purple. It's a green and purple party. 
Yeah, that totally worked. That's what I want. No, that's what I want. <laughs> He's super precise. Was it one of Holly Monsters? I honestly, I have no idea. I also don't know where the Fergie went. I wasn't paying attention to who, who had the doggy. I was just paying attention to the, the dog. So maybe. Maybe that wasn't quite the right color, but it's pretty close. Pretty close. That's a pretty green, though. It is. It's like uh, it's like almost like a little a, bit more tealy looking, yeah. which is what I wanted. But it's it's. Hmm. You know, you can put purple in just about it. Yes. That's what they say. Yes, that is what they say. Oh weird. Sorry. That was a big yawn that just hit me all of a sudden. Oh, I got orange in here still. Yeah, because you were painting with orange. Gosh. You know, it's I just... I just need to super glue them in your ears. <laughs> that would be awesome for the rest of the show. I honestly wonder if you have the wrong earpiece in that ear. They're, they're labeled. So, earpieces never really fit in my ears good because I have square-shaped ear holes. You have big ears. You have big ears. You have little ears. Um, Peter said, what are you using to thin the paint? Uh, olive oil. No, don't no. listen. Um, we are, I am using isopropyl alcohol, one part isopropyl alcohol to nine parts technically distilled water, or in our case, bathroom water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you shot? That actually looks kind of good. Let's not talk about shots right now. Nope, not today. Uh huh. Yes. So typically we try to get ninety percent or higher. Or higher. Um, but if you nine times out of ten, if it's all 70. you can find is seventy percent, then seventy percent works too. Um, yeah, one to nine. So essentially, ten percent of the liquid that is going into your little squeezy bottle needs to be isopropyl alcohol and then just eyeball eyeball it yeah the rest of the way with water but still if it smells really strongly of isopropyl you probably put a little bit too much in yeah it. so technically isopropyl will will just like well, wreck your paint uh, hey there's an announcement uh, but if you only put 10 percent in it doesn't work Hey, I'm gonna go to that. I'll see that. Uh, no, you're still painting. Funny how that works. Yeah. Whoa, I totally missed a part frame. It's, it's fine. Just pretend like you didn't miss it. The way you say isopropyl sounds <laughs> like you're saying ice purple. Ice purple. Me? Yeah. Or Aaron? Yes, madam. Southern. Isopropyl. I love How do you her say accent. it? Isopropyl. Isopropyl. You say like isopropyl? Is that what, that's, is that what that's, you hear when I talk? That's what I hear, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's talking about no. you. Isopropyl. Isopropyl? I don't know. Excuse me. Was, man, I am so burpy. Ice, ice purple, too cold, yes. I, I say it correctly, that's why it threw you off. Maybe not, I don't know. No. I do like the way you say it better than Ice purple. Yeah. Thanks. Could be not so purple. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting dizzy. I keep looking over. And every time I switch my head back, I just start getting dizzy. Interesting. So I think what we just learned is that I just can't look at Aaron. It makes me dizzy. Yeah, I make you dizzy. You're just so stricken. Stricken by why questions. 
Yeah. <laughs> Why? What was I thinking? Frozen bones. Anything crazy happen over there today? Yeah, we lost Aaron for like an hour. The whole convention was looking for him. He was in class with friends, even though he didn't sign up for the class. So, yeah. That's pretty much, I don't know. Does anything else crazy happen? I don't think so. When I was in Scotland, I learned that people from Glasgow and the surrounding area cannot say purple burglar alarm. They stumble over their own tongue and get to look like everything they ever knew was a lie. And I will never not find that hilarious. Purple burglar alarm? I'll have to look that I'll have to look it up. So how did that come about? Like who was like, hey, let's get a purple burglar alarm and then like they're like, I can't say that. I it's just one uh, of those random things, like I mean chances are it it's probably like from a video game? No. I don't know. I guess maybe it's just people I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how. Do they make purple burglar alarms? Could it might, it might be that actually. That's what it is. They make purple. Some people can't say Aaron earns an iron urn. Aaron can't say that. I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that I got through that. Kind of, I kind of did that backish part. Yeah, you did great. I'm doing so good. You're doing so good. Probably the best ever. Is this your best This is my best performance ever, I think. I don't know what uh, it is with him. All right, I'm not going to say stream because that will cause triggering of I, my I bowels. Actually, yeah, your bowels. My, my, I thought you said you had to pee. My pee bowels. Your bladder? My bladder buster. Okay, I'm just gonna try something because you know who cares, right? Some accents turn it into earn, <laughs> earn earns and earn earn. Aaron earns and earn, iron earn. Aaron's iron earn, earns and earn earn. Aaron earns and iron earn. Aaron earns an iron earn. Aaron earns an iron earn. Get it. Wow. You're going to sling paint out of the airbrush. Yeah, you're going to sling paint. No, not me. Not I. You're doing a great job. Can you imagine an imaginary menagerie manager imagining managing an imaginary menagerie? We just need like an How hour, did I get, get hour through of this? that? This is a, that's amazing. You actually found a new skill. No, I that, that could be your just, Twitch could, stream. Like once a week, you could just do tongue twisters and just go. No. For like hours, not, I would listen to it. Not I do doing listen that. to it. I, would, I mean, I listen to it um, I would die. with a smile. Nope. No. Reapercon, come for the minis, stay for the tongue twisters. Yes. We just need Aaron to do it though. Can you no, read it? It's not nearly Can you read good. that? Try it. Come for the minis, stay for not the tongue twisters. Not for that twisters. one, the one before it, you goose. Right. Can you imagine, you imagine an imaginary, imaginary manager imagining menagining an imaginary <laughs> manager? <laughs> Too easy, drill sergeant. You did not get through that. You messed up like four words. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think it was. I read it verbatim. No. There's a short poem in Cantonese about a man driving his car. It breaks down and he gets chased by a lion. And in the, and in Cantonese, it's made up almost entirely of variants on the syllable chi. Cantonese traffic cops use it as a field sobriety test. Oh my gosh. The synonym for cinnamon is a cinnamon. Synonym. Six, six, chic, six, chic. Ship sick. Chic. Ship sick. 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 Ship
Sipsick? I'm not going to try that one because I'm afraid I would six say something six I'm not the, supposed to. <laughs> it's funny AF. I got that one. That right. would, okay, so the, the field sobriety test. I mean, that's like them saying, okay, you have to walk in a straight line as a test. I can't do that. My balance is so the bad. The pester tester. That's what they call it. I can't it. do that sober, let alone drunk. Wait, are you putting more white on? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to make it a little bit more blingy? No. I never do that. It's mm -hmm. disgusting. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. I'm just trying not to pee my pants here. I kind of have to pee so. Provocative. <laughs> oh. Our stream angel. Has to go to we're gonna after this is over it's just gonna be like this. Gonna run everyone's to the running over to the bathroom please god yeah. don't be anybody in there yeah man i guess i don't know why i'm so burpy today mm. hey did you just ask that question i yeah i don't know it's i'm just We're gonna try. I'm gonna have to clean that airbrush. I'm gonna do it in class tomorrow. Actually, my airbrush was way too Actually, clean for the be, class we taught. That'll I be perfect like, for filming. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's, it's not dirty at all. But I just yeah. trust me. If it looked, if it's dirty, it would be worse than this. And it will be closed for cleaning. Oh my gosh, that would be the worst. If all of the bathrooms were suddenly just closed for cleaning when we had to. That'd be super body. funny. I would just go. I would give he up would at that point. Yeah. Uh, did you eat some cucumbers? No. Did, did they help with uh, the urinary tract? Or something? No, I, I think understand. I think that was too me talking about me burping. Oh, cucumbers cause burping? That's weird. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I like pickled cucumbers. I don't really like regular. I like pickles. I just want pickles. This is a fun sculpt because it feels like there's areas where you can change things up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You're doing a real good job. I'm doing the best, probably the best ever. The best ever, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And not to repeat myself. But, but repeat. Repeat yeah, and yeah. repeat. Also, I just realized we didn't have lunch. We didn't have lunch. Man, we are doing real good today. Hey, that's what happens when you're having a good time. Right? You just forget. Yeah, you just forget about. To, to pee and eat lunch. <laughs> like both things. Some just, super important. Yeah, bodily functions. Just daily things. That you on by do. the wayside. Yep. All right. Did it. They don't. I, I know. They just I know. potty and then they potty themselves. So, Stream Angel, um, how do you feel about the fact, and I think this is a travesty, Liz will not allow me to bring a puddle pad into bed and poop in the bed. He wants to poop the bed. Why like, is this my life? And I think it's like, oh, we got a puddle pad. <laughs> Maybe something bigger? Just wear a diaper. Yeah. But it feels like a little bit more free if it's just like, like what if I wanted to roll over and poop the other way? Pros and bones, I don't know why he wants that. I 
It's Maybe just he's like trying a, to figure out like what is it gonna feel like in like two years when he's old enough to, start <laughs> to, to, act, to not have the option to poop the bed. You just do. I'm just kidding. That's not in two years. He still has another, another two and a half years. A few decades. Um. Yeah, Valander. I am not gonna try that one because I feel like it would be bad. I will. I'll read it slowly. This is the very model of the chat's creative twisting tongue. The phenoms quite phenomenal in language, like linking the loaf, like loaf cows. I can't even talk, like I can't hardly read that one. We twist to test the tractable tongue talents of our no notables. This is the very model of the chat's creative twisting tongue. Sort of like she sells she shells she shells by the seashore. I that one always screws me up. Pour this one out again. Let's see if this works. I don't know. I, I think this is a really bad idea right here, but it's like putting yellow shoes on a dude. Don't do it. Don't. I don't want to do it. But. You've been telling a lot of people not to do that this weekend. Never I paint see, a like, model with yeah. yellow shoes. Never paint yellow shoes on a model. Well, if you want the focus to be on the face, yeah, that's probably that idea. Why would you want those shoes to be the focus? Oh, I don't, don't like that. Yellow. You don't like that? No. Well, I don't like you. That's I mean, I like you, but I just don't like you that's right fine. now. You still like me. That just it needs, does not it needs work. to be another, it needs to be a little bit different of a color. Different A little bit oranger. Yeah, let's do that. Just a little bit oranger. Remember that song? That's not a song. Sure it is. I know what you did. Don't you worry. I'm waiting for like the ta-da moment. Ta-da. Yeah. And it's so screwed far, up. So far, it's just, it's going backwards. That yellow just looks weird. You look weird. In a really beautiful way, of course. You, know, just... you look weird in a beautiful way. You're weird. <laughs> Weirdly beautiful. Thanks. You're weirdly beautiful too. Don't use that as a pickup line. Yeah. Never. That's not gonna work. Would that be weird if I was still using pickup lines on you? No, I think it, I would find that endearing. What if they were really creepy ones? Uh, can't think of any. Sweetheart, we've been together lines? for five years now, so that would be okay. Yellow shoes. We also, she shows she sells well as low blues, so she knows it's low shoes. Perfect. I'm really good at this. You're really good at it. I'm just going to let you read the tongue twisters from now on. Nose. I read that one perfect. Nose? Yeah. That's not how that goes. Oh, yellow yellow nose, not yellow shows. No. Shoes. No. How about she knows well? So she yells so she knows well. Is that it? Is that what we're doing? No. She, so, yeah, so she knows it's the shoes. She knows, the nose. she shows shows. Nose, not like the, your nose, but like nose. Yeah, there we go. Just turn it back. Back, back, back. I think it needed to be more of an ochre color and we don't really have that. I'm sorry, what? Hmm? I didn't hear what you said. I don't know. Okay. So it looks better with the orange. But, and yeah, I think in my mind I was thinking more of an ochre color and I didn't really have ochre. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, no, it's Whoa. fine. It's 
You can't be perfect all the time. But like, we're talking like 98% perfection. No. no. Ninety-eight percent missing the mark. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. The funny thing is, I kind of want to leave it because then when you put highlights on, I can reglaze it, and then it brings everything down together. But, mm -hmm. but you know what? I don't think we're ever going to get to that point with this model. I don't think so either. Because you're still airbrushing. My mom's still airbrushing. My mom is not airbrushing. I don't know what my mom's doing. I don't know doing. why I always go to the, your mama. I don't know why either. Too, I think my mom's at work. This is funny. Why don't you call her and see if she knows? Oh, I thought he had a bandaid on his nose. What? It's your phone. No, it's just the notification. Um, no, my mom's still at work. She's not airbrushing. What are you doing turn lights? Turn lights. Um, it is 220. Okay. And there, when's the next show? At some point? Um, I forgot. It's at some point. It's at some point. I think our guardian angel. I think they have maybe an hour. Hard, a hard, hard stop in like an hour, I think. But if we if we finish up before then, then we yeah. do like this. Are you huffing paint fumes, Valander? I think Valander is just having a time the time of their life, and they are just super happy about watching Aaron do weird just things. Struggle with life. Struggling with life. I mean, to be fair, we all. We all have that sometimes. We all... Hello? Hello? Oh. Did oh. you go to the bathroom? Because that's not even fair if you did. I think she did. <laughs> I think our guardian angel went and... I think. To the potty. I <laughs> Anyways, how was it? <laughs> you feel much better. Good. Oh Good. My that's gosh. what matters. Yes. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Sounds good. Well, in that case, let's just see what these colors look like we'll on just, these other colors. Yeah, we'll see a little bit, where we can get. something else. Word games are always fun, not just puns. Exactly. I love board games. What's your favorite board, board game? Word games. Right? Word Word games. What does that have to do with board games? That doesn't say board games. I like, I like board Maybe you shouldn't have headphones in your ears. I know. It's, a, it's causing me not to be able to read very yeah. well. Yeah. These Remembers earphones. both USMC field exercises and late 1990s land parties and passes Aaron an empty Mountain Dew bottle. Oh, yeah. Did you ever do land parties? Do no, you were too cool. No, for that. no, no. We had, we would just hook up our computers near each other and pretend like we were playing each other. Oh. Yeah, actually, we used to have land parties together. all the time in college, man. That was, was so fun. Oh, it is fun. And then we would get, uh, so we would get Mountain Dew and... Sprite? Is it Kool-Aid? Mm. Or something? I, I don't know. Illegal. I just remember we used to, or no, Tang. Mountain Dew and Tang. And we would mix Mountain Dew and Tang, and, and that was what we would drink so while we awful. had our land parties. It's orange juice. No, it's not, Mom. No. <laughs> doesn't no. taste anything like Tang that. Tang is not orange juice. It's like a... Like a lot cheaper, though. It is... It's gross. But it's it's better if you mix it with milk. Try it one day. You should. I think I will. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. for offering. You're very welcome. Thank you. It's not worse. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about Aaron's uh, childhood? <laughs> I was born this age. No, false. 
I once made Quake 3 Arena meshes based on my friends, and we would use them in LAN parties. Only rule was if we used one, it had to be the one for us, not one of the others in the group. <laughs> Is that a regular Mountain Dew that you mix the tank with? Yes, I think so. Or was it Code Red? I don't know, I can't. I mean, I can, so I can mean, like text an, a friend I mean, of mine and ask. Yeah, that is a very that. important call I'm going to text. Just call him live. I can't. He's at Nova. It doesn't matter. Call him live. I'm not calling him. He probably wouldn't answer anyways. I think I think he would. And he'd be super awesome. I'm going to ask him. First ask him if he's wearing the cow outfit because that's the first important thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, we will see. Well, we, we will see. see what the answer is. Aaron, how many brushes have been destroyed at your hands by brush licking? By brush licking? I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe like, I don't think any. He doesn't have like acid spit. Like, I mean. Not yet. I've been working at it. I've been okay. eating a lot of acidic foods, just trying to build up my tolerance. But just. Just pure tomatoes all the time. It's pure tomatoes. That is exactly. He was talking about eating tomatoes earlier. So. Um, yeah, I, I ruin a lot of. So here's the funny thing: the faster you paint, like if you're just painting it, quickly. It was regular Mountain Dew. It just, wrecks you. By the way. Oh. So it would have been. I still think you should have called. That would have been so cool. Hey, you're live on Reaper Vex. We've got a question for you. It makes super do. That's what it was called. Super do. Super do. Man. Now I'm getting real nostalgic about college. Oh yeah. I wonder how hot sauce affects brush hairs. Like Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Are you like eating hot sauce and painting? <laughs> so if you're eating, uh, if you're eating, if you're drinking alcohol and then you lick your brush and you mix your paint up, it, it, that could maybe cut your pain a little bit. What, better. if you're drinking Just what? Just drinking alcohol. It seems like that would work. Are you going to try tonight? Because think about it. Isopropyl alcohol is just alcohol. Sometimes. Right? Yeah. I mean, uh, they put stuff in it so you don't actually drink it, but it's nonetheless, it's just alcohol. So. I don't think hot sauce is going to affect your brush hairs. Frank's red hot. I paint that... I don't know if I can say, can I say shit? I just said it, so. Paint that shit on everything, yes. I can't drink alcohol, I'm allergic to alcohol itself. I kind of stop breathing about the same time I get buzzed. Mm, that's that would, a problem, that would, don't do that. That would definitely. Don't do that, mm, mm Yes, we do. I, I said it, so. She, she already said it. It's, it's, it's already it's the, happened. It's in the books, and. Uh... Perfect. Perfect. I'm glad y'all did put the maturity way of reading on here. Because we got the answer straight from heaven. Yes. So you know we it's. got it from the angel herself. Look so. at. Um, I mean, I lick my brushes all the time, and that has not been the source of their demise, and I don't like hot sauce, so maybe there's irre irrelevance. Maybe. Yeah, I think your brush gets destroyed more by the your paint. Now I just want like hot chicken. I just want spicy chicken. Spicy meatball. Spicy. So spicy. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of streaking going on here. You know. Back in elementary school, they call me a streak master. So it's always streaking lines on stuff. Oh. Later in high school, I think I missed like reason. the first part of that conversation. So all I heard was you say the streak master, and That's so right. I just pictured like you streaking. Streaking through the quad. <laughs> have you done that before? No, I haven't. Have you? Oh. You have? Yeah. Not in college. In elementary school? Like, yeah, this year? Like, it was either after college or in high school, I can't remember. I just remember I was back home. That's not the point, though. Yeah. 
are a wild child. I was not. <laughs> Anyways. I never knew that about you. I'm impressed. You probably shouldn't be. Is there any video footage of this? Said. No, thank God. We also had a seance that night, too. So, you know. Pretty nifty. Childhood. Uh, Yesterday, I got incontrovertible proof. I don't know why that. We're just. My cats don't like the new dry food brand I got the other day. After I finished cleaning the litter box, one of the cats looked at me and then walked over to the food bowl and peed on the dry, the that's dry food. That's hilarious. You know what I think about your so, dinner? So, <laughs> I think that is a definite sign that you need to go get that that baby some some better food. The real deal. Yeah. Not a good choice to, to give a, or her that. Oh, you're, you're just getting paint everywhere. Right. Oh my, is that paint? That no. Nice. Oh, okay. I was like, you got paint on the chair. Mm -hmm. It's not they paint. They love it. Reaper loves it. Dogs are chair. better than cats. I didn't say that. I just read that. Don't come at me. Uh, this was a rather expensive brand too. Oh, that's always. So here's the thing. Uh, if you ever get like dog food or cat food or something and then your pet can't eat it or won't eat it, you can always take it up to a shelter. You can eat it yourself. And, or a vet's office and donate it. I was like, we found out that our dog is allergic to salmon. I have a salmon. I don't know. She had like some weird skin reaction to like salmon dog food. Donate it. Did we do that? Quokas. Uh, Quokas are the best. They're so stinking cute. They just smile all the time. And then they throw their babies at danger, which I think is hilarious. Really? It's like the best that thing. is totally hilarious. Yeah. Like if they're in danger, they'll literally just be like, Ah, There's no luck. watchdog group for that, like CPS or something. They just I don't let know. Them do it. They don't throw their babies when they're running their pouch loosens. <laughs> and they just trample, okay, but I trample. like the story better. <laughs> they throw them. But they just toss their babies at the danger. Go. Almost all marsupials do that. Oh well. But it's better to think about Quokas doing it because they're so stinking cute. They want one. Are you okay? Yeah. How's life going over there, Erin? Pretty good. Your piece keeps coming out of me here. Oh, we've moved on. We've moved. Well, we kind of had to because there's, there's. I mean, I could have kept airbrushing, but it's like. Uh, those of you who don't know, Aaron doesn't exclusively airbrush everything. He does a combination. Airbrush, then paintbrush, and then airbrush, and then paintbrush. Back and forth until it's done. Yeah. Oh my gosh, are you going to do each individual scale? Mm -hmm. A thousand times over. They don't throw their babies, they eat them. Yes. Oh, even better. Yes. Can you imagine you have your kids at the supermarket and they're acting up and you're like, you better shut up or I'm going to eat you. Not eat for them, dinner. eat. Eat, what does that mean? It's basically just, you just throw it. Like, it's, yeah. Just well, them. I think it's better if they eat them. Meat's probably a lot tender. More tender. Just, just saying. I mean. Well, I hope my sister's not watching this because we keep my nephew, and I hope you don't. I technically him partially eat him too. So, a kid. Yeah. yeah, like. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I think it's, you know, I mean, I haven't done it yet, yet. 
Cactus. Right. But it is. it feels like an option someday in the future. No, it is not an option ever. I always tell my dog when she goes, I'm gonna eat her legs. Oh my god. Because they do look like really good chicken wings. Her, um, her hind legs do kind of look like little chicken wings, and so we make fun delicious. of her. Well, we don't make fun of her. That sounds mean. We don't make fun of her. We, we just tell just, her we're gonna eat her. She's got little, little chicken wing legs. She's cute. She is a cute animal. Um, and she doesn't seem to mind the threats. The most wholesome animal in the world is a manatee. They literally cannot inflict violence and have never been recorded attacking any animal at all. Even crocodiles will give manatees the right of way and let them pass pass into the Maybe they just uh, taste not really to, bad. Not to touch. That's actually super cool, though. Manatees are so adorable. Yes. Yes, they are. You yeet for distance and Kobe for accuracy. Dag is better than manatees. So dagger is like a dog. Dag dog? Dog dag. So I don't, I forgot the word. When you do these streaks, I feel like I'm like combing his hair or something. <laughs> Daggers are uh, not that, as good as long swords. That is true. You gotta get way too close with daggers. Oh yeah. How's it going over there? It's going. Oops, How's it going dog. over there? Huh? I've seen you in a while. Just, just been know. here. Doing things. Just sitting. Just sitting. Kicking it old school. Huh? Manatees use their farts to float up or down in the water. Really? Are you a manatee? I guess so. Like, <laughs> to like propel them? Let me just look up and then fart up. Maybe you are a manatee. It could be. You don't inflict violence. Much. And you fart nonstop to get places. It's true. I have my own motor. Or they motorboat. hold them in to float up. I guess that could be it. What do you think is the gassiest like mammal on the earth? Cows. Cows? Oh, you need that fast. Uh, that was that's because it was a trivia question when I was in college. Oh, crazy. Did you win the question? From the it's because of the grass that they eat. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Mm. Like All that. the parts. Wombats have heavy cartilage on their hind ends and both plug their burrows with it when they go to sleep and also use it to slam predator snouts into the roof of their burrow, smothering them. So wombats twerk their enemies to death. Nice. I like it. I like it. Frozen <laughs> Boat said that Ron is the gassiest. <laughs> I've been, um, trying to learn how to twerk lately, just to impress you, mostly. But. I know, it. you're doing a real good job. Mm -hmm. I, I pretty much already knew that, but thank you for acknowledging me. <gasps> you haven't worn, you were supposed to wear your banana costume. Oh, on this? Yes. I was, oh, I thought it was supposed to be just at the tour. <sighs> it's okay, I got lost. Dan Goodchild said, what do you mean Aaron doesn't inflict violence? Have you seen that banana costume? That's a visual assault if there ever was one. Yeah. This is, and it's an assault on all senses. Yeah. We do not need to see Aaron twerking. It's okay. I, I do. It's adorable. She, she cries he has a lot. No... It's, you know, but it's okay. What? <laughs> you, you cry a lot. I don't cry a lot. I giggle a lot. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Bless his heart.
Hmm. What are you thinking there, cutie? The cutie? What you doing there? Why did you why did you sound like a 90-year-old man? I don't know. I was just sounding like I normally sound. <laughs> Well, I think cutie patootie is kind of like what a nine-year-old person would say, so. That's, yeah, no, that is true. Or if you're from the South, they just call you sugar. Sugar. And by that, it, my dad called me sugar. That is. I guess it's more like sugar. 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 Sugars and spices. And all of the spices. It's like I've done a really good job distracting myself, but then every once in a while I'm just like, oh, I've got to go. It's a beautiful day. Bless your heart. Yeah. Accent colors. Activate. So that, that phrase means two different things. It can actually mean that's so sad. Like, I feel really bad for you. Or it can mean, wow, that was a You're the ding bad move. person on earth, basically. In the um, nicest way possible. And nine times out of ten, it's the latter. Uh, what? Volander, thank you so much for the lurk. We'll see you later. Lurking for shirking. That's what they say. Yeah. Or, oh, are you talking about the second? The second meaning it's because you did something kind of ding batty. Aaron's banana costume is very appealing. It's like, I'm sorry, I can be be an apology or an expression of sympathy. Yeah. Nap time, best part of freelancing, self-employment, income taxes, and the worst thing about freelancing. A hundred percent. We totally agree with that. Yes. Yes. Man, those taxes. Such a pain. And I always put it off until like the last possible moment every single year. Not a good idea. Pun con. Yes. This is pun con. We suck at puns. Those are really pretty colors on your palette. I chose them just for that reason. Because they were pretty. False. I just grabbed colors. It's rainbows. It's mm -hmm. got rainbow colors. They're good colors. They're nice and vibrant. So who's going to end up joining us for House of Vex next, this month, that we still have to schedule? I have to ask Justin when we can schedule that. We do have Liz cam, or Liz reaction cam now. Yes, we do. So it makes the stream more interesting. Basically, you just get to see me facepalm every five seconds. There's a lot of scales on this. I know. So many scales. I was wondering why you chose the dragon. Because uh, there were, well, the other models were bigger than that, so. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. But also, this was uh, the Reaper kind of exclusive dragon, and I really thought that it would be kind of cool. Gotcha. It's just one of those things. One of those things that just happened. 
I am glad we got to do this one. I mean, this is a freaking cool dragon. Yeah. I'm going to Google questions that I can ask you. Oh, man. So, put in, what questions can I ask Aaron? <laughs> Interview questions. We're going to do job interviews. Okay. Okay. Just kidding. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'm never leaving this table, so I will be right here. Okay. I don't know where you guys are going to be, but I'm going to be right here. Oh, man, these are really good questions. I'm going to, I think I see myself becoming a rap star. No. Like maybe pop? No. Rock. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -mm. Um, who would you want to be stranded on a deserted, a deserted island with? Tom Hanks. Hands down. The guy survived it already. I'm in. Okay. Go. Next. Next. How would your friends describe you? Um, probably the best ever. They, they think... I think it's embarrassing. They think very highly of me, and so, yeah, sorry. What is your favorite zoo animal? Uh, chupacabra. Next. They don't, that's not a zoo, not a zoo animal. I'm pretty sure chupacabra is a zoo. You're best. pretty sure? Pretty sure. Okay, so you know the little monkeys, the, the, the tinier monkeys that are super playful? Those the ones. ones that we watched that time and mm. that... Bad. We can't talk. Bad naughty things started Bad, happening. Bad naughty things started yeah. happening, and yeah, then we those. started laughing like yeah. kids. Like yes. Little school kids. I don't know what. I can't remember. They were in the um, somewhere. Maybe they were a I have no shows. idea. I just remember we saw the little monkeys, and we started watching them. And then stuff went down. Maybe something like that. That was weird. They're very I'm active. Phone way out here. <gasps> Did it just, oh. I don't know what kind of monkeys they were, but they were doing some. They were doing some monkey things. Some I like. I not like so great things. And yeah. then there were children there, and the moms were just laughing really hard, and the kids were like, "What are they doing?" And then we had to walk away because. Oh, those monkeys. Those were the little bit bigger monkeys. But yes, they were. Oh. They're, it's yeah. the tinier, the tinier ones that just sort of swing around and... Yeah. What's your name? Aaron. Good job. You got that right. Next. What is your quest? My quest? This is a job interview question. Yeah. Um, I'm in a tribe called Quest. Bam! Next. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? 75 miles an hour. Next. Don't ask me how okay. I knew that. Okay, I don't know how you knew that either, but okay. Uh, if you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Um, the Reaper Vex show. Next. What makes you laugh the most? The Reaper Vex show. Next. Okay, you cannot answer. Someone? No, you can't answer the same question you with do, the same answer. You do, you're so humorous. Oh, yeah. well, sweet. I know. Just scoring brownie points. Oh, okay. Next. What's your biggest complaint about your job? Um, Can't say me. Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't get to do what I want to do more often than that. Here we go. Oh, there's one. I, uh, how long have you been with Reaper? Um, when we first got together back in the 1920s. Um, so they... Oh man, when was it? Was it like 2005 or something? They made their first big mistake and they had me come in and teach at a roof of That's 2005. I've been making mistakes every year since. <laughs> or every other. For a while there, I'd come every like other year. Yeah. Every two or three years, I'd show up. I was still in high school. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. You did perfect. That was great. What is your favorite reaper green? I hate green. Next. He hates green. Yeah, that is that is a well known fact. Uh, what would you sing? It? Don't answer that one. Never mind. Um, would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Um, 
Every time I ride a bike, I crash. So, no. Horses like to turn around and just leave with me somewhere. So, no, I just do a car. Okay. Um, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Dumplings. Like, like, not, not the gyozo type dumplings. Like dumplings. No, dumplings. like chicken and dumplings. Yeah, my mama's McDumplings. His mama's McDumplings. <laughs> McDumplings. I was gonna, I thought you were gonna say spaghetti at first, super, but super the dumplings awesome. make more sense. Um, what is your child's proudest accomplishment? That I am their father. Next. Wow. No, That's I'm just funny. kidding. Um. I think Taylor, she's, she's been doing some really good, uh, what's it called? Which one? Not Macrame? Macrame. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, ama super it's amazing. Crafty. She's like, yeah, she's super crafty. Um, and then my son, I think it's my son's use of money that impresses me the most about him. He's the only one in the family who has money. He knows how to save he money. He knows how to save but money. But also... He also he's learning how is to learning it. how to He sculpt. just got into the hobby, so he's going to go broke. Yeah. And he is learning how to sculpt, which is really cool, yeah. so I'm excited about that. Yes. Um, who inspired you at first? Oh, that's cool. Um, Bob Felix, next. You know that that is, do you? So he's, he actually still works at Game Empire. He's a, he was like the, 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 the shop painter, and uh -huh. he would do a lot of commission stuff. When I first started coming into the hobby, I went into Game Empire, and they had, had a huge display rack. They had all of Bob's models. It was amazing. And I used to go in there and just stare at it for hours. It was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And um, yeah, I was like, it was super inspirational. Like, it was just like, wow, this is the coolest thing ever. And then, you know, of course, you start learning more stuff and meeting more people. But he was, he really was, like, if, if, if I hadn't seen his armies, I probably, I wouldn't have gotten into the hobby yeah. as much as I did. Yeah. That's super cool. I like that. Bob Felix, right there. <laughs> um, what is your biggest accomplishment in painting minis? Um, well, I landed a super hot girlfriend. Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad to know that I'm your biggest accomplishment. Yeah. That's the only reason I paint minis was to get chicks and, and hey. No. Nobody does that. Yeah, nobody does nobody that. Does that. Um, I did land a hot chick. Oh. And I like that you do the hobby too. So. Thank you, Dan. You're the sweetest. Okay. I, I don't know why we're talking about Golden Corral Buffet. Well, oh, one meal for the rest of my life. Golden Corral Golden buffet. Corral. They have Thank the you. dumplings with the side of dumplings and the other side of dumplings. Yes, all day long. That's Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel. Yeah, same thing Not as Golden, Golden Corral. Corral. Yeah. Golden Corral, they leave the food out, like, all day. That's oh. a big no thank you. I, I oh, love that. Makes my tummy hurt thinking about it. What was the most challenging mini that you've ever painted? So I painted the studio version of Kane the Implacable for Kuma Not, and that was a that was a difficult model. Like it's just huge and like so spindly, and yeah. it was hard to hold, and it was hard to put together, yeah. and all that stuff. And was, so that was that was one. I mean, there's been a bunch over the years that were just difficult models, but. Um, that one, that one probably takes a bit. It's cake, yeah. but I'm glad I got it done. And it actually shipped perfectly. It didn't break or nothing. So. That's good. Yeah. That's um, what I said. What's the easiest mini that you've ever painted? This dragon, easily. It just practically paints itself. Um, Perfect. No, no, no. So, so, and they're super cute. The little Reaper familiars. I love them. Oh, those are so those are, cute. Like, yeah. seriously, you could put a banging paint job on a Reaper familiar in literally yeah. like an hour, hour, hour and a half. Like, like contest miniature. Um, okay, so if money was no object, where would you want to go? Like on vacation? I would want to go. Like, 
Like if we were the richest people in the entire world and we can just go anywhere we wanted to. I'd want to go to Thompson County in Georgia. No, I'm just kidding. Thompson <laughs> County? That's not a that's not a thing. Um, I I would I would yeah, eventually I want to go to Europe. It feels like I just I've always wanted to go. Mm-hmm. And it like there's something always a roadblock. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. And that would be super cool. And I'd love to go and just experience all the contests over there mm-hmm. and the people and all that stuff. I think that would be super cool. Um, if you had to start all over again, what would you do differently? Are you ta- I'm assuming you're talking about like in the, the miniature painting scene. So what, what would you do differently? I would run the other direction. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know if I'd... So I didn't discover classes for a really long time. And I think if I would have known that, you know, there's conventions with painting classes. You probably um, would have taken those. I, I totally would have taken earlier. them. Earlier? Like yeah. earlier, yeah. Because it really my painting changed after I did um, the Jeremy Bonamont weekend class. Um, it was the first class, the first big class I ever took. Yeah. But I mean, even just the, the two hour classes at cons are fantastic for just getting your feet wet and like, getting some general information that maybe you're not, it's not intuitive, you know? Right, right. Especially like airbrushing. Oh God, if I, I mean, there was nobody who was teaching airbrushing back then, really. So it didn't matter, but, um, cause this was like the turn of the century, <laughs> literally. Um, but there was nobody, there's nobody to learn from and, and no one seemed like everyone knew about an airbrush, but no one seemed to know how to do it. So. Like I would have, I would have definitely looked more for like those types of things. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, I just knocked out a couple of familiars a night a few weeks ago. That was fun. Yeah. That does sound fun. Which They're ones so did you? Cute. Which ones did you do? Do you remember? Um, all right. Let's see. What is the best gift you have ever given? I gave the gift of life to my children. No, just... <laughs> um, <laughs> best gift I've ever given. I don't know. I really like giving gifts. I like giving them more than yeah. receiving them, really, because like, you only get so happy, but seeing other people happy is, yes. is pretty cool. No, I don't right. know what my best gift, though. Like, have is. you ever given your mom, like, a gift for like her birthday or her mother's day or christmas or something and you're like man that is the best thing ever I was, yeah that sounds really pretentious here's your no, gift it's, and it's the best no, one you've ever got no i mean like okay so when i was a kid i remember i gave my dad it was a father's day cup that i bought for or Maybe it was a Father's Day cup. It was just like a best dad in the world mm-hmm. mug or whatever Come that on. I bought with my own money oh. um, at like this little Christmas. Um, Bizarre at school. Yeah, because they, they would have like a little Christmas. It was called Santa's Workshop. And you could just go in and like buy your family stuff. Mm-hmm. And I remember I bought that. Is that the I was you so... bought yourself a bunch of things? I never what? did. You did. I who, really did. Who did that? Somebody we know who was a tailor? It was Taylor. She went in and like spent the minimum and then bought the rest for yeah. herself. That is awesome. Yeah, no, I I wouldn't. I I spent all of my money on all of my family. And then I would like start buying Well, to be like, fair, your family is like nine hundred and seventy four people. Yeah. Literally. My mom would give me like twenty five dollars and then I would just go I I just remember like buying my dad that mug. He still has that mug. That's awesome. And that was 20, I don't know, I was probably like seven, so. I feel like with every gift, I've moved on, so. Huh? I feel like with every gift, I've moved on. (laughs) You know, okay, so it's not like a birthday party, it's not like, it's it's a weird gift, because it just happened because they were born, but uh, painting the little models for my cousins. Oh, yeah, like, no, like absolutely. They're not and your cousins, they're your nephews. My nephews, yeah. Nieces. Same same thing. Yeah. No, not, Cousin, not at all. nephew, aunt, whatever. Family member. Yeah, no, I think that's a, that's a good 
So with each one of the little kids, and then my sister started just cranking out kids, so that, you know, got a little bit, it was like, I'm behind. Anyways, um, the New Bones USA releases, Familiar Packs, one, two, and three, and some companion animals. Oh, that's, that's, that's freaking awesome. The so, fur was way better than the old Bones release. So when Bones USA came out, what was it, like 14 years ago or something? Last year? I don't know. Two years ago? I don't know. When, when they came out with Bones USA, year. it was like they were markedly better casts and stuff. They were super good. Oh, look, there's a couple of bananas. Um, you weren't supposed to see them. The, the casts were super good. Well, you shouldn't have like been jiggling over there. Um, but uh, the new Bones USA looks <laughs> super good. Okay. Oh my God, I love you guys. You really just did. don't. Okay. Can I get closer? Get closer? <gasps> yeah, I know, I know, I know. That was my banana familiar. Um, we have <gasps> yeah, sweet nothings. That's sweet good. nothings. That was great. Yeah, perfect. I have a full, yeah. I have a full banana yes. entourage that, that Thank comes you so in, much. and you know, they make sure that I'm you know well fed <laughs> and pampered throughout the con. It was um, the best ever. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> Jess is like the tiniest banana. <laughs> she is the tiniest banana. So you know, they sell those little mini bananas in the store. We should get some, should get some mini bananas. I don't know what you do with them, though. I think they're, like, tough. I also got coffee, and that just really makes me hungry. Awesome. Um, I forgot what the question that we were answering or telling you. Oh. <gasps> oh. I love fried plantains. Mm. So, Stream Angel, have you ever been to a Brazilian... Uh, what is it, Brazilian buffet? Is that it? Okay. So where they just serve meat? Like all of it. Okay. You're an, you're an angel. I okay, mean, okay, but mean like money? we go like once every few years. Okay. Mainly when we so go here's, to here's the life tip: um, meet rich friends and let them buy you stuff. <laughs> that also works. Um, okay, so funnest thing you've ever done at a convention. I can't say. Okay. Mm, sorry. That redacted. That was, a, that was, yeah, that was. Yeah. We got a lot. We got a lot. Of I feel trouble. like that would just be we one long a, beat. So, so if you ever see me in person, you can ask me about there that. You go. We got, we got, we got a lot of trouble. We're not saying it was, a, it was amazing. It's an okay. amazing. Is there any minis out there that you are wanting to paint? Oh, so, but yeah. So the the new Bones USA models, like the stuff that's oh. in the swag bags, is yeah. freaking tight. I know. Like, the detail is amazing. So like amazing. And I'm not. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. You're amazing. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so probably any of those. This dra I was gonna say this dragon, but I'm already painting it, so that's boring. Um, how many unpainted mon models do you have? Oh, God. We have an entire garage. Yes. Full of the unpainted garage. Minis. The garage is full of, yeah. And then we've got, uh, so we rearranged our office and we got more drawers, which all got filled up with unpainted models. And it's just disgusting. The only thing that rivals our unpainted model collection is our collection of paint bottles. Yes. We have every we paint have, we have, known to man. I swear, I think we have every paint that Reaper makes. And every other company. That it's, was it's bananas. Like, yes. It was bananas. Those were our, our, our sweet little bananas. Yeah. Those are, our, those are a couple of our Discord uh, cronies. cronies. What are they called? Operators? Yeah. Our mods. There mods. you go. Mods, yeah. Discord <laughs> operators. Uh, <laughs> I have an STL for Banana Saber. I'm going to have to give it to my husband, whose nickname from his family is Monkey. That's super cute. Um, also, I need to know where you got that banana saver STL because I want to. I, we need a banana. There's a banana STL. That's what they banana just, saber. A banana saber STL. So Mini Monster Mayhem that I've done some work for, they came out with banana knights. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Those were super. Yeah, cool. Yeah, those were super cool. 
Uh, what happens at conventions stays in conventions, which is true sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes they things are out. told. In confidence. Shouldn't be. Yes. It's fine. It's fine. These things are like coming out of my ears. Okay. 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 Nope, can't ask that question. <laughs> hmm. Are you a clean or a messy person? Um, me? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty, I'm messy. I'm messy. Good afternoon, ReaperCon. I have a couple of announcements for you. First, paint my die roll. We'll be starting over in Hobby Hikings in 10 minutes. Do you love or hate roller coasters? I, I love them. Finish up. They scare the crap. You just crowd. don't like. So you don't I'm, like heights. I'm super scared of heights, and but like a roller coaster is different because you have no control over it. Like I can't sit there and look over the edge. Yeah. Um, and they also scare the crap out of me, and that kind of feels good yeah. a little bit. Like sometimes you just need to be scared. So, is the glass half half full or half empty? It's always half full. That's right. Be positive, maybe. Um, okay, we're going to get real personal because I think this is going to be funny. Um, it's, it's named Banana Saber, Collapsing Lightsaber Sword on Thingiverse. Okay, I will definitely have to look that up after this. Um, what is the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? We moved to Georgia. Yeah, that's that pretty, that I mean, is, that is, that is I mean, pretty crazy, actually. A little bit terrifying. He did. He moved from San Diego to Georgia. A little bit terrifying, but totally worth it. Um, it was worth it. I mean, I, I knew I knew I was safe. You know, like, it wasn't going to be, like, this, it wasn't going to be awful that way or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. it is terrifying. You're, You're literally leaving, uprooting your Literally life. leaving everything behind and going, yeah. you know, off to... Just move just in with this floozy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a floozy. She's not a floozy. I'm not a floozy. At least not anymore. Um, no, I'm just kidding. True. That's true. <laughs> no, but it is, it's super scary and it, it's a big change and, you know, and what if, you know, what if, like, what if? There's a lot of what ifs. And so, but sometimes in life you just gotta. Quindy, but he's, he's not wrong. Take the and tiny miniature bull by the horns and you just That's go fine. with it. That's part of life. Um. Yes, that's exactly correct. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out which one of these I should ask. Hmm. What was your favorite subject in school? Was it art? I didn't take art in school. Oh, I did. Um, gra uh, screen printing, graphic arts, screen printing, for sure. And I started a screen printing company right after school. It was awesome. I had that for like 15 years. Perfect. Um, hmm. Do you like surprises? No. Yeah, I like surprises, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I do like surprises because you're always trying to tell me what my Christmas present is, and I'm like, I don't try you to tell me like daughter. three months early, and no, that's both of Taylor. you, both no. of you are like, I'm going to tell you. I can't wait to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm like, okay, so I have nothing to look forward to. No, I, I don't. I don't tell you what you're getting for Christmas. Taylor, on the other hand, she gets so excited. She does get and excited. And she, like, to the point, will give us Christmas presents like in October. She's just so excited, which is precious. Um. Does your family have a motto, spoken or unspoken? No, my family's weird. How is that weird? No, I mean, not like, like, like weird as in, um, we're not super like, you know, some families are very proud of their heritage and like, you know, oh, my uncle or my, my great, great grandfather wrote the Declaration of Independence oh. or whatever, you know? Um, we just don't have that. Like we don't. We you don't have like talk. a family motto. Like at, at a certain point, I was and, like, "Mom, where did we come from?" I have known nothing about oh, my family. Sweetheart, I'm not talking about like your. Hair I mean, I know where physically I came from. No, 
We we can't talk about that. No. Anymore. Okay. No. I, what I'm saying is like family motto, like you know, work hard and you'll go far in life. Or no, we didn't have that motto. There's like nothing that you just live by. So you're, you're like your family lived. By. My my family is very much a, a live maybe by example. So they won't oh, say yeah. it, but they're like, this is how it goes. I heard somebody in I my think ear. God was just in my ear. God. Hello? Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's 3.10. Okay. We probably will have to wrap up soon. Um, I think that may have been what the, the speakings was. I'm really good at speakings. The speakings. <gasps> so, uh, Let's see. Yeah, yeah, so my, like, you know, my, my mom and dad were always really hard workers and stuff. That's just the way it was. So yeah. they needed to tell you to be a hard worker. They were just like, you're, like, this. Same. No, you. I, that, yeah. No, my family is the same thing. Um, my fa- okay, hold on. Ugh. That is, is that Good Dave? D. Clearman. My dad's I am not going to try to read all that. It looks like it's in, uh... The Lone Goldfish. Why can't I think of that? I don't know. I just, I can't. Um, my family motto is, it's good to have goals. My father sold soccer goals at some point. It is, so, so t I mean, it is good That's to have goals. That's actually super that. funny. Mm -hmm. We gladly feast on those who would subdue us. <laughs> That's a family goal? That is no, awesome. No, not a goal, a family motto. Family motto, I mean, I love it. Yeah. Take the bull by the horns. Man, some, some savage family. Don't mess with Don't mess the with Clearmans. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Adams family motto. Oh, is that what that is? Is that a? Uh, oh, it's the Adams. The Adams family. Like. I was like, like the Adam Lyons family, or no. My family motto is Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Uh, I that think is that, our that is our life in general. That is just like, our life, 24-7. Yeah. It's a great life, though. We, we, we have a very good life. I think, I think though, we, we try to live our life where we, we set up for success. Yep. And then when that happens all the time, we're at least like successful two-tenths yeah. of a third of a time. Two tenths a third of the time. Two tenths of a third. Of the time. Yes. I don't know what that is mathematically. I don't know. That I was a good lot of math. math. You know the funny. Ooh, look oh, look at your face. Oh. Look how cute you are. There's some weird Mr. Ducks thing. Mr. Ducks. Oh yeah. What were you gonna say? I don't know. It's really important. Though. Aaron Mathing, yeah. It's a, uh, yes, two, ten, two tenths a third of the time. It works every time, exactly. Two, two tenths of a seventh of an eighth. Yeah, Go. yeah, that sounds about right. Bless his heart. This coffee is really good. Sounds like it is. You can have some in a minute, I promise. I, I will have some after I go to the bathroom because I. Oh, <laughs> that I still have. To pee. Really, really. I still have to pee, no, but like I also I needed the coffee because I was getting a little sleepy. You know that coffee you got me yesterday was really good. It was well, actually glad. really good. I was, I was, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep her around for like. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. What is one of your favorite family holiday traditions that like that we have? Like our little tiny Hunt Lovejoy finger. It's actually Hunt Joy. Hunt um, Joy. We've changed it. That works too. Officially. Um, I kind of like all of our holidays. I mean, 
I've always, in, you know, holidays are cool and everything, but you actually, like, kind of, like, you're kind of, like, the catalyst for, like, oh, so, and also Taylor. You and Taylor both are a little bit more proactive. So, like, you'll make, you'll do the house up for Christmas or Thanksgiving or yeah. Halloween or whatever. And I don't know. I think I like that a lot. I don't know about you. But, yeah. No, I love it. That's why I decorate. And then our Christmas stuff stays up until January. <laughs> or all year long. Or all, all year long. long. I don't, I would be happy with that. That would be great. What was your first job? I was a professional painter. So my first job was at uh, Sam's Ice House. That's Primer, by the way. That black Is it? Paint. Yeah. Okay. Which I guess it doesn't really matter. I just need dark. dark. Okay. So Sam's Ice House. Sam's Ice House. My dad was an ice carver. Oh, as this I is grew the story up. you were telling me the other day. And Sam was not the nicest person. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. He's talking Sorry, about Sam. you. Sorry, Sam. I'm talking about you. Um, Anyways, yeah, it was uh, it was my first job. I had to work in a freezer a lot, and that seems like really cool. And at first it is. You walk in, and it's like icy cold, and you're like, oh, this is awesome. And then your feet go numb and start freezing. And then they never, and they they never, never come back. Come back. No. But um, it, it, was, uh, it was pretty brutal. It is brutal inside of an ice house. Let's put yeah. it that way. And then I broke my leg skateboarding. I uh, broke my ankle skateboarding, and... Uh, Came out. Uh, uh, there yeah. we go. So that's what it's that's what it's starting to look like. <laughs> Hopefully it's brighter than what our man at monitor showing, but cool. Uh, that one over there is showing better, uh, is a little brighter, and so we're we're good. Full. It's okay, back. we're good now? Okay, good. Um, so, I, I said hello to you, JN3 Storyteller. That's what you heard. And you'll hear it now? There are a few seconds behind. I, okay. Okay, okay, thank you, Quindy. Um, so, if you weren't painting minis, what would you be doing? I don't know. The only... The, my two jobs in life have pretty much been making t-shirts and then painting miniatures. I think you would probably be screen printing, honestly. Probably, I'd, probably go, I'd probably go back to screen printing. Like, I, yeah, I got to the point with screen printing where I'd done it for so many years and I kind of got, got sick of it. And then also my business failed, so that that didn't help the whole situation. That'll Screen printing was a lot of fun though. We had like automatic presses and stuff that was really cool. Um, so that would be something I could probably fall back on. I don't know if I went to, but that'd be something to do. For yeah. Sure. yeah. They're just talking about OBS. I may also be like an exercise coach. No, you no. would not be. <laughs> You would not be. <laughs> this is my exercise coach. He doesn't exercise wake, at all. <laughs> I wake up in the morning. Every single morning, I ask him if he wants to work out with me, and the answer is always no. One of these days, he's going to say yes. I'm going to scare you. Yeah, you're going to be like, and okay, I'm gonna be like, small toes. Do I need to take you to the hospital? Are you okay? I should use my screen printing kit again. You should. Do it. Dragon's looking amazing. Yeah. Coming to, I mean, it is amazing how quickly they can kind nice. of start coming together. Mm -hmm. um, you did a really good job. It's pretty, pretty nifty. This is what I have to do at home. He starts painting, and then he starts crying. Yeah, I, I just start and crying. So I have to and, constantly you know, like. Tell me how sure good it is. And then later at the night, she goes, "Okay, so you messed up here, here, and here." <laughs> And then the crying starts all over again. Yeah, it's like know, a lot of whimpering and blubbering, yeah. Um, 
If you were to describe yourself as an animal, what would it be? Uh, chupacabra. I agree with that. Um. Just for context, she was squishy, and I'm, or she is squishy, and I'm chupacabra I am on our Facebook That's messenger. Not, so. Yeah, he. That was his nickname for me. Was squishy. Well, I think, didn't. And I called you Chupacabra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chupacabra. But I think you kind of, maybe, I think you actually came up with Squishy. No. I think you, I don't know. I don't know how it came up, but it was very, know. like, endearing. It was, was a very endearing ago. thing. It was years, so many years. It was so five long years, ago. It was five years ago. So many, many moons We've ago. been together half of a decade. That's right. Um, we're still eating Tostitos together. Have you ever had a surprise party? I did. About 50 at the out. Bling, bling. Some really cool chicks uh, made it for me. It's you. We didn't have a surprise party. It was kind of... It well, was, su it was supposed yeah, to be a surprise party. It, it just didn't happen yeah, that way. Just, he just knew about it, and then we turned it into a family birthday party because... Everyone in my family is born in one week in the same, yeah. yeah so basically. it was easier to do everybody's birthday. Do you collect anything? I collect hot Liz's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I collect miniatures. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Like, go sue me. <laughs> yeah, you know. I do collect miniatures. You do. That's pretty much it. I collect miniatures. I've always liked Little Toy Soldiers since I was a little kid, so it totally, it totally, I mean, it figures I would be in this industry maybe or whatever, whatever you want to call it, and this hobby. Yes. Hmm. I think we have time for like one more question. Okay, let's do one more. But I'm trying to make sure that it's a really good question. If you win the lottery, what would you do? I would commission a whole lot of really cool miniatures from all my favorite miniature that would actually That's be really actually cool. exactly what I do. And pay then, them at the top of their price point. I would need I would need to uh, so Miniature painters are notorious for undercharging for their work. Um, it happens all the time, and we just it's something that we love to do. Um, so that's why artists are oftentimes super poor. And so my, my thought was, if I won the lottery and I was super mega rich, I'd ask for the quote, and then I'd just keep denying them and make them make it higher. <laughs> that's a good plan to you. <laughs> Like, what? I like oh, 800 I like bucks? No, nope, I'm sorry. I'm buy... sorry. That's not going to work. And then they come back with a lower price. And like, no, no, no. I mean, like, go higher. higher. Yeah, yeah, you're going the wrong way. What's wrong with you? Yeah. But can you imagine how many cool minis we'd have? We'd have a lot. You'd have to buy a display rack, of course. It is what it is. Michael Proctor heard me talking about him. He did. Oh. Oh, that's a good. You want me to take place. my shirt off, or are no, we okay? Please no, please keep no, your no, shirt no. on. That's right. Where's a good spot? <laughs> we got enough light. Yeah, I can double the light here on the stage. Like it's it's cool. Oh, oh man. Super cool. Yeah. Uh, what games have you been playing lately? Um. Oh yeah, you got where, it. Right. Did, oh, I'm like I took the cups away. Where are they still there? No, 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 no. They're, you're good. They're, you're good. they're gone. They're just. Um. What games do I play? Uh, play Shadows of Brimstone, which is a super fun game. Um, also, the studio painter for Shadows of Brimstone. Yes. But I love the game, so uh, that one's super fun. Uh, I like playing Titanicus with my buddies back in San Diego. That's a robot -y game. Uh, I guess. Oh, look at me. Not, not, yeah, like it's on a little journey. Um, and then he also plays Warzone. I play video game, one video game. I, I only ever play one video game. I play Warzone. So I like killing people. No, baby, you can't, can't say that on, no. Okay. I like 
killing, killing fake people, people in video games. games. Yes, in game killing. Oh my gosh. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? A tree that plays video games. I'm, I would be a willow. <laughs> You'd be a willow? Yeah. I'd be a big old oak Just... tree that somebody could climb in. And then, you but would I'd be have an like oak tree. a maw that I could eat people. Oh. I'd be like, climb up in me, and then I'd eat them. And be called the oak eater. Oak man eater. Stop. True. Stop. You're done. You're done. You're done. No. I'd be a willow because they always look super sleepy. They... Cool. Yeah. All right, man. I think we're, uh, I think we're, we're ready to time. wrap yeah. things up here at the House of X at ReaperCon in Denton. In Denton, That's in the, Texas, Texas, which is in America. Remember that. Just in case you Just were Just in unaware. case you were to forget. Yeah. Of things. All right. Well, thanks for, there's a new nightmare on Elm Street. Sorry, that <laughs> totally. Wait a second. The tree's back on. You, you mentioned a horror movie, yeah. so that sidetracked me. I'll have to look it up. Um, okay. So, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, thank you. This is super fun. Just, hey, and, and it's good yeah. that you guys were able to join us, even though you can't come to ReaperCon yeah. or whatever. Although maybe some people are watching for ReaperCon. I don't know. They might but, be. Um, if you can ever make it, like, say, next year, it's super fun. You guys got to come out here. Like, yes. Amazing, amazing people, amazing painters, amazing everybody. So it's just yeah. definitely worth checking out at least once. Yes, absolutely. All right. We'll Bye -bye. see you guys later. Bye.
Hello, <laughs> ping pong balls. I thought he said ping pong balls. I'm, I'm pretty sure he did. Welcome okay. to ReaperCon 2022. Yeah, that's your mic. Okay. You talk into that one. All right. Yeah. And this is their mic, uh, the camera. Uh, and then I have one of them. We just, we're, we're introducing everybody to being in person again for the second time ever. Cool. And some horrifying. of us for the first time. Yeah. Gener. Yeah. It's horrifying. Well, I'm, I apologize. I did try to shower this morning, though, just for this oh, that's game. Not it. There's, a, I, there's, not it, there's a enough team. distance. <laughs> there's a lot of distance. There is. This no is. Oh, oh, okay. I gotcha. So we're live at the convention. There's a convention floor out there behind us. So uh, they are our background sounds and ambience today. I don't need to clutter the soundscape more with with the, the other sounds because we have convention going on in the background. So Can we coordinate it? Like maybe they could all sound like the could. blowing wind or the if someone, rain? Yeah, if someone wants there's to coordinate that. There's a singing dwarves over there. There's an entire hobby hijinks section that I'm sure might actually even go along with something like that. Uh, uh, better or for worse. <laughs> Kay looks like Derek. Like a Derek. You, yes. Actually, mm -hmm. we need to... Uh, we, we might need to say something about that. You do note that Kay, who did post uh, Kay's journal last night as Ooh. traditional uh, and gave an awesome update, is not here today. And uh, in her stead, we have Derek Schubert. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Thanks for having me. Always, always awesome. Reaper Errant story blog. There it is from Darth. Thank you, Quindy, for letting the Darth Advocates. I didn't read it this time. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, no. Well, that's okay because I've got to do the little, the short yeah, okay, version of what happened. <laughs> I've got my pile of dice, my dragon horde of dice that I dumped out of my box. So now I've also got dirt on hair and stuff on the table. I thought I'd fiddle with it personally for a bit. Uh, but last well i'm gonna because of the given situation i'm gonna back this up a little bit more than i did uh do i than i often do everybody was on a ship uh, hired as a protective crew for a cartography ship that was out uh, and about sailing to different unexplored areas or was about to do that but first they had some stops to make along the way they made one stop at a particular they made it past some dangerous rocks that i managed not to crash into them landed on the, the port town that's right after that, and then began to explore because they did run into some sh crip, some shipmates, crew and shipmates, cryptmates. Um, I don't know, my mind may be thinking devious things, I'm not sure. Uh, ran into some shipmates that were slawed in the end and, and were hired on from this port call. It brought them into a very old, possibly ancient, lizard folk ruins section with quite a few different rooms all attached to the elements of different kinds and they've been through three of we, what we assume are four elements and the final one as they just barely defeated a very strange room of air where they never did for sure figure out if the surface of what was seen to be water was acid or water or some sort of vapor or but at best, they never had to figure it out. And then they descended down into what they assume is the room of water, which is what you see here. And that is the end of their descent into it. And as you get, so any questions actually before I go into I left my notes at home. It's smoke, what was it, obsidian? Smoke, mist, mist. and what was the third That's it so far. You've only had three. Yes. Smoke, obsidian, mist. I'm just going to guess at this point. We don't know, don't what, know what to combine thinking. with water for dead health. Because, yeah, you don't necessarily know what's after yeah. this, if anything. Obsidian, smoke, mist. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Just double, double check that. So, uh, it, this place has been. <laughs> this is obviously fire. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, uh, this place has been filled with weird po pockets of magic here and there. And you know that as you come down here, uh, this is definitely attuned to uh, the element of water. It's, it's clear. Um, 
In fact, it looks almost as though the, the inside this whole, what is a very, very deep cavern, you've gone so deep and out so far that you will suspect you could be starting to head under the sea again. Uh, possibly not, you know, fully out there, but you're starting to head that direction. Maybe you are, it's, it's hard to gauge because you've been in here for a while. Gone down and uh, laterally. I think that's all the important stuff. But what you've noticed is this cavern is on a slight angle. It looks like whoever built here originally, as you enter it, built a whole complex perhaps, and water has come in, you assume, from uh, outside, and you can see a mix. Make uh, perception checks, actually. I guess not quite yet for, well, you're gonna be in here soon, Bryden, so you can make a perception check as well. I didn't have people introduce themselves. No. <laughs> What's going on with me? I don't know. Let's make this perception drink check. More. We need more drinks. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to take perception checks first. Okay. Brendan has a 17. Brendan has a 17. Fathom? Seven. Oh, you don't have K. Good thing you have Brendan. Yes. 15. <laughs> 15. Okay. Corn Cobb has a 17. Gooseneck. 21. And cute. 20. There we go. We see it. All right. I don't. We're going to waste anything. those good rolls. Now, before we, I tell you what they see, yes. first we get to tell you about them. They get to introduce themselves and their characters that they are playing this evening. I got too excited. I'm all into it I too know. much. I'll start over here with uh, Bobby. Hello again. Welcome and good evening. My name is Bobby Jackson. I play the mighty and indomitable Pujol, gnome bard, armed with my trusty war harp and positive mental attitude. And I would like to take the opportunity this afternoon to gloat and show everybody that I have Dungeon Dweller dice and they do not. Uh, These will be available this evening at ReaperMini.com. So you guys can all have some and be as cool as me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gene Van Horn and now I have Pizza Dungeon dice. <laughs> Uh, I'll be playing Gooseneck, the uh, Lizard Folk Barbarian, and I'm ready to whackety whack with my axe. Jason. I'm Jason Weeby. I'm playing Court of Thunder Legend, a Hillborn cleric, and I'm ready to. Uh, what do you say, kick some ass? Sure. I'm ready to whackety whack my ass. Wow, that's too soon. It's like we have three and a half hours. You're going full bore off the bat. We're already deep into it. I like it. Uh, again. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Michael. I'll be playing Abrin, the more mighty and totally abdominable wood elf ranger with the mental, mental and negative attitude. Mental attitude. And I tell you what, mental something. Here's the message of the night: <laughs> Die, Pujol. <Pujo. Wow. laughs> Kill Abrin. <laughs> you put it on your badge? Yeah. That's, that's devotion. <laughs> well, look at. <laughs> Well, tonight will be tough. Yes. No. Don't give Frank any ideas. We're, we, it's it's that brotherly. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we have Rivalry. each other's back, but only when we have to. Except right. Abran will not be missed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rhonda Bender. Uh, I play Fathom, the uh, tiefling magic using person who's uh, concerned that we don't have K who sees all things with us. But confident that our person I haven't met yet is going to help a lot. Perfect. Thank you. And hi, my name is Derek Schubert. Uh, and my character is Brynden. And as if fated, he is Brynden the Mariner. He is, uh, he is a fighter. And you last saw him in a tomb where a golem tried to smash the party uh, last year. And, uh, but it was many years ago. Some, some time ago. Like another time zone. Please. In an alternate reality. Yeah. Ooh. This one's not alternate. Ooh. I'm so interested he, to learn He's become this. real? There were golems and hydras in there. And a, like a Medusa, right? Uh, yeah, there was there a Medusa. Was Medusa. And uh, she was feeling pretty haughty about uh, about us being in her lair. And we 
we showed her that we yeah. were not to be trifled with. Yes. Uh, Brendan is a male human in his 40s with salt and pepper, black hair, and uh, blue-green eyes. He wears heavy bronze plate that has barnacles encrusting it, and, uh, and he walks with a, a kind of a rolling gait, like a, uh, an experienced sailor, uh, but he is uh, going to defend you, keep you safe from harm. Wow. Good. That's perfect. You said wow last year too, after <laughs> I know. his introduction. I was like, you forgot. I need to be working on my character. <laughs> no, yeah, really. Even when we're not on stream, yeah. when Derek does stuff, we say wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 We should have let him go first and everybody oh, else. Yeah. 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 Let's take a break after that. Yeah. yeah. I'm Michael. I play Abran, who still sucks. <laughs> well, I'm Bobby, and I still I hide behind goats. <laughs> uh, we are. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So, um, perception checks is what we're going to get to at the moment. I just want to be sure. What I did not go pull in advance was every mini I think we might need, just in case. Um, so. Paint and take is over there. I know. <laughs> start, start throwing some unpainted well, minis at them and see I, what comes I, back. I do, I, I'm going to say that we have, uh, uh, oh. hu uh, the Husky Boys game is like Sunday morning, and um, I just got a pitch that we can't execute this year that I am going to try to execute next year, which is have somebody on another camera painting minis, speed painting minis, and as they're done, they hit the table. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. I just realized something. Yes. I know why you had him in our mashup class today. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Uh, we're in trouble, the guys. We're That's the trouble. most horrific assemblage of monster parts I've ever seen. That's exactly and right. Here it is. <laughs> exactly right. You Welcome never, to your TDK, you, people. You, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> You're sneaky, Frank. <laughs> At least he didn't figure it out until now. <laughs> um, so, as you descend into this, this you feel like this. You know that those other brothers got here before. You're already pretty confident that you're behind them on this trail. And then, as you as you kind of lower down some stairs, you enter this room. You hear water rushing into both falling into water, and you hear. And you, you, you see that it's a lot of submerged areas, stone, and other bits of water. Those who had uh, 15 and higher on perception also note that there is a bit of a, a difference in coloration, though you can't see it here, between the water on that side and the water on this side. Those who got 20 and higher, so that we got some rolls, Note that the way they're mixing, you've seen it before. You probably would, actually, you just, you know as well, just because of your nature, that it's salt water and fresh water mixing as it comes in. So you feel like there is a surge of water coming in also that is seawater. So which part's the seawater, which part's the You figure this that on seawater. this wall here, seawater is surging up. Now this is a whole, cavern, but we didn't put the wall over there. It would go basically to the end, but we knew players needed space. Can we, can we see that wall? That is a great question. I think maybe Fathom can. Uh, uh, what Do you have uh, dark vision? How far? Is your I think vision? it's only 60 feet. Yeah, okay. but Fathom loaned me her glasses before <laughs> she left. Oh. So that's Kay. I don't have glasses. Oh, Kay loaned them to me. We have 120 feet. We have our magic glasses. I love it. Yeah. So we lost about, our crutch. So so we can see about right. You here. see this mix? Well, no. Uh, you do have. So you can smell the water mix. I can smell. Smells <laughs> like salt water. It smells brackish. Yeah. There are pools of little bits of you're going to guess magical illumination and light happening around the old lizard folk ruins where they stick up out of the water here and there. Um, it's like there was some sort of magic essence attached to them. Uh, it is 
giving a little bit of ambient light. So you can see the shape of things and the arrangement of things. You couldn't read in here probably, but you can see the shape just by that those little bits of glow until you get over here where it gets very dark, but you know the sea water's mixing right about here. Are the are the ruins partially submerged as if this was flooded over after they were built? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, well, we still have uh, the map maker with us, right? Yes. He's hiding right behind Morgoth. 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 He's doing everything he can to hide behind you. I didn't even pull his mini out. Okay. Although it's probably here. That's how hard he's hiding. <laughs> he's hiding hard. Um, so, it's not mechanical in nature. You hoofed it to this level. What do you do when you when you first get in? Um, have we had a long rest? That is a good question. I thought we had. I think I always am giving you long rest long, okay. before, before everything. So we're fully Just charged. Checking. You're all fully charged. Let me do that real quick. Why is it just who has missile weapons get them ready? I have Atar. How do I pronounce that? My bow. Oh, your bow. Yeah, we need. Um, you want Anne to voice the bow? I do want Anne to voice the bow. She mentioned that. Yes. If she can, if it's cap if you're capable. She's, yeah, she's unable to right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Atar. Okay. I will have Atar out and ready to go. Okay. I'm my shield up. All right. Uh, out. So as you're looking around, your entryway into here, just you breaking this plane, and uh, you can, there's like a, Make an Arcana check, actually. This one's probably not for Brendan to do. Those whip Arcana. Yeah, Arcana. <laughs> ten. Ten. The last also ten. Four. Four. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Who's going to see what? I think twelve was the best roll, right? Charge in then. What okay. the hell? No, uh, all you notice is these little, s you feel like entering in here, uh, you've probably, you've probably had a nice pair of wool socks and a carpet at home by a fire at some point, you experience that pugil, maybe not all the time, but at some point, and you know there's this build up of static energy, and it feels like a magical version of that, and as soon as you come down, as soon as Etar is pulled out, as soon as it and your axe and your shield, as soon as that's pulled out, there's a little release of magic. You can see it bounce a little bit from area to area on the just where the ruins are. It kind of glows up and lights it. So you don't see the trace, but you see you can see a path of where a light would kind of light up as it sort of bounces around and statically. It's like a magic buildup, and it quickly coalesces and pops uh, with all around uh, like a smell of briny sea. And over by that waterfall, someone that you don't think was there suddenly exists before your eyes. This water? Maybe, yeah, by that one staggers perhaps a little bit, catches their balance, and then looks around, I assume. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, pulls his sword, which Where has you a water? faint, faint yeah. bluish glow Here? to it, okay. lighting in the darkness. Okay. Don't so. let the idiot elf shoot him. <laughs> you all see someone pop into existence. It is... Um, because there's a light burst of magical energy over there. It's pugil that you note that it, you feel like it was like a buildup that discharged throughout and caused something to happen. And what was the source of the buildup? The, the bow coming out? 
everybody pulled their magic items at roughly the same time, and it kind of interacted with the magical energy in here. And Kay wisely said, I'm going to stay upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you go and get this without me. <laughs> See you fools later. <laughs> I think I'd rather be a door. Yeah, Kay's up there going, you know what I miss? The days of being a door. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here and watch for a while. Yeah. Uh, should we make our way down? Yes, no, it's Bri Bri. Who's what? there? Hey, Bri Bri. <laughs> Abran? Yes! <laughs> it's Bri -bri. it's been nearly a year. How are you here? By the moon and tides, I do not know, but uh, strange things befalling all of us. Uh, let me see if I can find a way to join you. Uh, it, it, I can I can walk. Hazards. You can meet him at the bottom of that, or yes, you could try to get all the way. Let's out. join. Let's we're we're joining. Let's, let's, let's join up with Bri Bri. Yes. Position yourselves where you want to be. I think you're within. That's good. I'll be in the back near Fathom. Yeah. <laughs> of course you will. Hide behind yeah. people's own. Well, Frank did say something about you're all nice and warm and comfortable with wool or something. Careful with Pujo climbing down. He might break his ankles. Is there? <laughs> because they're so poorly glued. I see. <laughs> you cannot see. I, I just realized that. You? Here. Just drop it. Yeah. Just take a drop. <laughs> I'm going to put Pugil here, yeah. and, or I'll put Fathom there. That seems like a Fathom spot. Yeah, it's a good Fathom spot. And Pugil's Pugil in the water already. Can be up right behind <laughs> Fathom in a little nook. You just ate. you got to wait 30 minutes. And Gooseneck, I think you should. I can be in the water. Somewhere, well, not in the water necessarily don't yet. OK. We don't know it's water. Last time we thought it was water, it was something else. How about that, Brenner? Are you sure? Sure. I, promi I promise not to strategically is use my Morgoth against gonna, you. Is Morgoth going to stay up there? Morgoth is staying with Kay. Is he making a map? Oh, he's up with Kay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a little load up of our mind, I guess. <coughs> Brendan, I am Gooseneck. Hello, Gooseneck. Ahoy! I like chicken. <laughs> uh, when I, I met your comrades last time, they mentioned that they traveled with a, a stout warrior Gooseneck. It's good to meet you in person. It good feels like it's well. been a year, but it feels like it's also been a different length of time. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yes. Or a different time span. It's almost like we met you in a dream. All together. Yes. <laughs> How did you come here? Oh, you don't want to know. He'll just start talking, so we need to. <laughs> he'll he'll gate around and saunter and do all that stuff. Polish his armor. I want to know. I want to know too. I was, uh, I was on a distant shore staring at the moon, but as you know, sometimes the moon affects the brain and can see, work see, strange magic. You, you shouldn't have said anything. Moon <laughs> madness. Moon madness. That could be a clue. So are you in our dream or are we in yours? Oh my gosh. Or are we all in the dreams of the gods? <laughs> oh. Oh, this is way too heavy. Glad to meet up with you again. <laughs> Yes. Looking forward to our next adventure, which I think is beginning right now. <laughs> so, batteries. Try to be yeah. as useful as Kay. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Uh, is, that, is that a positive or a negative? That's, That's a, a high, high bar. bar. Very well. <laughs> high bar. Well, stay near me. This shield protects not only me, but my allies as well. And I hope it goes down towards the floor. Yes. <laughs> Just like my legs, they reach all the way to the floor. Very well. <laughs> okay. So you are gathered up on this side. The same information goes for all of you for what's displayed. You didn't get to see the magical discharge, but you got to feel it pull from the other side. And you know it's because you were contemplating water, and here it is. So. We should probably explain to you Brendan, can quickly catch me up. Catch, catch him up as to what's going on. Yeah, it would help us travails. also. Yeah. This is in a very dangerous <coughs> area, so don't touch anything. We're in a, go anywhere without a plan. Yes, we are in in some sort of puzzle that my my kinfolk have constructed eons ago, uh, and in each room there is a key that uh, we must 
figure out to pass. Uh, the past, the last three were uh, city, obsidian, smoke, and mist. mist. So and we went now we are in a, from like earth to fire earth, to earth, air. fire, air, and now, and now we're in fire, air. Now we're in the yes, water. What we think, and we are chasing some evil slot brothers who. Uh, uh, who had infected some of our crewmates on the ship we are on. And the passwords have built on one another. The first one was Earth, Obsidian, and then the fire was... Uh, uh, Obsidian was, was Earth plus fire. It's like you, the one you're in plus the next plus one. Plus the next one, they build. Ah, Thanks so for helping. Fire and, fire and air made smoke. And and air and water made mist. mist. So if it is a loop, then maybe we're looking for water and earth. But it's, it, it but, built, we had but. to use all three. Uh -huh. The first one had one word, the second one had two words, the third one had that's three, true. so we got to use all was, four. We there was assuming. that annoying complexity as well. You have to use three <laughs> words now. Four words, maybe. Obsidian, smoke, mists, mud. And this is, so it would be. Clay. What's that? Clay? I don't know. We must ponder. Silt? Silt? Pujol's going to, as we as they chatter, Pujol's looking around to see if he can see any area that seems to resemble the, the key spots in the three previous rooms. The real trick that you're seeing here are there are three primary visual areas that strike you. Well, there are probably four that strike you immediately. One is there's a giant crystal. Another is there's a, a pool that's slightly elevated above the level of the rest of the water. Like it's it's probably just fresh water bubbling out, not spilled over yet. And uh, three is there's an old, looks like an old ruins that were made, that you've seen for Abran's trials almost, but these are slightly different. They're a little uh, more lizard folk like. And that's those three arches? And that's those three arches. And then you'll note that this is empty as the water surges in. So that I guess there's four areas that are of important note. So the unusually colored part, we can't see that work from where we are, I don't think, right? Oh, the, the mixing of the two? No, the land here is very polished looking. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, no, you, you probably can't see okay. really well. You can see the shapes of it. But we can't see the pool. You can see we something see is above, raised above, yeah. And probably a little shine and reflection off of it, so you know it's a sheen of water or something. Is there anything unusual about the crystal? I mean, we've seen a couple of different kinds since we've been in here. It matches many of the kinds that are being mined. Oh, so amethyst. Huh? Yep. Okay. Can we hear anything besides water falling and dripping? I'm assuming. Uh, you, uh, yeah. Well, okay. Your perceptions were all really well, so you hear the water falls filling this place, and then you hear um, a really an underlying tone that is lower, it feels a little more dense, that you feel is like tied on a cliff. Like you're rushing somewhere out here. You, it's not in you, in, in this area, but you can hear that deep pressure and uh, the sound of deep pressure coming from, only the ocean can make that sound. Looking at the water line on the walls, does it appear that the water level changes? It does not. It appears that this is its high point, high mark. And in the, in the three previous rooms, we have seen the, the gargoyles, the treasure monster, and the air elementals, and a hippogriff. But we, do, we don't see anything living or that may or may have one time been animate. Currently, no. Okay, well, which way do you, which way do you guys want to go? I think we go to the crystal. Yeah. 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 Well, doesn't it kind of look like boom, 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 the three major but I don't know. How far is that little island from where we're standing? So for, for like Pugil and Fathom, that jump is about 
17 feet. Okay. So you would not have to roll it off. You had a 17 string. Okay. I just like to. If there's any loose rocks, I want to kick a rock into the water first. Yeah, you can find some loose uh, bits of loose rock, and so when you kick it, it plunks in like normal water. So it doesn't appear to dissolve or float funny all. or okay. No. Do we see the bottom? Uh, it's not. Anything? It's. It's a little too tumultuous, uh, just because of all the water moving in it and flux to, to really make clear. But you can see the bottom. You don't. You feel like it's kind of rising levels for stuff. So it's <coughs> real deep. It's probably just over your heads at most in some of those channels in between. So if you're willing to, you know, I'll, I'll walk across to the crystal. Yeah, Ditto. you can just walk on the water, right? <laughs> I, yeah. So I'll hop in. gooseneck. Hops in, swims across. across. Is it, can I tell how deep it is right here? Yeah, so right in help? there, can I help, when, you, uh, when you first hop off, it's about six feet deep. As you're crossing, it goes down to 20 feet and then rises back up quickly. Wow, so there's a trench. Yeah, it goes down a little bit. Okay. Um, I can, I can, I can yeah. help, I can ferry uh, Pujol and Fathom? Um, I can walk across water too, oh, but am I strong enough to give uh, Pujol a piggyback? Yeah. I can I, if, if you can. No, Pujol's not super. Oh, I just knocked. But Pujol has not volunteered to be piggyback. Pujol, are you oh, piggyback? I love piggybacks. Okay. All right, want, now I'm uncomfortable. You want me to carry him? <laughs> I'll, I'll carry Pujol then. You can have the arms, I'll take the leg. Well, it's not going to take us <laughs> no. both. He's a little stub of a man. How do you get across? Uh, yeah, Brendan slips into the water, and there's some uh, effervescence off of his bronze plate, and he floats. His magical mariner's plate lets him swim. Definitely the flashiest entrance. Can we just make up stuff about our armor, too? Because that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to make up stuff. You have otter pants. That's indestructible. true. Yeah. Like My otter, otter pants are make me indestructible. OK. <laughs> All right. So you get onto this crystal, and as soon as you come up here, water does, not water, magic does give a little pulse. Oh, bye-bye, crystal. Uh, oh, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. OK. Well, I'm going to wish we had Kay here. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> With the magic glasses. That we paid so much for, and now we can't use. <laughs> Bri, Bri, do you happen to have any magical glasses? Yeah. You can know, your armor? Can your armor? The, tell us turn on about? your armor function. That yep. does what the Kate best does. part for a DM like me is to watch the stuff you abuse disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah. Let's take out our guns and shoot at hey, the crisp. <laughs> we're doubly handicapped because we also do not have Jan's common sense, as well yes. as not having case glasses. You hear from Probably upstairs. Probably worse than not having the glasses. Crack. <laughs> Morcott, you sat on my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry, Kay. <laughs> That's, that's uh, so alas, that, no, that, I cannot That make does up change colors? It, it does sort of oscillate Cycle through through? different kinds of okay. magic. Maybe not all the colors you see, but oh, it starts okay. shifting through so different kinds shimmery. of magic. So it's shimmery. Yeah. So it looks like it might be magic. Yeah, it never goes red to you. It goes greens, teals, aquamarines, blues. It stays in the realm of very blue, cool colors. Watery. Watery. Yeah, very yes. watery. Is there anything recognizable? So do we think it may be ice? Is, is there anything recognizable that's a that's from my lizard folk kin? Uh, make a history check. All right. Eighteen. Okay. Um, yes. So. You know you didn't. I think from the background you've given me for Gooseneck that I know of, that I know of, you haven't participated oh, I in a lot of like that. high, high magic rituals or anything, but you know they exist in uh, among your people, mm -hmm. and uh, it seems an awful lot like this whole place was a place of of worship, and it seems very water attuned. A lot of a lot of power in water. So you see runes that you know represent water. You also know they're very old and they don't match up with like modern language that you have learned. Right. If you were 
like an arcane user and the lizard folk together, you would be able to identify them much better. But you do know they are water related, that it was a place of high worship, and that you assume that there were, uh, that this was a very active, the entire space was a temple or multiple temples to different elements, different, different parts of the element of water. Okay. Well, I will share all this knowledge with my compatriots. Does their uh, church. Does Fathom have any insights about the magic here? Or maybe Pujo um, or I could try to scan corn the magic a little and okay. see if I get a sense for it. Sure, make an arcana check. I have no insight whatsoever. This is not a good die. <laughs> 14. 14. That's horrible. That's good. Uh, that brand is proficient in arcana. Well, you may also check alongside Fathom. Abran does not notice anything whatsoever. <laughs> he is not proficient in rolling that blue dice. Spanish that one. Nope. This <laughs> is the new one. So, Fathom, as you, uh, Abran, as you look around, the, the water is pleasant looking. It's pretty. Um, Fathom, as you look around, you, you definitely notice a conjuration theme to the magic in here. Uh, which, of all the magics, can be... remind you a lot of the rest of the rooms you've been in. It's very construct, pull things together. Uh, so you, you feel like, even though this is uh, the element of water, that the magic itself that's in here is, it still thematically fits everything you've experienced as you've come down through here. Do we still, I'm sorry, do we still have the map? You still uh, have the map. Yes. This is, would be the final room. And we didn't have a lot of markings on that part of the map, no, did we? No, not really. There was very little here. I don't want to actually touch it, but I just want to put my hand near the crystal and see if it feels like magical or cold or any different. As you put your hand up to near the crystal, you sense a little tingle that you would get if there was, a, even though there is not any airwaves being moved, so there's no sonic vibration of it, you feel a tingle that resembles that in your hand, but you feel like it's magical. As if the surface is moving? As if the surface is, yeah, pulsating, fluctuating at a frequency. I, I'd like to tap the crystal with my uh, staff. Okay. You tap and see if it sounds or feels like crystal or something else. Okay. Uh, you, your, your plain staff or your staff with shillelagh cast? My regular staff. Okay, so you tap it. it just. It, it feels like normal stone crystal when you tap it okay. like that. Pujo, could you play a note on your instrument? Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Pujo. <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can find the there harmonic are resonance. seven crystal. tones <clears throat> and some semitones and a scale from A to G. What do you play? <laughs> you struck a chord. <laughs> oh, inspiration. Yes, inspiration for you. I'm just going to give you this as a physical reminder of inspiration. <laughs> that was me. Oh, you struck a chord? That you? was my yeah. Oh my god, I heard it over here. This is like you. Uh, that but was my no, wit. There's no note H. <laughs> no. Or two. Oh. There's a G sharp. There's A. Every good boy deserves fudge. I'm going F. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> Type F in chat for Bobby. Yes. <laughs> F. F's in chat for Pugil. Yes. Bye, Pugil. <laughs> F. You F'd it up. Um, uh, hey, Pugil. Pu uh, don't F it up. Oh. I just F'd it up. That, give that back. Now you just give that back. <laughs> Big F. You can turn it in. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you, Selmari, for the effing chat. Uh, all right, so. I've got to get my right notes up here real quick. What, so did you I break know. my guy already? <laughs> yes. 
What's wrong with you? All right, so you play this F, and it 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 becomes a it feels like a thin, sharp razor of steel. It cuts across the whole area. It almost this is Pugil's perception of what's happening. Like a like like you like a whisper thin blade of magic shoots out parallel with the surface of the water across all the magic when you hit that F. It feels sharp, cold, and uncaring. That's not the note I meant. Pick a different one. <laughs> well, every good. Let's go with a G. I love it. G. Make a performance check, Pugil. Ah, we're in luck, kids. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's right. 23. Oh. oh. 23. Excuse me while I step behind the, the DM screen. I fire up oh, Yakity yeah. Sax. That's not good. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, the so. better the performance, the bigger the monster. <laughs> the, can I, maybe I should do like the, uh, the Close Encounters thing. Good news that he has to go to the back room for maybe, the Maybe maybe there's like clues to the right notes. What's the uh <laughs> he needs both arms to carry this? <laughs> 440 oh, is that's not good. Is a, isn't it? That's oh that's no, that's not good. It's pretty, but not so, good. So 440 is modern A. Nothing to do with true art in the <laughs> Renaissance period. Uh -huh. 440 is A, yes. Uh so you see water coalesce uh, as you make this G note, and it coalesces up, it comes out, both of these you will, ooh, wait, what's your passive perceptions? Pugil, what's your passive perception? 11. All right, gooseneck. 14. Corncob. 14. Abram. 15. Fathom. 11. And uh, Brendan. 13. Why don't you play every note, summon every monster? Abrant, <laughs> you note that these water elementals that are coming up were pulled from the only freshwater pools in the area. Okay. No so one I else think. notices that, but you all notice water elementals suddenly forming up, pulling into existence, and resonating with Pugil. In fact, Pugil's note, the G, yeah flings out softly and then begins to resonate louder and louder and pretty soon there is just a loud buzz throughout this whole place as the water elementals gush up out of here and then the note stops resonating even though it's long since died on Pugil's Warheart and just elementals but they're not they're not moving directionally, though they're pulsating with water and flowing during their normal course of action as just individual elementals existing. They're not moving forward towards you or retreating from you. I share the freshwater knowledge that I saw. Fellow murder hobos, I believe these, it appeared that these water elementals came from the freshwater only. Any, any, any intuition to that? Pujol, do you think that you can uh, talk with them or have any have any control over them? I, I don't know. Uh, do you think you can have any? So, are you asking me if you think you can have any control over them? Yes. Do I do I feel any particular rapport? <laughs> you don't feel a rapport other than your normal bardly charm. Uh, Pujol, maybe if they were salty or. You don't feel like you control them in any way. Okay. But they don't appear hostile. Yet. But yet. Not yet. Not yet. And, and they don't appear uh, friendly or hostile. They just appear as individual elementals looking at you, perhaps, wondering why they're looking at you. 
When when did you give the uh, the password in the previous movies? Did you have um, to pretty much speak soon to after we entered? Yeah, there would be a being yes. Yes, that would... challenged us. Gave the key. Maybe we should touch the key to the crystal and speak the password. What is the fourth word? Well, that's what we were discussing. It should be earth and water, some sort of earth and water. Well, well, and mud? fire. Hold, hold, hold. Water and salt. What's that? Salt water. Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's got to be it. That's, that's the, the it's secret word. It's clearly word. obsidian. <laughs> Taffy. Smoke, taffy. piss, follow, taffy. taffy. <laughs> obsidian, smoke, I, mist. I would like some obsidian, smoke, mist, taffy, actually. That that's, <laughs> sounds pretty good. Reapercon special. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Marie's ice cream. So this Rip should be, <laughs> if, if, it, smoke, if it loops taffy. around, if ice cream. it should be the earth-water combination. Right? Yes. So Theoretically. Mud, clay. Mud. Clay mud. seems clay. more evocative than mud in yeah. a way. I don't know if clay. Mud would be... I don't know. We went smoke and mist. Why not mud? Okay. Let's just, let's just have is the all the monsters with any class. come right now. <laughs> let's just call them okay. all right now. Okay. Shall I play right. another note? Just throw right. all of them. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll touch the key to the crystal and say obsidian, smoke, mist, mud. Okay. Obsidian, smoke, mist, mud. As you say mud, the crystal fractures just a little bit. The water elementals almost try to resist being pulled in to something. It's like magic sort of sort of begins to try to disassemble them, even though they're just water. It pulls them in. It sucks in incredibly hard at them. The whole place rushes. Magic does, you can feel is building up in here. One, I'm gonna give everybody one reaction real quick before I, before I finale what happens to the magic. Pugil. I'll play another G. Another G, okay. Uh, Should I, uh, should I try another password? I think you did things. I think things are happening. Uh, let's go, uh, let's go, I'm just gonna say it again. Obsidian smoke mist clay. Okay. That's what you're doing, corn cob? I'm gonna start my spiritual weapon. Spiritual <laughs> weapon? All right. Uh, Abrant. Abrant's gonna hold form, the hold his action. Okay. I'm not gonna cast it, but I'm gonna be prepared to cast fly in case the floor turns to lava or something. Okay, prepare fly. Uh, Brenda. Shield up. Okay, so bit. all of you get ready positions. For most of you ready positions, you sing out another phrase. Do you tap it as well? Can you sing out the other phrase? Yes. Okay. Ping. The elementals suck in. There is a large discharge of magic. You can feel it pulse through the holes. You don't know how big this magical pulse is. You feel conjuration magic very strongly. Pulse out from your location, out into the sea near the dragon's teeth. Where there are ships inland, <laughs> back. The first time, well, the second time you said dragon teeth. I did. <laughs> inland, uh, you know, back where you first started at the river in the camps, all the way out around from the radius, a huge pulse of magic. It seems to build up and then disappear, like nothing happened. You've I done it you now. Just made a phone call. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Abraham's a slob. <laughs> Yeah. Or you ring a dinner bell. <laughs> what is the crystal so, doing at this point? The crystal right now is very quickly oscillating colors. It's like it went from a nice, pleasant sort of pulse to a uh, heartbeat on Red Bull pulse. Okay. The uh, same colors or different colors? Same colors, though, yeah. And the water elementals are gone now? The water elementals were sucked down as though 
any magic that conjured them went elsewhere. Ooh. The okay. overall level of the water didn't change. It hasn't changed a bit. Well, well, heck, that was good. I think we I, should go to station two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is station two? This would be station two. That one. Yeah. How are you getting to station two? Piggyback. Uh, Hold on. Do we well, want to make sure the water's still water? <laughs> go ahead. Well, last time I tested, it went great. Have a uh, drink. Well, it's how far? How far is it to? So that that jump across is only five feet. Okay. Uh, and then you have about a 25, 45 foot uh, climb. About 15 foot climb up to that temple area there. Since Abran doesn't have any special water walking abilities, uh, that's the route. That okay. Abran goes that way. Yeah, I'm gonna. I set up there with your bow. Yeah. Can you put them up there? I think so. Okay. Yeah. How sturdy does it look? I couldn't climb up there, probably. Yeah, you no. Well, I mean, if you wanted an extra check, yeah, you could get that. So, yeah, no, I'm going to go cover those of us that aren't going to be able to go that way. Yeah. Abrin. Let me, let me help you out. So for those at home, Reaper was so kind last year to build this table in the same specs, basically, as the table we play with at home, which means it's eight feet across. So if you're wondering why we're stretching, it's a big table. It's, it's a massive. big table. It's so I can get all the terrain on it, and we can still have room for laptops and dice and drinks. Which, I love your tiki mug, by the way. Thank you. Thank Is you. it time? And it's not time That's yet, not but I am empty. So we'll keep going. Sure. Uh, is, there a, is there a land route? There is. There's a little jump. Yeah. No matter I what, can, five across. feet is nothing. So yeah. I'll stay to... down um, and just I'll watch. I'll make sure the others get to the rest of us. Uh, Safely. Okay. Work out. Uh, I'm actually going to kick something into the water again. Okay. It not a gnome. Into the water. Norm not as a gnome. Normal Does water. it look normal? You uh, make a perception check. I want to ask Pujo to do something. I would love to. 14. 14. It looks normal. It looks normal? Yep. Uh, I'm going to begin to walk over to the second objective. Absolutely, no problem. So and that seems to go put fine. Him, put him near this stalagmite. Yep. Yeah, I'll stick close enough that maybe I have, if I have to jump up on there, I can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have Fathom and Pugil Fathom left on back there. Oh, did you, did you want to go on my back? I'll, I'll piggyback on Fathom. Okay. Um, what it, Scoop a little bit of the water with your mage hand and put it on the stone here, and let's see what happens. Okay. I didn't dissolve yet. It comes off like uh, like water on stone. All right, we'll go with it. I'll right. piggyback. On blaster. All right, you're walking across as well. Right? You guys go on. Are you walking the same way Corncob is, or um, a slightly different route? He, he already tested that route, so yep. I will follow in his tracks. Okay, Walk so. without rhythm, and you won't attract a snake. <laughs> <laughs> and Pugil, of course, is well. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, you're walking across. Nothing odd seems to be happening at the moment. Uh, can we examine this uh, pillar or whatever it is? The sort of the, the yeah, yeah, of course. Make a perception or investigation. You're, investigation. you're being very thorough, hands on looking. 11. Uh, it's, same, it's definitely the lizard folk of ancient times, yeah. I'd like to continue across the bridge, okay. yet casually, or I would like to be taking a look at everything, making sure, so is that a perception check or whatever? Yeah, make a perception and we're going to move you at half speed, you're like checking very, very cautious across all of this. Well, my perception's pretty low, a total of 10. Okay, no problem. So, so you get across, middle part of the bridge, you feel like something's going to happen, but it doesn't. Ooh, ooh. Can you make it the rest of the way? It's just a little land bridge in the middle of nowhere. Is that far enough? Yep. Uh, yeah, you can only really move half speed when you're being that cautious. The formation that we're standing beside, does it look like a ruin or something more natural? Or So, some of, so here's, uh, you had some good perceptions in the middle. So, you can tell that there were, the levels the temples were built on, that there was some, 
contour to the shape, but it wasn't this rough and it wasn't this gappy. You feel like maybe bits of this uh, geological formation were softer sand or uh, a softer stone, and they were washed out as soon as water came up to it. So the levels you see the, the um, old lizard folk temple and ruin parts at were always accessible. You can you feel like they were accessible when this place was in its heyday. Um, but that parts have fallen away because they were not as sturdy as others and eroded over time. Is anybody else gonna join me? Yeah, I'll go back you up. Okay. Oh yeah, I can I'll, I'll, I'll get too. up there. I did I was waiting to see oh, yeah. what I'll keep continuing up to get up there then. Well, not, we'll all go. Let's not go near the bridge part. Let's just go straight over there. I'm just walking. Is this okay? Let yeah, me know yeah, if yeah. I'm going too far. No, you're going for okay. I will stop you. Okay. And then, so Gooseneck, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, Corn Cob Fathom and Pugil, you, and then climb up that, no problem. You're all plenty capable of making that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still piggybacking Fathom. Yes. <laughs> Michael can't instantly kill you. <laughs> but he Abrand can kill can. you, but not instantly. <laughs> not instantly. Not instantly. Abrand, maybe, yeah. But <laughs> fireball the <with> elf. <laughs> but we're probably not even really worried about Abrand. Probably not. Why aren't we? I think there might be worse things here. Than you? Oh, I guess so. Abrand? Uh, maybe. So maybe not Atar. Wow. So we can see down into this area now. Yeah, so now you can see down into the area, you can see that there's a, a pool slightly elevated of fresh water above the salt water area. Let's try to do an arcana check here. Yeah, what? what? Hmm. Let's study that. It seems suspicious. Okay. So sure. it's a constructed pool. The pool looks natural. Okay. Uh, but it looks like it, in of itself, was, you feel like it was volcanic in nature originally, and somehow a large amount of more solid stone was built up and then filled with water, all of it in the center. And then softer stone around it has been eroded a little bit. It doesn't dip down. You notice that it, out here on these sides, it comes up pretty quickly. Uh, so it's kind of steeply eroded. So it's some sort of, almost like a basalt, sort okay. of the way a basalt might come out, but with a hollow core for some reason. So looking at how it's laid out with the rest of the ruin, yeah. does it look like this pool was a focal point for yes. the rest of the construction? Make a religion check. I am wondering that too, if that was kind of the central you may area. Also, yeah, yeah, make a religion check. Of the like trying to assess this festivities. Important. Religion, oh boy. For cleric guys That's my favorite role for you, Corncob. <laughs> Nine. Nine for Corncob. Fourteen. Fourteen for Fathom. Nine. Uh, it is important as a pool of some sort, Corncob, but that's all you can get out of that. Fourteen. Your people don't spawn in the water, You feel like this was perhaps a religious cleansing no. <laughs> area. Maybe a ritualistic before you would go to the other. Yeah. I would suggest that we do that then, that we all get wet with this water. When Abrant noticed that the elementals came out, they came out of that pool and that pool. Yes. Right? So that's a fresh water yeah. pool. Yes. Okay. And it's regenerating itself as fresh water. It has a well down of fresh water. Yeah, apparently. It seems to be mixed with salt water all the way around. Around the sides. Okay, I'd point that out again. It could be no, a spring. It, it, does not, it doesn't have the same agitation as the... It does not. Can we see the depth? Yeah. So uh, it's varied. It's kind of jagged. It's not something you'd want to walk on necessarily at the bottom. There's a little bit of rubble uh, if, as you get to parts of it, which is... But you can also clearly see that people have walked or somewhere in time along the outer edges, especially because some of what would have been sharp was probably worn off, looks like some broken. It doesn't look like water would erode it like that. So people have walked on it, but it seems like for some reason the, the stone that had been in the center of this has seeped up water through it. Uh, and it's about, 
it starts near the edges at just like two to three feet as you get about five feet in it doesn't get deeper than three feet and then it kind of bowls down towards the center but um, so it, it gets at its most depth about five or six feet at, at the very most uh, but usually not much deeper than five and it's very you feel like it's almost porous and so uh, whatever natural spring is feeding it can come up from any part of the center Look, we got important people off to the side yes. making signs at us. To go back to what Abrin said, would this be, would this seem to be all salt water if it weren't for these pools? If it wasn't for this water flowing in and these pools, it would probably be all salt water surging in. I'll take off my gauntlet and try to. Uh, well, I'll go down to it and get my fingers in to see how warm it is. Can, can I have okay. a white wine? It feels cooler than the salt water. What, what do you want me to have? Give me whatever you want, then. <laughs> hmm. What happened when you touched it? Sorry. No, he touched it. He touched it. No. Cold. Oh. We can see the source of the water here. Yeah. Can we see the source of the water in the central pool? No, but you su you very, very distinctly suspect that there are large openings that lead to the sea through caverns. In, in the central pool? Yeah, through this, no, oh, in the central pool, no. Yeah, yeah. no. So we can't it's, see? It's, no, it seems like it just filters up through the stone. Okay. Almost like the stone is um, like a pumice or a very, very porous sort of stone. Okay, no, oh, I, I, that's I'm volcanic good. in nature. Like regular water cold or unusually magically cold? Like, like, like you've been in the earth 50 degrees cold. Not magically. So I think this pool existed before it was water with the salt water. Yes, I think that this was a part, I think this is part of the ritual and we should oh. bathe in it. I'm a little worried about that. Maybe the lizard man has some insight on that. It may, wait, um, if it's his ancient religion, I'm not sure I want to go diving in the pool. But maybe you're not supposed to touch anything else unless you've been, you know, purified. Sort of I've been in the water. So. I'd rather not be purified, thank you. Yeah, and what do lizards consider pure? Yeah, and we are talking about lizards. I'm going in the water. My I'm getting some water on me. You're going to purify with the would, water? Would your people lizard. have a specific ritual for that, do you think? Like, can I leave my clothes you, on here? Or? From all the things you have done in this room so far, you know that they would have a specific ritual. You have no idea what it is. They would? And I got, I got nada. Okay, I'll just splash some no. water on me. Can we see the, the bowl part yeah. clearly enough? Yeah, it's Are not there, a smooth so, bowl, it's a jagged bowl. Oh, so it's a natural formation? It's or very natural. Okay. Yeah. So and the last two there, people tried no, that became there's no engraving or there's no this is not part of the room no it's it's natural you feel like it was brought in as a natural element to the ritual and the the spiritual feeling of the this whole area could be it here was of significance. Uh, so the I'll, the ley lines cross here yeah i'll, I'll touch them with the water and splash it on okay aqua sure. velva aqua velva yeah, pop me down there too. I touch the water. Here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give big props to Michael Proctor and, uh, for reach for standing up and moving minis for this game. Wow, what a cheese eater! <laughs> <laughs> he has long arms. He does have long arms. Well, so far no one has died from it. I no suppose I'll splash some water on myself too. Okay. You've all you kind of it's like splashed. Um, you feel a, 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 a little bit of a tingling and a strange craving for chicken. You know what? Perhaps we should immerse ourselves. You can see where the the, the traffic went around the shallow right. area. It's, Perhaps we should get into the it's pool. It's much easier for you to immerse yourself. <laughs> so why not let you? I don't really have a choice. It's over my head, which I know. Part that's of the what pool, I'm thinking. You'd be quicker well, if you start to dissolve. We might be able to get you out earlier. Yeah. Yes. It's waist Abraham deep for some of us and two head deep. Head deep by the by his broken ankles. 
How long would it take me to uh, strip off and set my delicate equipment outside and and, uh, and do a proper immersion? Uh, Gnomes have detachable delicate yeah, equipment. Are exactly. Are you wearing leather armor? I never knew uh, that. Yes, I. I it's, it is. Oh, here we go. Naked, naked gnome again. It's detachable. <laughs> yeah, I think I am. You're the one with the goose grease. Yes. That's true. He's the one that likes to get lubed up and. Get naked. Who it's had 20 while. minutes on the pool for how soon <laughs> Pujol will be naked yes. in this episode? <laughs> you're, you're well, my armor class is 13 with my plus one, so it must be leather. It must two. be leather, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's like two minutes. Okay. You can, you can. I'll strip off and. Pujol's stripping off his armor. And... As soon as Frank said, whoa, we knew Pujol was going to be without his clothes. Hey, yeah. I get naked at every opportunity. Do you, do you step in? Yes. Okay, so two minutes. During these two minutes, as you're, you're busy kind of pulling off, so you're, you, you don't notice this, but make perception checks. Not oh, people. I think we chummed, I think we chummed the water. <laughs> Hugo's not in the water yet. He's just stripping off. It takes him some time to get out of this leather. He's going to be the bait, yep. the bathing beauty. The bathing beauty, <laughs> the bathing beauty. beauty. Yes. 17 plus four, 21. 21 for gooseneck. 20 for corn cob. 20. 18. 18. That but minus 10. <laughs> 18 minus 10. Minus 10. Okay. Minus 10. I got an 8. Oh, and 21 here also. 21. Okay. 20s and above. Notice this. Oh. Not the 18s. It's, wow. it's kind of subtle. Sorry. There is as though something is grating underwater. No one's done any extra in yet. Pugil's not in. But somewhere out here. Is you grating? Feel, you feel like a, a very soft grating sound. Not a hard. Stone on stone. Not a stone on stone. More like a. Like, like dragon a, scales <laughs> against sand? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a picture. You're so good at words. Mm. Wood. Against stone underwater. Oh boy. Oh wood. Boy. I know what's happening. It's a wood dragon. A wood dragon. That's what I would have been afraid of the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then you're able to. Do you smell something? Like, is this just the, the drink? I was given a drink. Oh. Thank you, tree. Um, I thought it was. It smells like wood smoke. Yeah. Okay. I'm not alone. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm not. Nothing on on fire. Is it right? the drink? Are we all having a stroke? Yeah, <laughs> the hotel's on fire. At least it's mutual. That's okay. the smell um, of naked gnome. <laughs> as soon as you took off your clothes, it yeah. smelled delicious. Take in here. the mat and pour it on the fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it does. It does. Okay. Yeah. Maybe someone's engraving. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Or has just gotten uh, uh, the laser cut things yeah, where you maybe. break them apart. It smells. Oh, I love that smell actually. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, yeah. You all smell that while well, Pugils smell that. <laughs> <laughs> hear that. Smell you later. You all hear that and while Pugils disrobing. Blowing up to, my water wings. Yeah. Well, we yeah. don't. We don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we don't notice anything. But we tell them. Okay. Oh, that's very concerning. This thing I can't hear that you're telling me about. Sounds, Sounds like big. imminent death. A wood dragon. Um. Hey, there's Mario. Is Pujo in the in Not the tub yet. now? So this was in the middle of that. I'm still okay. blowing just, up my water wings. Well, I'm kind of stopping. I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. I'm pausing to see if with this information that you're kind of being given midway of undressing for Pugil. Mm. If you do anything different with it, or you just are observant, or how you want to handle that. Well, Abrad's waiting for Pugil to get in the water now. It okay. could be happening because we haven't gotten in the water. You know, how <laughs> can we get in the water? This is been your group. Have a nice time. trip. Go ahead. You know what? I'm a lizard man. I'll get in the water. The lizard folk? I'm just going to say plunks down into the central pool. Pugil, and it, well, first of all, anybody else? So you, while he's undressing, you're just like, all right. Yeah. Anybody else? What are you doing after this information? Abran is, is watching Standing Point. 
He has ranged attack, so just. In I case. don't have armor, so I'll just go in. I mean, my clothes will dry. Okay. Yeah, and the better the armor, the longer it takes to take off and put on. Can I move around to, so I can see through this gap here? Yeah. Out to the broader you could. area. You could. Yeah. So just like over here? Or even on is there a room ever? on the lower level? Oh, uh, uh, or is it, does the water not come right really. to the edge there? It kind of goes right to climb up. We could kind of come over here and peek around. OK. Yep. OK. Because Abrant has line of sight out there. Uh, yeah. With some blind spots that way, but yes. OK, so that's, that's our situation. Where you got. So at, just as you kind of dunk into the water at the end of your, you got your clothes off, you've already got in. You feel everybody who's gotten in, so Fathom and Gooseneck, you just decided to slip in. Um, you feel like a, there's, it's definitely magically charged. But you're not sure in what way necessarily. It does not feel like the conjuration magic that was building in here and discharge. It feels more like a. Uh, make an arcana check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So. That's. Um, you feel like it's an abjuration magic that's sort of tingling around you in here. Uh, and then any lizardy sensations? You, you, you feel. I mean, it's very. I mean, it's cool, me. but it's. And so you expected that because it was cool, it was going to, you know, make you a little lethargic, perhaps, or something. But it's not at all. It's quite pleasant, even though it's cool. Pugil, you're able to strip down at the end of two minutes and you plop into the water and kind of walk to do and you join them in there and you you hear another soft grating underneath you feel like this was the discharge of the elementals before i love it because he's shaking his head like he knows he's like i know i know here we go breaching the surface in the middle you feel like that conjuration magic reached out into the sea, the ships that had been wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Who sculpted that one? Yeah. Weeby. Whose fault is that? Weeby. Thanks, Weeby. Dada. Dada. <laughs> <laughs> I sculpted it as a good creature. <laughs> I guess that makes us the evil creatures out of the water as it's coming up. So at this point, actually, you only see the top of it from about arm level up. It seems to be stomping through, drawn up towards you. And we do need to take like a 10 or 15 minute break to get up, <laughs> stretch, go to the restroom. So we're going to go to our break and uh, we'll see you uh, af and find out what happens with this shipwreck uh, golem type thing that uh, Jason Weeby sculpted and was painted by D. Trash and the Mrs. Trash and yeah. So see you after Great the break. Great job. Oh boy.
Hello. Welcome back. We've got our drinks refilled. Oh man, I already drank all mine. Where's the Pujo manager? How come it's missing? Yeah, why is Pujo gone all of a sudden? I guess it's because he took a dip. With no clothes on. Yes. His leather armor. Hello, Quindy. Mm. Hi, Quindy. Is up on the bank. Hi, Quindy. And um, you know, I think it is probably the appropriate time to say roll initiative. Pugil. Oh. oh. 22. 22. Gooseneck. 14. Corncob. 11. Abraham. 19. Adam. Seven. And Brendan. Eleven also. Eleven also. I just, you can either decide to shift, but otherwise I will go from the top to the bottom of who I called out, so we form covers. Unless you want to go ahead. Pugil. Um, with that wonderful, oh wait, I guess I have to roll initiative too. No, you don't. I okay. have this wonderful shipwreck revenant from Reaper Miniatures on the table that Jason Weeby sculpted. Yes, I did. And oh, I'm proud God. of it, no matter what you buy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Was that uh, a pizza dungeon dice? I rolled a pizza dungeon dice. I rolled a one. Oh, uh, you, Joel, you get to go first. <laughs> oh, that's um, I don't suppose it's practical to redon my armor. <laughs> Two minutes. Uh, so every round being six seconds, probably not. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll just uh, <laughs> go in commando. That's right, baby. <laughs> I will uh, spring into action. Grease up. Yes. Um, How long for him to put underpants on? Uh, that's, he can gnomes do don't wear underpants. That, that, boy, that water was really It would cold, have been a free it? action, but underpants. There's no way to tell with a gnome. <laughs> um, I will uh, spring agilely out of the water and recover my war harp. Yeah. And um, can I do that and cast a spell? Absolutely then I will uh, cast Wall of Thorns on that horrible construction. Right across here? Yes. Spring out, and you cast Wall of Thorns. Um, just a moment ago, uh, we can look for some walls that are just thorns. And I will surround the thing so that if it attempts to leave my barricade of thorns, it will take more damage. So you use a circle that, around it? That is correct. Okay. And what's the biggest radius you can get in that? I'm just checking, because it's quite big. Yes. 15 feet in diameter is the, the footprint, I guess you would say. Uh, it's 60 feet long, 10 feet high, and 5 feet thick, that has, or a circle that has a 20 foot diameter. You got it. And is up to 20 feet high and 5 feet thick. Okay. Do you need, uh, so, cast it at its feet, basically, right? Yes, I'll just surround it yeah. with the okay. wall of thorns. Wall of thorns, perfect. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, just slow it down. The wall of thorns springs up. You can just see it peeking out of the water. Uh, and again, remember, it's only up to basically this arms that are showing on this model, on this mini that it's peeking out of the water. Abran, it's your turn. Abran is going to pull out a tar and fire in a couple arrows. Okay. We had a uh, 17. So you note that as the 17 hits it, mm -hmm. the, the wood is so waterlogged okay. that it sort of squelches and pushes out. Ooh. How about a 22 to hit? That feels like it solidly embedded itself into the this construct. And with ATAR, there's a chance for it to do poison on a constitution fail, but this is something that probably is not impacted by poison. Uh, you have noted in the past that most constructs do not have any kind of poison thing. Seems like he keeps trotting out uh, constructs since I got this bow. Um, so... Let's see, 8 plus 7 is uh, 15 points of damage, please. 15 points of damage, okay. All right. Uh, and Gooseneck, so as, you know, 
you see Pugil slip up, you see Abran start firing arrows into it. What are you going to do? Um, you, just as an important note, Pugil, Abran, Fathom, you feel the slip, like this tingling around you from slipping into the pool. You all, you, the three of you, fully immerse yourself in this pool. You don't know what it does, but you know there's some magic involved in it. Uh, <clears throat> take out the key. Say the magic words again. <laughs> Obsidian, smoke, mist, clay, clay, clay. You can feel the magic um, vibrate in the air. You know that those words, not the first ones you use, but those words that you're using now are the correct words. And you feel like uh, the focal point for those is probably around that temple area over there, the old ruined area. Farther but away. you also feel like you can't turn back time on what happened after the first Right. utterance of the words that were not quite correct. Okay. Uh, well, I will uh, put the key away and make my way up through the through the bridge there to the to the point of the rock. Okay. And hold my action to whackety whack when he gets in range. Okay. So gooseneck, you do a, uh, all right, and you move. Can I, uh, can I go into a rage with a, as a bonus action? Yes. Okay, let's do that too. Corn cob. Um, my, my spiritual weapon is probably gone by now. Uh, no, I think actually it's here. Let me go get this spiritual weapon out of here. Okay. I need this. That's perfect. Thank you. Um, and then, so you cast it. I gotta roll nine. You can only cast it within like 60 feet, I believe. Is that enough to reach that? I don't think so. Well, I cast it a while ago. Yes. So, um, yes, I can only cast it 60 feet. I can move it. But I would start trying to move it more back. Yeah, it cast, to it. it's 20 feet per round after your 60 feet right. cast. So let me let me do a guiding bolt first, and then I'll use my reserve to move the spiritual weapon. Okay. So guiding bolt. Uh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can cast. It. Yeah, because yours is from Yeah. The guiding bolt hits and it feels like the spongy waterlogged of the wood deflects it. It does not make a solid contact uh, and does not actually strike. Oh, son of a gun, we're sunk. sunk. Unless you got magic armor that helps with this thing. <laughs> it just happened to be shipwreck revenant proof, isn't it? <laughs> we, um, we should find out. So you did that, and then you said you'd move your spiritual move weapon. my spiritual weapon toward okay. the rest. Yeah. We'll get it out there over the water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these thorn walls. Everybody's looking for me. But I feel like you're I have the inside. You're a sailor, right, Brendan? Right, right. Right, 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 right. So you can make friends with it. And sure. Love you yeah. forever. Be your pet. Hey, that's my ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, next on the list was the other 11, which I think was going to be Brynden, right? Yep, that's okay. true. So, so I'm going to um, move up behind behind uh, Goosenet. So Would you like me to reach? Uh, you got it? No. We need tongs. No, but... But we need. I need to get over to the temple and do it again to to pass this. 
I think we got to beat the golem first. Yeah, we need to beat the golem first. You're well, such a pessimist. That's how good you made the golem. We have before. Remember we that time I died it, so twice? We, don't. we could keep shooting it with ineffective spells and ah. arrows. I hit one of them. But so, uh, Brendan has, uh, has moved up, maybe swimming if needed, but coming up behind uh, Gooseneck. Okay. Close nope. by. And Gooseneck, you can see that I've moved my shield in such a way that I'm sort of bringing it around your body as well. Okay. Thank you. I love extra protection. Okay. What is the little fear guy? That's the little... spiritual weapon. Oh, that's ah, uh, yeah. That's, spiritual. that's the spiritual right. weapon. I Sorry. just need a marker for it. Slowly making its way. We're imagining the wall of thorns. Yes, for now. Um, <laughs> fathom. Um, I'm. I assume that it would be. I can't really see where I am, so I'm going to go back, like the side where uh, corn cob is. Okay. And then this seems like a really good fireball. Moment. Oh. But. Alas, I have only one set of Pizza Dungeon dice today, so I'm going to press the button here so I don't have to roll nine times. Okay. 34. 34. And let me make a reflex, a dexterity save. Dex 17. 17, okay. Ooh. Aberrant Ooh. can use his fireball like this. Dex is not my strong suit. And I rolled a one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Reaper Pizza Dungeon Dice, you have <laughs> failed me. You have supported your... That's because Ouch. you don't have the nice new Dungeon, dungeon Dwellers, dwellers dice. dice. You're using the... And maybe you want to loan them to me. No. Do Hands not. off. Ah. <laughs> Hands off. Uh, roll the full damage. What was that? 30? 30, 34. Okay, 34. So this wood sizzles a bit. You can see it. The, the water evaporate out of it. The salt sort of begin to discolor it as the fire surrounds it. It does not light it on fire, but it does definitely scorch it and begin to make it a little creaky as it moves a little bit. Keep drying it out. Dry it out faster. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so it begins to move. The water around it and the thorns, it's going to move through the thorns. So roll the damage on those. It's going to take 15 feet through it. So it's going to go through it three times. Really? Yeah. I'm being brutal to it because, I mean, you need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's three times. Yeah. So the first is 26. Okay. The second is, well, come on. Why won't this work? There we go. 43. Okay. And the third is 30. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it rips itself through the thorns. They scratch along bits of what were old ship and whole bits of old chests, and it raises an arm up that you see a strange contraption on. Out, you can see into it. You see like a little barnacle attached inside this hollow shell, this pipe almost. The magic flares at the back of it in a beam comes out. Uh oh. <laughs> so I can use my reaction as a, a protection fighter. So while wielding a shield and a creature you can see attacks a target other than you within five feet, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Oh. oh! Thank you, Brian. Uh, so, it would be wonderful if this wasn't a saving throw based attack. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Would be wonderful. Gooseneck, we need a D, uh, uh, I'm not gonna tell you DC, but a, sex, a, a dexterity saving throw to dodge out of the way of this beam as it levels an arm at you. On dex effects that you can see while non-blinded 
or incapacitated, I have a day. What is the fee made of? Uh, it looks like a sickly reddish light. Okay. All right, here we go. 20. 18 20. plus 2. Okay. Uh, Okay, you dodge out of the way. The beam pushes behind you. It hits a bit of stone wall, and the stone wall turns to powder and falls down. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> don't get powdered. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. All right. And it moves in toward you as that. And Gooseneck had gone in the pool, right? Yes. Uh, dang it. I was hoping that we'd be all right. No. Uh, maybe Pugil. Maybe get one yes. Freebie. You've seen this take place. A bit of stone <laughs> wall that was formed. You watch it sort of get carved away smoothly by the beam that shoots out of this shipwrecked arm. It, and it's my go? And it's your turn. Hedgehog! <laughs> <laughs> I love Come it. On. Um, <laughs> Come on, Pizza Dungeon Dice. What's the saving? What's the stat? It is. Charisma? It's. It's. Uh, I think it's wisdom. Uh, it is. Yes, it's a wisdom 15. 17 wisdom. Ah! Uh, it had only been charisma. Uh, so, <laughs> it, the beam hits it, the, the magic hits it. The willing it to be a hedgehog, it has been willed by the magic throughout this whole cavern to be a ship. Go on. It is not becoming a hedgehog for you. I'm sorry, Pugil. Put your clothes back on and try it again. Well, who is the um, who's the closest person to it? Gooseneck. I will give my bard trick to Gooseneck. All right, bard inspiration to Gooseneck. And Abran, it's your turn. Awesome. Abran is going to continue with Atar, firing arrows. Okay. A 20... That hits it. Five to hit? Yes. With eight and four, 12, 19 points of damage. Okay. And fire again. Atar feels happy and excited. We have a 20 to hit. Yes. With seven and seven, 14 more points. You're sinking arrows into it. It doesn't seem to move, other than there seems to be, uh, I don't know, uh, a body in it that looks up your direction. It doesn't look like it's particularly important, other than it seems to be part of it and what it's seeing out of at the moment. You also think it magically doesn't matter what it uses to see, but it's looking at you after that shot. At okay. It. Can I, as a, well, let's see. Noticing that, can I cast Zephyr Strike? Okay. And I'd like to knock that pillar over. Okay. But position myself. Behind the pillar? Behind the pillar. Okay. That is good. Gooseneck. Uh, I'm going to... I mean, this is fairly slow moving since it's big. Yeah. So far, what, can, what we can tell. It, it seems to move at about the same as um, a normal human. Oh. Mm -hmm. Although it seems to be a little slower in the water. 
And how far am I from it at this point? 30 feet? 25 feet. 25 feet. Okay. Um, and how, how deep is the water? No swim. one's been that way yet. Okay. You know what? I'm going to swim out and around behind it. Which side of the which side of the beam weapon? The beam's on its left arm. It's got some sort of ship anchor on its right. Okay. So I'm gonna swim out and around, come back. You know, not not too far, but just what, what's so your swim step speed? On me. Forty, the same as my walking uh, okay. speed. All right. And I want to. Yep. And I would I would like to come up on a tiny leg and just whackety whack with my axe, start chopping at it. Okay. Uh, All right, because you have a swim speed, you can use your axe freely in the water. Okay. Wow. Here we go. bounces off the soft squelchiness of the wood, like it doesn't get bite. Well, uh, okay. Do you get two attacks or just attack? one? Was it attack? You get two, yeah. All right. Try it again. Come on. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, which uh, uh, deals, let's see, an, an additional Okay, so the first round is uh, seven, and oh, another 14. Okay. And when it's a critical hit, uh, on. critical hit, when you score a critical hit that deals slashing damage to a creature you grievously wounded, until the start of your next turn, the target has disadvantage on all attack rolls. Yes. All right, good job. Now, I don't know, it also says when I hit, the creature uh, get, loses uh, speed by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Is that so it's, yeah, both it's, of those? Or yeah, just, it's okay. both. All right. So you lose 10 feet and this is the start of your turn. Okay. Uh, it's Corn Cobb's turn. I'm going to climb down off the little pedestal area and charge for the revenant. Okay. I'm not going to step in the public. And then I will follow up my spiritual weapon as close as I can get to the revenant. I think you can get the weapon all the way there, though you okay. can't get all the way there. Okay, so do I get an attack with it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Weapon dunks off its thick, soppy boards. And, uh, bring it. Okay. Taking my cue from Gooseneck there, I too will jump in the water. Ooh, all right. My Mariner's plate, nice. speed of 30, swim speed. And nice. I'll uh, get to the other side of the thing. Yeah, right, right. Well, I sorry, opposite from, from where Gooseneck is, so uh, I guess okay. sort of we're on opposite sides yeah. of it. And then I'll take oh. an action to um, slash it twice with my with my sword. So plus seven, uh, eleven plus seven, eighteen. Don't get purchased with that through that wood, ah. okay? And then the second strike is much lower. So, <laughs> all right. You have help out there that's come to save you. Distracting to it, though it is still keen on others of your party. Um, but not enough damage to actually throw it off the trail of where it's looked last round. 
fathom. Thanks um, for the cover. <laughs> well, if one fireball is good, two fireballs is better. I'm going to aim high. Oh, okay, going for the, the high just to, to get it. avoid my quick. friends. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem. An Arcana check, DC 5. To target it just so you're fine. I, I don't know if you passed uh, 22 that. on the Arcana. Okay. I'm sure you pass that. Now, can can we do a make a saving throw if she misses oh, it? Oh, of course, but she didn't. Okay. She okay. wouldn't oh, miss okay. that on you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we no. talking about the same Rhonda? Uh, yes. <laughs> I get a saving throw, though. Dexterity based. 17. 17, but I get a minus one. Oh. So I failed. 26. So, 26 points of damage. Okay. The fire, again, sort of dries it out a little bit. It creaks hard, but it still continues to move towards you. And that is full of pigs. Hmm? That is full of pigs. Let's okay. check real quick. Oh, okay. No, and no. All right. Is it targeting? Interesting. Okay. So, it looks up at you. For some reason, isn't able to muster that same horrible beam that it had before. And instead, Swings this giant anchor down <laughs> towards its feet. I think this is at Brendan here in front of me. Okay. Uh, it is a. Ooh, a 26. Uh, I'm sorry, a 16. A 16 will miss. Okay. Beautiful. So the first time the anchor comes down, it just splashes wildly into the water. And then it swings it around back one more time. Uh -huh. That is a 20. 20 hits. Ah. Yep. Okay. Did it have disadvantage from your critical, though? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The roll is disadvantage. Disadvantage. Ah. You're right. You roll lower. Still hits. Okay. It's um, too many dice. No, they all roll low. You're okay. Uh, 17 ports, points of piercing damage, we'll call it, with this rusty anchor. Okay. Um, the My heavy armor master gives me uh, damage reduction of 3, so instead of 17, I'll take 14. Yes. All right. Awesome. He's badass. Yeah. Built Thanks, to last. Jason. Yeah. <laughs> I love everything about this sculpt. I, I, like it too. I used to like it. <laughs> and my go? It's your your unless yeah yeah. No, I, I will go. cast protection from evil on Brendan. Okay. Which will give him advantage or, or disadvantage on attacks against him. Yep. And advantages on saves. Right. Or, okay. And uh, I will give my inspiration to the wretched elf. Okay. <laughs> so protection and inspiration. Is that advantage on attack rolls? A D8. D8. It's a D8 oh. bonus for okay. one attack or one save. Would you like to stay in your position? I can't really see where I am. Yeah, you're beside kind of the just, pool. Currently, you're beside the pool. You've just climbed out and put on, well, not put on your clothes, but grabbed your harp. Yeah. Yes. I'll stay where I am. Okay. Abran, it's your turn. Abran is going to hop out from behind the column, so it's a clear line of sight, and pull out ATAR and fire a couple more arrows. It's just, it's just one trick for me. And. What happened to you being Mr. Fireball? Oh, yeah, come on, ball. fireball man. <laughs> Pony knows the second trick. <laughs> oh. oh, all right. So we're gonna throw a third level fireball on okay. the necklace. All right. Which is you've got to help me here. Is I'll just use this. So 27 points of damage. I get to save. But you do get to save a dexterity 15. 15. Yeah. All right. It's a big. 
I rolled a 15, but I needed but to have, <laughs> I needed not to have a negative one, so I failed. Oh, wow. Yeah, 27 <laughs> points of damage. Twice now. Yeah. And with the fireball, I only have one attack. Yeah, that's all you can do. Okay. All right. But it worked. So but it worked. worked. It did work. And I gotta take it. I gotta take it in off my fireball necklace, which I'm sure was the uh, real reason they wanted me to use my fireball. No, because <laughs> it's helping dry out the wood. Oh, yeah. It does dry it out. Uh, that smell of wood smoke in the air. Exactly. <laughs> how? Yeah. How, yeah. Now we know where it came from. Goose Okay. Um, well, I'm going to chop it again. Now, okay, yeah, let's just, uh... oh, you know what, before I, before I chop it, I'm going to zap it. So that's a dex, uh, dex oh, DC. Oh, yeah, that's right, okay. Where is it? Uh, Storm Aura, dex DC One. 15. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... We'll get six points of damage, of lightning damage. Six points of lightning damage, okay. With the full bore. Keep hitting it with deck save things. Yeah. Mm. And uh, let's do some wacky whack here. Uh, 13. Mm, bounces off of it. 16. Go! Swing and a miss. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. And it is Corncob's turn. Corncob is going to charge as fast as I can toward it, running across the water. Right. And then right at the end of my turn, I'm going to misty step up onto it where the skeleton is. Oh, beautiful. Stylish. Wow. Leave it to the guy that sculpted it. He danced like an elf. There's a I don't know what else to do. Dwarf that's size awesome. perch on the top that's of it. Ring the bell. And that's it for me. Yeah, the Ring the bell. <laughs> uh, does your spiritual weapon get to attack it again? Yeah, the spiritual weapon, as long as it's still going, does uh -huh. get Yep. Oh, and you're back to normal. My turn's over, so you're back to normal speed, normal oh, rolls. Okay. So a 19. Uh, 19, the spiritual weapon bounces. Off. It, it sort of half slurks into the wood and gets rebounded off of it. <laughs> this wood is... Very waterlogged. Seems very protective. Well, I've trained in all of my armor for no wet armor from now on. <laughs> no more fireballs. We're gonna have a roasted I got one more. dwarf. I We're like, have a roasted like a dwarf. Full set of waterlogged oh. wood, please. He made a bad choice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just tread water and I'll strike twice with my sword. Plus okay. seven. Thirteen plus seven. Twenty. That is, you feel like it just slips in. It makes a good slice in the. Okay. That's that's seven the points of slashing damage. Okay. Second strike is a natural 20 here. No! Hey, all right. Uh, do I roll double damage? Double dice. Du uh, okay. A any dice you would roll for damage, double them. Okay. Um, so it's a three and four more makes seven, and my base four is 11 points. Okay. Send it. Very nice. You've carved nice slashes across it. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. All right, someone ruined my fireball, mm. but um, let's do Psychic Lance. Okay. Because I'm guessing he's maybe not so smart either. That's an Intelligence 17 save. Who ruined your fireball? You did. You're on top you, of it. Where am I aiming? Go ahead, go ahead and throw the fireball. I'll, I'll resist it. Psychic Lance. I don't think okay. so. I can diminish the effect of me. We'll let him smack you instead oh. of me smacking you. Do I need to... What, 27. What? I get a save. Oh, wait. Intelligence 17. Okay. So you send this psychic glance out. Even though this, you realize it's not a very intelligent creature, you also realize that it is bound entirely by magic. It has not enough sentience for your lance to do anything to you. Dang it. Ah, Rollo Thim 
It acknowledges your presence, but does not. It doesn't need to acknowledge my presence. That's cool. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I mean, it's still looking at Africa. Came from oh, that okay. guy. <laughs> not over here. <laughs> and in fact, can it get to Avran? It cannot. But hold on, maybe. Maybe. Maybe if it touches that fresh water. One, and I guess I get one more. I'm going to roll different no, dice. No, if, if it walks through that fresh water, maybe. Right. It raises its arm again, that one with the strange magic on magic it. Magic death ray. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to make a dexterity saving throw. Nice. Make a better dexterity. <laughs> oh, I will use my inspiration. Bardic inspiration, 1d8, 1d8. There you go. Oh, oh and I, got, I still have my bardic. 9 plus 7, 16. So this ray shoots right at you, Avran. Mm -hmm. You think you didn't get behind the pillar in time, but you realize just at the last moment that you did. The pillar disintegrates in front of you down to the ground. Oh! Disappearing. Ooh. Thank goodness for that pillar. <laughs> and the bardic gets buried. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Pujo. <laughs> Uh, that was an error in bad yeah. judgment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take the pillar out to the parking lot and hit it with a hammer <laughs> to simulate the disintegration of Vanguard. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so this, this, this arm that it has is quite nasty. Um, Pugil, it's your turn. I got nothing left but uh, toothpicks. And it's gooseberries. And uh, I'm still by my pile of clothes, right? Yeah. Then I'll just snatch up my little tiny crossbow and fire a toothpick at the little passenger. Is your is your war ham, uh, war harp in hand? Do yes. You, do you, we think? Um, did did the, the resonance of your G note mm. on the crystal was that like because of you were close to the crystal, or maybe we could summon water elementals to help us fight this thing off? Oh, okay. Well, that's a good suggestion. Care. So I'm assuming Brendan says. Play a G, Play a G. Note, fool! <laughs> uh, I will uh, heroically strike a nude gnome pose and pluck the G. Don the Boom. G string! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New miniature! New miniature! Oh, wow! <laughs> Boom. And it comes off and you wrap it around your nether. <laughs> yes. Mm, okay, so uh, make a performance check. Ah. Uh, Fifteen, alas. Fifteen is good. I Not know, for me. I know you're used to selling out the Apollo. Yes. But um, it resonates out. You feel like the fresh water almost moves a little bit. But what you actually feel in that is your skin harden around you a little bit. Gooseneck, you feel like your skin hardens around you a little bit. And Fathom, you feel like your skin hardens around you a little bit. With Everybody the genome. Nothing. With the genome. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Serious. Magic in your music. Can I play more than one note during my turn? You, you can, yeah. I'd like to also play an F note. Yeah. Seemed like it would slice over the surface yeah. of the water, right? Not a good, and if we're swimming there, that might be... It hurt it, it hurt it, but it might, it hurt, might us hurt us. I don't know. The you cold, F, unfeeling F note slices a thin sliver out across everything. Uh, Abran's in the water, right? No, Abran's oh. up here. Oh. Abran's <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> Gooseneck. And Brendan are in the water. You know. Um, but no, Abran's perhaps the farthest back. Uh, alas. Uh, but this thin note slices out across the the water almost stops for a second on the waterfalls, but it doesn't. Maybe. Keeps flowing. Make oh no, you made your performance, so that's unfair. Let me make a save.
corn cob underneath your feet, underneath that, you feel uh, and hear an audible sound from whatever this is shooting disintegrates out from on its arm. You don't feel like anything's broke entirely, but you feel like whatever piercing melody Pugil's doing back there, it has laid a small crack on this weapon that's on its arm. Greg, is it my turn? It is actually Abran's turn. Okay. Abran has since the uh, crazy dwarf has, ju has jumped up on top, he eyes over to um, Fathom. It's like, there goes the fireballs. Wow. All right. So Atar's back out. <laughs> <laughs> Ring the bell. Is uh, and I'm trying to aim at the little dude that I was look, spying at me. Yes. Okay. And so it's 22 to hit. You hit. Okay. And so that's seven and five is and plus sorry, that's 12 plus seven, 19 points. Okay. On the first hit. And then um, 21 on the second one. Hits with nine and seven is 15 more. Still standing. Do I see anything happen to the little dude that I'm bucking with the arrows, or is it just all one you thing? Seem to, it seems to be just all one thing. Okay. Uh, it almost just seems to pin the bones behind it into the seat. This seems like one whole magical okay. uh, construct. Okay. It just, for some reason, uses something familiar to to you to look at you through. Oh, okay. Uh, you want to stay where you are, Abraham? I think I might need to move down because he lined up that cannon at me once already and I got lucky, so thank you for reminding me. Fathom is vaguely pillar shaped. <laughs> <laughs> Fathom is vaguely not staying here very long. Is it? Am I able to move to here and then, when I want to attack again, I can jump up, yeah, and come back down. Yeah. Okay. So I want, I'd like to kind of move where I've got an angle line of sight. Okay. And I'm a little leery of moving past the gnome in his nakedness. So I, I jump far over him just to avoid that whole nudity. Gooseneck, it's your turn. You're intimidated, I know, by a, um, by a naked gnome. Yes, yes, and what he's capable of. We are intimidating. Yes. yes. I'm going to climb up his back. The gnome or the... <laughs> make, uh, make an athletics check. Climbing is athletics, and it's moving around as well. Uh, athletics. Alrighty. Uh, 15 plus 6, 21. Yeah, you climb up its back. Uh, you don't have a climb speed, so you're moving at half your speed. How high can I get? Uh, your speed is 40, right? Yes. So, okay, so you can get, yeah, 20 feet up, which is up more than half. Can I, can I get up enough to ring the bell? Yeah. Okay. I want to climb up and whack it, try to ring the bell. With your axe, with your staff, with your hand, uh, with... Uh, well, uh, with my axe, if I can. Okay, make a, a basic attack roll. Just add melee attack roll. 15 plus 7. 20. Ooh, the, rel, the bell, vroom, as it does, everything vibrates. Water lifts off the top of the surface. You feel like um, it's not necessarily a harmonic area for it, but but you're sensing a theme, uh, harmonically speaking, mm -hmm. as you hit it. You, uh, you, it's not like hitting with normal acts of damage wise, it's not gonna right. quite go through like that, but roll your damage. Yeah, you feel like this thing just made a weird sort of vibration, and you feel like it was incongruent with its natural form. 
So it seems to, I wouldn't say confuse it, but maybe didn't, slow it down. Didn't like it very yeah, much? I didn't really didn't enjoy like it. it. Uh, yeah. Do I, do I get two attacks? Can I try to you bring it again? Another, yeah, yeah. Uh, 17 plus 7, 24. Does it ring it louder? Mm, <laughs> same kind of ring. Just bang, bang. 14. Okay. Yeah, so you note these sounds are sort of ringing off of stuff. Okay. Water's uh, bouncing a little bit around it on the surface. And it is a gooseneck's turn. I just did it. That's right. I said gooseneck. I looked right at you. Corncob. Corncob is going to summon his own oh. water elemental. And he's going to direct it to do its best to tear that weakened arm. Oh, okay. Tear that arm off the top. Your water elemental surges up out of the water, making a, a slam attack with it out of it. 15. So it bounces against it and sort of bounces off of it. It's not quite a good enough attack to break through. It's going to go up against me, so. Okay, again, sort of bounces off of this water armor. Brenda. I'll keep treading water and uh, take another couple of slashes at it from, okay. from below. Since I have a, a thing where if it tries to move, I'll be able to, uh, to attack it. So, right. well, uh, corn cob and goose neck are on top there. Uh, three on the die is going to miss, oh, and my second much. attack at nine on the die is going to miss. So, yeah. two ineffectual strikes. It is, even though it is clearly distraught a little bit, yeah, that's not enough to. Very much. <laughs> All right, Eldritch Blast it is. Okay. It's two. The first one is 23. That does seem to break through all of its defenses. More dice. Um, so 10 points of, oh, 14, sorry. Add the thingy. And then the second one is not as great. Yeah. Missing? Okay. Yeah. But now I would like to pop down. All the way to the water, to across where Pugil's at. Maybe you can make it as far as Avran. Yeah, if, if there's some wall I can duck behind yeah, where I'll, Avran I'll is. Join me over next yeah, I'll, I'll go. Yeah. I don't want to be the tallest thing right. to shoot at. I don't think it's charged. I don't think it is. Okay, so it, let's see. It picks up its arm, which is damaged a little bit, but not, not completely unfunctional. Ooh, the thing is, a lot of you have damaged it now, so I'm gonna have to figure out who it's, I'm gonna randomize who it's kinda going for. Who does it hate most? Yeah. <laughs> Did you just do that? That's <laughs> not. Send it to Frank. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, I'm sorry. It has focused on you. Uh -huh. oh, oh, all right. Oh. And it pulls the arm up. Boom. Make a. Um, yeah, it's a dexterity saving throw. Oh, all right. Well. Um, does he, is this uh, his protection from evil? Would it affect that saving throw? Oh, thank you. No, it's only attack rolls, I think. Yeah. Or is it saved? Does it stay saved? Let, let me check. That's important. The bardic inspiration? No, the protection from oh. uh, good and evil. Mm -hmm. I should know my spells better, but guess what? I don't. You're naked. What do you know?
No, you can't be target, uh, uh, frightened, charmed, or possessed, and it's disadvantage on attack rolls. So it's just a normal dexterity save. Okay. <gasps> Natural 20. Oh, nice. You're able to just swim, push out of the way. The little pocket of water beside you evaporates in, in, into dust and then implodes as the water collapses uh -huh. in itself. <laughs> I am mildly disappointed I'm not hit with a disintegration rate one time. He's got a fist, well, a handful of okay. dice over there. It's okay. Shaking us. Uh, I prefer you survive, but you know. Not strongly. Pugil. Just kind of. <laughs> Uh, I will play another F and bardically inspire Brenda. Okay. Uh, make a performance check. Oh, that's better. 26. Oh, wow. So the F slices out. Cold, unfeeling, uncaring, as I've said all these times. Everybody make a dexterity saving throw, including me. Even the guys Not that you. are up? Yes. Maybe. I saw it. Eighteen. Good. Eighteen. Good. Nine. Nine. Not, not Eighteen great. also. Eighteen's good. Sorry, Fourteen. Fathom. <laughs> Fourteen. Nice knowing you. Fathom. <laughs> Fathom and this creature. Uh, roll. It's all on you. 4d8. As this slice of magic cuts out across everything. Ouch. Just gonna have a little lie down now. That's all right. I'm next to you. I got you. 15. 15. 15, 15 points of damage. I take it as well. You can see bits of barnacle, parts of wood sort of shaved off of this as the, mo as the note rings out across there. Pick a different note. <laughs> it was well done. Uh, it seems to it seems to radiate from your location across most of the whole room when you strike that note. And if you strike it just right, you can't control where it goes, but you control how intense it is, and if that's enough to start cutting things. But I'm I'm starting to learn how to control it. That's no, not what that face really. does. I've done her task. You, you, you're starting to learn how to invoke it. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it's a good note. It's a great note. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like your evil tiefling, creepy wizard person. <laughs> oh. So do, can I shoot at it from where I am? Hey, I had the hardened skin. Did that help at all? You did have the hardened skin. Uh, you, nope. No, it was a saving throw. No, no. For the record, I didn't say I didn't like my evil tiefling creepy wizard person. Do I have line of sight where I am? <laughs> right, can I? Yeah, yeah, you okay. do. Right. I think I missed on the first one with 16. Yes, you miss. Second one is a 23 to hit. That hits. 8 plus 7, 15 points of damage. Okay. So, I mean, it's moving slowly and creaking a little bit more. The heat, the, a few arrows, some slashes. Things are beating this up, but it's not, its arms not dropped off. It's not stopped moving. You feel like it's, you're getting close to seriously impeding its progress. Though. Impeding. <laughs> impeding. <laughs> We're almost going to make it have a hard day. Yeah, we're we got to be in a minor nuisance. <laughs> we're kind of like a man. Yes. You said seriously impeding. Yes. Um, gooseneck. Uh, there's now a water elemental surging next to you. Um, that's right. Get inside of it. It's fun. I did. I did that one time. Uh, He's been inside a lot of e enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, this one can't. Yeah, that you know of. It's a mushroom queen. <laughs> mm. 
Mm -hmm. um, Zabran. I and know. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna ring the bell again. I don't know what else to do. I mean, yeah, yeah. whacking. Yeah. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Uh, fourteen. No, it seems not to. It doesn't. It just slides off to the side with the motion of the creature moving around. It's not a good ring. Although it rings out, you can all hear it. Ring again. Oh, that was even worse. Ten. Um. And as a bonus action, zap you with a little like. Yeah. Right. I get to save, yeah. perhaps. Next DC 15. Six. <laughs> it's not very dexterous. Six. Six points of damage. Okay. I think that's it's literally a lumbering creature. <laughs> Made of wood. <laughs> uh, it's a big lumbering beast. <laughs> yeah. And it definitely feels the sting of that. Uh, yeah, Corncob. Corncob's going to take his magic battle axe with a 17 and try to hit at that arm. A 17 does not sink into the meat of oh, this. Oh, sorry, it's plus two, so that's a 19. 19 does not sink into this. Okay, all right. Then the next thing is going to be he's going to attack with the slaughter all missiles. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So that's a 17. It does the, uh, yeah, it slams and sort of bounces off of it. And a spiritual weapon. No. Uh, <laughs> wow. God, I, if only it was a catfish. I, I guess. There's nothing I can do here. <laughs> It's, uh, I mean, it's uh, difficult. It's impervious to be able to use those. You've got to be able to use those otter pants somehow. Well, I did. Should we start blasting with fireballs again? <laughs> I'll keep up my attack trying to I, scuttle this. I don't have fireballs. Two attacks I don't care. At the water no, line. we don't want to hurt you. Uh, nine plus seven, me. 16 will miss. I can have and the damage. And natural no. 20 again. That'll hit again. Are those pizza um, dungeon dice? These are uh, these are pizza dungeon dice here. Yes. The green kind. Get okay. uh, so, so we got a two green dice. dice and four for my strength is twelve points. Wow. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna do this randomly uh, because they're Let's do it randomly. Try to be fair. Since we weren't talking about it, I should have reminded you. The arm that's got this cannon on it just sort of hangs down after that attack. Limp. Like it suddenly disconnected from it. This, what happens to Corn Cob? Uh, he's still up there <laughs> on top of it. He's next to the skull. Okay. Well, there we like go. It was swing, it started to swing down at me, and just then I was able to <laughs> sever it. whatever ties uh -huh. make it work, and it just hangs down. Great. So it's only got this anchor left. Come on. That's hilarious. What is that? Fathom. All right, Eldritch Blast again, then. Yeah, My other plan yeah. would not work. Oh, yeah. 26. Yes. Just keep those out. <laughs> 19. No, it bounces off. No, 19 damage from oh, the 26. Damage. Okay, okay. Then the second one is um, a math amount, 22. That hits as well. Each one of these sort of push it back. It rocks it. Corn cob, even as you're, as you're on top of it, you can feel it rock back from that. 14 was the damage. 14 was the damage. Yeah, you feel the whole thing is sort of creak and groan under its own weight now, like the magic almost isn't enough to hold it up any longer. Well, I, I'm glad I can at least feel the damage other people are doing to yeah. it. <laughs> you look great up yeah. there, Corn Tom. You do. <laughs> You're very valiant. Yeah. Uh, Pugil. Um, does Pugil feel in his heart that the party would be interested in him risking playing other notes? Sure, yes, he does. Very he good. We are a curious lot. Yes. Pugil will dramatically strike an A. Normal A. An A. Make a performance check. 
a 20. Okay. So your A rings out. It feels calm as it comes across everything. It feels like if any of you were afraid of anything or uh, experiencing any distress psychically, like it would just relieve you and relax you as this note sort of strikes out across everything. Do you notice anything of those who were in the water? Unfortunately, none of you noticed any, that that changed anything in the water environment. I will uh, also in, inspire corn cob. Okay, and corn cob is inspired. So that's he forgot to use his. I forgot to remind him. So corn cob and you, those three are inspired. Okay. You used yours. Abraham, it's your turn. One trick: fireball is not an option but we're going to fire an arrow. I'm not the only one up there. The lizard Good. man's up there, too. Oh, the lizard man's up there. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. So that's 16 to hit. It's going to miss. It is going to miss. And a 19. It's going to miss as well. Two misses. It's going to push into yeah. the wood a little bit and give you a little confidence. And it's yeah. going to ow, You need to talk off. to that bow, man. Yep. <laughs> I know. No, Shape up. I was using the blue dye at this time. But I'm going to fail the blue dye. Now it's back to the red. Gooseneck. Oh, you're in the water surrounding it. I'm, I'm back in the water? Well, no, you're at its back, right? Yep. They keep ringing that bell. Okay. 13 plus 7, 20. 20? You strike it. Uh, roll a d8. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out this time a little something different. Ah. Four. Okay, so this sort of bell rings out across everything. Uh, Pugil might know. Does he know the note? He might know the note. It scatters across. And uh, everybody make a saving throw. It's a uh, wisdom. Oh, is this a, a magic? I get advantage on magic. Yes. If you get advantage on magic, you will have advantage on this roll. Seven. Seven. Nineteen. Nineteen. Great. Eighteen. Eighteen. Great. Natural twenty, but twenty-four total. Great. A nine. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Sorry, so, the gooseneck, you're up there really close to it. Did you have the protection from good and evil on you? Uh, I had that oh, cast. Oh. Uh, uh, could I, I use? My, is it? What's your inspiration? Our die is a D8, a D8. And you also have protection from good and evil. So you get advantage. Advantage. On this okay. I, um, well, uh, my natural one on the second roll would not would not help. Okay. So, but I'll use the uh, bardic inspiration for five. So that'll give you a fourteen. Fourteen. You two. Okay. Uh, two. So I'm still. I'm, uh, Eleven. Right. Okay, so you, at first, you felt almost hopeless for a moment, for just the briefest moment, and then you, you just were, remember that Pugil didn't let you down. He's here fighting with you. <laughs> Make it gnome for the win. After all. At least he's flexing that. Gooseneck. I'm so depressed. This axe is too heavy. It's too, too much. That note rang out across, almost melancholy-like. Hopelessness spreads through you. Sorry, guys. I'm giving up. Do I recognize which note it is with my perfect pitch? Of course, Pugil. It's a D. A D. It's not a D minor. <laughs> it's, a, it's a D for demoralized. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, so, uh, so, so I'm. Your, my turn is over and I'm... Yeah, your turn is over. You're kind of downtrodden. Um, you're limited to... Maybe I should be a door. <laughs> you're limited to one. Like, uh, you can move or you can attack. 
okay. your attack roll in one attack. Okay. You just kind of until the end of your next turn. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm getting notes in my ear about the time, so we won't go too. But that we don't have to. It is corn cobs. All right. Time to. We got an hour left. Time to. Time to start thinking uh, outside the box. I'm going to use a grasping vine, apparently from what's left of the thorns. Thorns. Wall, All right. And try to wrap it around that arm. And if not pull off the arm, at least knock the whole thing off that one. Okay. All and right. That's what corn cobs. Let me make a saving throw. Yes, versus dexterity. Ah. Right. So I was not able to get out of the grasping vine. Okay. So do uh, your grasping vine has damage associated with it? Uh, nope. Nope. I either I pull it down 20 feet or. If it's too big, maybe I can pull it off. That's okay. Possible. So I want to get that arm out of commission. The one that's hanging, the disintegrate arm. Okay. Make sure it can't be used. <laughs> yeah. So as you pull it, uh, this is too large and massive to pull it all down. But you are able to yank the arm, and it okay. disconnects, and the whole thing splashes down into the water, boom, unconnected from it now. There's no way it can use that weapon against you all now. But he doesn't fall. No, no. no. Now my water elemental will just go after that side. Okay. And not do anything. But my spiritual weapon still won't do anything. You removed its arm. That's something. That is not nothing. Uh, all right. Brendan. Okay. Two attacks at the water line there. Uh, natural 19 for a 26 to hit. Yes. Nine nice. points of slashing damage. Right. Second attack no, is an 11 plus it. 7 is 18, which back we missed. Again. I'm going to use my action surge as a fighter once per short rest to give me an additional action, and I'll take another attack action. Okay. Um, that's an 18 plus 7, 25 for nine hits. more points of slashing. Right. Uh, and then a uh, seven on the die will miss. Okay. But I got another hit out of it. So it lurches down the same side that the arm was pulled off of, almost like it submerges halfway. It feels like it went down on, like its legs gave out from underneath it. It, you feel like it's kind of almost stumbling about at this point, almost toppled over. And the magic that begins, that was holding it together starts to with all the notes that are in the air there's mu there's musical sound there's not really music but there are pitch notes in the air that are vibrating at different frequencies it feels like it's almost like something is trying to pull it apart this whole time and for some reason it's holding together but it's losing that grasp Nineteen, Sort of bounces off of it. Nope, seventeen. Okay. All right. All right. So oh, two elder blasts just come. It, even though it's weakened, kind of down. It just sort of deflects off of each side of it as elder blasts come in. It's not like it's dodging out of the way of these things. Uh, and it just all it has is its clubby anchor arm. And there's three of you at its base and corn cob up, so I'm just gonna d4 this. Up too, right? Yeah, on he's like yeah. halfway on its back. So we're gonna go. I guess you um, can use it as a back scratcher. One, two, three, four. Three being your elemental and four being you. That's a three. Three being your elemental. All right, so it swings this this massive anchor, that's all it's got left, at the elemental twice. The first one is a 24 to hit. So, uh, let's see, I have some reactions here. Okay. I can take one of them. Um, 
I can use my sentinel attack reaction when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a creature other than you, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attacking creature. Okay. Would that resolve after that or just after that? Okay. And the first one, but not the second one. So okay. go ahead. But so it's gonna damage yeah, the, the first elemental. one's gonna damage the elemental. Uh, so let me let me go ahead and whack the elemental a little bit with this. The elemental takes 20 points of rusty piercing damage, basically. All right. And, and because it's let its guard down against me, uh, I hit AC 21 with yes. seven points of slashing. Ooh, so it, you slip in there with your attack, and before it can hold up, this whole, it just sort of slows the magic that's holding it. Here. Move it. Move the it magic slips out we from it. it. Well, it doesn't slip out. It sort of bursts out from it. And as it does, the bits of the ship fall down into the water. Well, the magic... It doesn't leave the area, but it leaves this being. Corncob falls down. There's nothing holding Corncob up anymore. I'm on, I'm on its back, too. You fall down as well, then. And this thing separates so It's just the chunks water. of debris. It's just chunks of debris in the water. Before it can execute its second attack against the element. Right and saved our bacon. And we are. Go, Brad, Brad. <laughs> I would just was scary. replace the batteries for the heck of it. There was a lot um, of fire, there were a lot of arrows, there was a lot of axe whacking. It was yes. A lot of notes being played. Yeah. A lot of a lot of nudity. A lot of naked gnome. A lot of, gnome. A lot of naked gnome. A lot of too much. Yeah, put your clothes on. A little naked gnome. <laughs> I'll leisurely put my clothes on. <laughs> Pants last. I reverse. Right? It's a it's a dress tease. Yeah. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Armor. Class. <laughs> I'll make a performance roll. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this strikes in. Uh, you don't feel like the magic's gone, but you feel like maybe you could move forward with what you're doing here. Maybe this is the time Station to three? go to... Yeah. That's where we're trying to get yeah. to? Uh -huh. Okay. So, I'd rather like to hop up. Can your water yeah. elemental ferry us? Toward the yeah, while well, he's still there. I don't know if they can carry. I suppose he, if he can, he can. Why not? You want to come with yeah. me? I can also carry things. Fathom what about like will surfing? Come with me. Yeah, Fathom will come with me. Well, he's sort of all right. So the water along. elemental can walk you along. Yeah. I'll switch you on to it. Do you want to come with us? Your uh, master blaster ride is up here, up on the top. Yes. As long as I can bring my clothes with me. That's within reach of you, Michael, so I'll allow you to put yourself in okay. the And I can easily circle across and all that stuff as well. Okay. Yeah. You want to come over? Yeah, I don't have to jump. I can walk across the water. Okay. We've all seen what happens when I jump. Yeah, we don't want to do that. And do you want the rest to come over here? Uh, I, the elemental can, we're kind of out of round, so unless you have a reason for holding back and you tell me, then I'll, you tell I me would like you to go be. to that center square. Okay. Do, what about the hammer? Is it done? Uh, it lasts for a minute, I think, only, so it's done. It's done. I'd like to keep the elemental going for a yeah, little while. Yeah, it's like a full hour for the elemental. Okay. Is that good? Does that everybody agree? Mm -hmm. Do you want the elemental? In reserve to back up. Okay. You guys want to be inside the. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's be on that side of the. Yeah. Yeah. Why oh. not? Inside the ring. Now I can stand on the water inside, equidistant from the three pillars. Or the You're three on land, but yeah. Does that work? Yeah. yeah. Take out the key. Obsidian, smoke, mist, and clay. Water. And I'm standing in the center. Okay. Make a 
so how would you like to, to contact your your sort of you've been all along here looking all in these past seeing all these ancient lizard folk ruins and scrapings and stuff pulling the key out every time god a little chat with the golem so you know that even the golem uh, not the golem but the gargoyle so you know even the gargoyle in those in ruins what skill would you like to bring to the table to sort of connect with your Ooh, lizard our, folk past? lizard folk kin? Yeah. What, skill? Or if there's something else that you think might be good. Uh, Halitosis. <laughs> <laughs> Love of chicken. You're a lizard. Love of chicken. Love of chicken. Yes, I will send... I will send my love of chicken and uh, um, greet. Yeah, I'll send my love of chicken to my ancestors and uh, uh, sacrifice one of your bone things that you've carved. That's your big skill. Yeah, that's right. That's a yeah. good idea. Yeah. Okay. And I will. I will make an offering. Uh, a little, uh, 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 I still have that bone staff you made me. Okay, you wanna you wanna offer it up? Go ahead. We'll we'll offer we'll offer uh, our ancestors my ancestors the bone staff that I created. Do you remember what you carved? That was that a remoras? Yes, it was. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Something? Now we burn. <laughs> oh, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> They're uh, uh, no, make a history check. History. Yeah. Uh, you're okay. going to have an advantage. Okay. Oh, and advantage? Yep. Okay. Uh, 18 Ooh, rock plus and roll. 3. 20, 21. Okay. Yeah, so you offer up this staff. Corn Cobb offers it. You grab it. You, you sort of attune as best as you can. You offer up the staff. Uh, you say the words, you have the key. The key. You feel, so they're in the, the opposite hands, and you feel them like a magnet almost pulled together. Do you want to try to prevent that or not? Okay, so no. bam, they just pull together. The staff sort of uh, changes components. It was bone clearly before, but now you feel it like hardened, but smooth and cold like obsidian perhaps, right? You feel it warm up a little bit. Okay. And then you feel it almost as though there's an aura around it of something steam-like, I guess you would say. So your mind, you're following the path here. Right. So it's and feeling like these are the elements of the, of the as words. You cross them. Okay. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Should we? Well, I want the staff back now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah. Do we notice anything changing? within these gates so or? you you do notice even though that this stuff is like half broken not quite there you see what you didn't see before is this little uh indent in the middle of this that looks about like the base of the staff size as though it could be in the in the actual land i'm standing on yeah abran yells stick it in yeah. stick it in there we go i'll just for abran i'll stick bye bye it in staffy <laughs> Ooh, there's a whole party going on over here. Yeah. Um, the water, the final thing that you came, kind of flows in out of here, creates this umbrella of water over, it shoots up, and umbrellas out about the radius of this. Uh, I'm listening, I'm sorry. About the radius of this of these ruins, as though it was kind of umbrella-like, like a water gazebo. Like a, it's a water gazebo. 
that is. Perfect. Who doesn't and want it's, one of those? It's all the way over. Yeah, all, yeah, all the way over. Okay. Very cool. Oh, we're in a lizard water gazebo. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Who'd have thunk? One day you're playing in a tavern, the next day you're in a lizard water gazebo. <laughs> those with those who are proficient in Arcana at all, uh, all you no, you don't have to roll. If you have the proficiency, then you realize that this is sort of like a little that it's permanently affected this staff. And maybe you give it back to Corncon. Maybe you just keep. It for, I don't know what happened, but it's permanently affected this staff. I want it back. And dude. this is sort of a protective for the lizard thing. Tint yeah. of water Ooh. that's coming out of this staff. Oh, it fits the theme. Yeah, um, fits the theme. So we don't need the bouncy castle anymore. All that said, it as it goes in, activates. Uh, all those things come together, and a little uh, round bit of platform about this big around sinks in, and then you feel like reshift and begins to come back to up out of it, rises a little bit higher, and on either side you see three eggs come up with it. These eggs are about this big. I Do asked I recognize you, these eggs? Do oh, they look like I, lizard folk eggs? I asked you if this was a spawning pool, and you said, oh no, we don't do that. <laughs> no. These are slot eggs. These are slot eggs. Yeah, are eggs. they slotty? Are they like our gem? Or? They are crystalline looking. Mm, yeah. I have one. I can. The, I mean, it's not it's exactly. So one is definitely a controlling kind of gem. It's not an egg, but this is an egg that's made and looks a lot like those gems. But uh, you could use any skill you want to identify it further. So does and, it seem like if we mess this part up, we all die? Someone be slotty right now. <laughs> Can't you can make put your face up. right over the top of the egg yeah. and see if it opens up. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Uh, that's what I would say. Make an insight check. If you're oh, I don't think that's my omelet. top skill. Six. Uh, what what is happening here is not it's not your kind of arcane ritual. These are definitely should have been that very strange lizard folk rituals to you. I will mention my idea to the other people. Can I, can I make another history? What is your idea? Just that if we had not done this correctly, we that's how the Slod Brothers got to be insight, the Slod Brothers. Make an insight check myself. Hi, uh, you don't, uh, from your earlier roles, you don't have a good connection with the magic, ritual, spiritual side of what's going on with your ancient ancestors. What, Sorry, guys. do the eggs seem... What, what can we tell about the eggs? They Crystal. are not translucent, but there is a little bit. Uh, you would not need it. You wouldn't have to candle them with a very bright light, so you could see into them. But there seems to be shape inside them, but just it's not easy to see well, without light. All right. Yeah. It. Let's try to silhouette them. This is how you get that crystal in your head. If I touch it just like with one finger, is it warm? So you touch it. it one finger. feels um <laughs> one finger. Yeah. Uh, no, it feels room temperature. No, are all has, three identical. Has Corncop tried nature or religion on his eggs? Yeah, there's a no. nature person, right? Not that one. I could try nature. I could try I, uh, nature, but I don't have, I have good survival, but I don't know that I'm doing it. I'm, I'm a nature boy. Oh, actually, I got 23. 23 nature. Rock on, nature boy. Okay. Hey, hey, finally. <laughs> you, you take a look. Uh, so, a couple of things strike you about these eggs. One, they are not, so when I say they're made of gemstone, they're very, they're kind of naturally, they're not cut per se. But they do have a natural shape that looks formed, so there are bits of cuts to them. They're not all the same. Some of them have this sort of hue that you're used to going in. I think it was an aquamarine or a, a sapphire kind of hue to it. Some of them, one of them, there's three of them, has an emerald kind of hue, and the other one has a ruby kind of hue. Boy. <laughs> Uh, and you feel like they are actually eggs 
They are actually are eggs. Actually eggs. Uh, the Seems natural. odd that these would be slaw, doesn't it? Yeah. Except that we're kind of primed for slaw, but this would seem like... Maybe these are dragons? Uh, but slaw could be the failure. But are there You're different right. colors? I'm just saying this is a lot to go through for a bunch of... There are of, different colors. Are there red slaw, green slaw, blue slaw? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but, that, yeah. That I don't know. But, but doesn't it seem like an awful lot for to go through for just some slaw? What? What's the slot connection? are pretty creepy. Yeah. What's the connection with lizard folk and slot? Yeah, well, that's what we tell want to us know. One's, one's more amphibious, one's more lizard-like. Maybe we should never have trusted you at all. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe I'm the slot. Maybe you're the slot. Uh, so you you begin to have this discussion. I'd like you all to make an insight check since you've been on this journey together. Well, not for the whole way for everybody. Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty. Not natural. Twenty. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Not natural. Twenty. Nineteen. Nineteen. Six. Six. <laughs> you have not been on the yeah, whole you journey. Have, no. You've been on the journey. I have one data point here to draw some conclusions. Thank, wow. Thank God you're a good fighter. <laughs> salad. <laughs> Is that what you said? Are we ordering salad? Yeah. Salad. Salad sounds uh, good. Red salad? So, <laughs> tomatoes, blueberries, and mixed greens. <laughs> the, With a little balsamic? <laughs> the 20s and above, you feel like it is likely that these are manifested here. Someone would have had to put these. You feel like almost this is an arcane incubator. And that these eggs, these particular eggs, might actually be draconic in nature. I'm calm. I'm calm. I, yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> this doesn't this doesn't feel I'm like this doesn't feel like you do this all for slaw. You do feel though like this chamber would incubate any kind of egg if you put it in it. Oh well there we go. That's why they were don't you have it an egg? I have a control jam. Well, if it's warm enough, lizards are hermaphroditic, so could you lay a couple eggs? <laughs> He's still in my chicken powers. <laughs> Start a fire, warm him up a little bit. Why are we trying to get him to have children in the middle of our adventure? <laughs> Might as well have some more eggs. Throw some more eggs in the fire. That's something to do. Elves lay eggs. Yeah. That's true. true. I forgot we can get Abrin to lay a couple. <laughs> <laughs> they, they also lay mushroom queens. <laughs> <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> oh, boy. That's inspiration. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, so what do we... Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Well, I want dragon I don't, eggs. I don't, I don't know that guys. we need to try to hatch these. I say omelet. I think these are. I think these might be a treasure. Let's do what Rhonda said earlier and look, shine a light and look in and see what we. Oh yeah, I thought we were doing that already. Yeah. All right. So you you kind of shine a light. You've got all kinds of ways you can do that. So, so there is definitely formed and fertile eggs in there that are not fully grown. The form is hard to say, but it could be dragon egg. Well, we got to keep one. Is there a way to distinguish it there, from what, slod they, to dragon? Is there a difference? You don't feel like this at is At the slotted. embryonic stage? Yeah, you feel okay. like the slod wouldn't be crystalline? Like that, I'm, yeah, I'm gemstones. thinking this doesn't feel like slod to me. Now, it may be something even worse. But this is our colors? new dragon friend. Were they colors? The three different ones, different colors? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there the was a red, green, and blue. I, red, green, and blue. You Ruby guys, blue. I, I think exactly. this is a treasure. I think we got to treat this as a treasure. Unless you really want to hash out dragons right here. Well, not want... right here. Not right, right here. Let's take it back to the boat, because that's totally where you should hatch a dragon. <laughs> it's always a good plan. <laughs> this is the incubator. OK. Are we l removing them prematurely? I don't know. Well, that's a good nature you, people. You have more nature than I do. Go ahead. Yeah. Can I do it? You nature? have a dragon yeah. cell phone number. Call him up. Yeah. 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 You do. It's a black dragon. You got the scale phone, oh. if I recall. I, I got blue. an 18. It was blue. Blue. No, it's blue. It's blue. You're right. It's blue. 18. 18. Uh, so you feel like they wouldn't just become 
uh, non-viable if you pull them out of here, but that, it, that this is made to increase, to actually properly incubate them. So you would be doing something to hamper their hatch date, I guess. Do, do we know if those are three colors that are compatible? Like together? Yeah. Uh, not in, in the creature sense that you are aware of, would those colors be harmonious? On the on the stand that these eggs were on, or the yeah. incubator, is there any? We investigate it, look at it, see if there's anything else. Uh, that, is there, like yeah. another spot? Is there to a user an manual? Is there something? That, yeah. So uh, as you look around, make an investigation check. Six. Six. You do see some other divots, not just these that are roughly egg shaped, but that's all you get. Investigation Wait, around. wasn't this part kind of elfy? Uh, I mean, they all, it, it's like a, it's like the lizard folk and elves that long ago made very close designs. Can I do an investigation? So, I'm gonna, yeah. Hey, so we're come look at this. Well, yeah. Let me come look at this. Can we all look? Yeah. Can we try to talk to the embryos? I don't know. We should probably also go uh, back and look at the crystal. The 21 it's investigations. Cracked. So the you first time I, like, come over here and take a look. You see that some of these divots, it looks like there's a bit of eggshell in them as though something was hatched. If it had been as old as these ruins are, there's no way the shell would have remained. It seems to be, you're gonna guess, about the time that those Slod brothers were in here. And then maybe they took a dragon, did something. Hatched I had an, an 18 egg. insight, so I don't think so. So an, an egg hatched at about the same time as the Slod brothers were in here. We don't know it was a dragon egg. It could have been a Slod egg. You, it, it, this, this appears or that doesn't matter what kind of egg you put in here. Any egg will work. I think they flunked the test. Or they might have hatched their own dragons. Or someone put a bunch of Slod things here. I don't think these are Slod eggs. No, I don't think they are either. These are our new dragon friends. I'm not... Dragon but they're not, they're not, <laughs> yeah, they're not terribly compatible dragons, right? Well, we keep one and sell the rest. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> if we bring them up together, they won't know. They will know. They yeah, they will. They'll okay. Gene's got an interesting idea. My idea is that we contact the black dragon and it's sell blue, him the blue eggs. Dragon. Blue dragon. Blue dragon. Yeah. Blue dragon. And space. sell him the mm -hmm. eggs. He'll, He'll probably give us eggs. something nice for dragon eggs, but... Jeans for idea. child trafficking? He's going to give us something nice for child trafficking. Oh my shit. gosh. <laughs> I'm channeling my inner Abram. <laughs> no, this is the thing where um, show Abram would never do that. <laughs> Stop it. No. So, um, I, know. Know. Mm, I thought is, thing. you're the one that said omelet earlier. Uh, to, hatch, should stop. to hatch these, if we put them in one of those, put one in a divot. Yes. He can play different notes. Yeah. He can sit Not on F. It. Don't, play not F. F. don't play F. And <laughs> don't play D. But, yeah, don't make it well, despairing. I agree that we can hatch them, but do we want to hatch them? Yeah. I don't know enough do about dragons. Do we want dragons. to summon a blue dragon and, and have it just take our eggs? Well, I think maybe if you want to hatch them, let's hatch them now. Well, we maybe, one of the eggs maybe is blue. E for egg. 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 But the uh, one of the eggs is blue. Uh huh. That is true. Yeah. So we could summon the blue dragon and see and get advice, or, or get we, all the eggs taken from us, what? or fight the dragon. And you know, he's got. A, remember, he had pockets in his scales filled with magic items. Do you so, know enough about dragons? I don't know anything about dragons. Does Does anybody, do you know anything about dragons? Like, if they're babies, can we control them for at least a little while before they try to eat us? I don't know. Do we know anything about dragons? Uh, Animal handling. Make a um, um, make a history check. Fathom. Only one of you, and it's going to be Fathom. Thirteen. Oh God. You have definitely heard stories <laughs> of people rearing dragons before. Absolutely, especially from egg. You have also heard stories that they're they're not the perfect. Sounds like a job for pets. <laughs> They need room to run around. They're not yeah. good for small they're, apartments. They're very they probably eat a lot. They're very independent <laughs> creatures. And, uh, and uh, they're sassy. 
uh, yeah, sure. Sassy. I like a sassy pet. But do we have a little time, or do we hatch them and suddenly we're on a defensive again? No, they grow. It would be a little okay. time. So they can spend a hundred years as a wormling. Okay, so we could probably kill them if it goes bad. <laughs> Wow, uh, yes. dark, but okay. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Well, when they're yeah. dog-sized. What do you mean, wow? <laughs> dragons. Just that's He's your just first defense. You hatch out a He's dragon and shoot off your leg, you got to get rid of them. The question right, is, fair. there's a paper, there's like a newspaper or something. Well, maybe so, a but you're an elf, bottle. so you would know. A water bottle? How yeah. much, how much dragon kibble can you make out of one adult elf? <laughs> Quite a bit. I mean, for a wormling. Especially if yeah, I keep is. resurrecting him. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. You want to try the, the note experiment? Yes. Uh, Which color, then? E. I say let's hatch them. All of them or just one? All of them. All right, let's do it. Let's Wait, have well, triplets. Let's do it. We shouldn't. Why? I love the, I love the conflict. I the Remember, drama. I'm very wise, but I'm also stupid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're greedy. Attention. Well, uh, I don't care about greedy. Um, we have about well, the nature boy... Loves the idea of bringing new life into the world. So yep. If you yep. guys are in the Call it good. contest, please come line up over against If you want to try the E experiment, go ahead. But should we put them in the notches first? Yes. Yes. Maybe you should play an E note before to see what it does. That's a good idea. as you play it. Okay. Yeah. I'm fully dressed, by the way. I couldn't yeah. have possibly we, counted on a bar to show up to hatch the eggs. Put the eggs back in their original positions. Okay. Not that's not this. Yeah, that's not the notches. Yeah, not in the new, not in the new, in the old, okay. wherever they were yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. Come back. Play your E. Play your E. Bow. Bow. Make a performance check. Maybe Is he these, doing a C yet? Maybe these grow up and erase all, the eradicate all the slots. <laughs> so we'll be a partner in genocide. Oh, hello. 30. Hey. Wow, 30. that's gone. The eggs hatch oh, no. That's, no, 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 that's no, the most halfway. perfect note that's ever been played. <laughs> um, I'm the Pete Townsend of gnome bards. <laughs> okay, the E rings out across. The magic does seem a little more cohesive than it has been before. Uh, it doesn't seem it. It doesn't seem to focus on any of you, uh, but this this hatchery, uh, this incubation chamber that you're standing right next to, so you feel like the, you feel like it shudders a little bit beneath your feet as you play that. Magically, it definitely lights up some magic sort of sheds off of it a little bit. This note would do something in this chamber. To those cavities. To the cavities as it circles is, about it. Is the crystal reacting light-wise any differently? No. Is the water gazebo reacting? No. So it's definitely affecting the hatchery. Yes. I think we take the water gazebo and the baby and dragons I'll... and get out of here. Instead of Baba O'Reilly. So we're putting the eggs in the notches yeah. and you're playing the best E ever. Yes. Best e. Well, I don't know. I just played the best E ever. You're playing the second best E ever. All right. Play that, play that funky E. Funky music, white gnome. Merely a 22. Merely. <laughs> they, uh, the, the whole, you, you put them in. They kind of stay there. When he plays no, it covers back up sort of starts to sink back in. Uh, magic runes light around it. All the way around. It's like very properly activated. It seems like a properly activated magic device. All the way around it. There's a little bit of... Just a little bit maybe of... Uh, bright flare that could be fire-ish, maybe, like a big, like a little spark that kind of up around the seam mm -hmm. of everything. Like they're in the microwave too long? Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit like they've been in the microwave too long. So they're no longer <laughs> easy over. <laughs> and then, it's quiet. 
Let's check them. Is that how you put things in? We're supposed to take things out? All right. As you even go to check them, you, you hear a little tick, 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 tick from the Here inside. they come. They're going to be bored. Exciting. We check them. So you, you, all right, so you've already been there, so you know how to pull them up, basically activate them. You start activate sprinkling it, so. salt on Abran's leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dragon kibble. All right, so. Um, we're gonna use like a, that, you don't eat all at once. We're going to uh, use a D6. We're going to say it goes uh, green, blue, red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll the D6, Mr. Gnome. Four. Blue. Blue. So as you kind of raise it up, the blue crystal is shattered, and you see a little talon come out of the blue crystal. Hooray! <laughs> sort of screeches out. Uh, a little wing pops out behind it, and the egg, which was about this big, probably held a body that was about this big, that was scrunched up, that kind of That's not pops its wings out, it just reaches, sort of scratches its head up, and the crystal shatters away. It doesn't look like the exact blue dragon you saw before. It's got almost a bit of, uh, in sort of normal scales, they look more like gemstones almost around it. Oh boy. It's a fancy dragon. So not purely blue, but more it's like... A sapphire dragon. A sapphire sort of dragon, right? And it sort of cracks away. It sort of, it tilts its head butt up, looks around at the gnome. Come to mama. Oh, it's imprinting. Gets out a little, and then pops up, and that's the end of our game. Ah. Lovely. Right. Oh. I'm gonna end up. All right. Ho hopefully your dragon milk comes in soon. <laughs> Yo, why don't we have some snacks in our pockets and whatnot? We do. We have a we have an elf. It's salted. He's elf. not in my pocket. <laughs> We only Hold him do, down, I'll We I'll only took your left off. forearm. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Hold him hold him down, lizard, and I'll saw off some elf. So uh the they, seem elf they, they seem to be gemstone dragon. What? They seem to be gemstone dragon. Ooh, we hatched yeah. a, we hatched a sapphire. They're extra special. Just only one. one. So okay. far just one. A sapphire. Yeah. Elves regenerate, right? You won't miss a toes. Yeah, I just pull another arm out of my cloaca. Yeah. <laughs> the gnome has to figure out how to suckle this dragon. That's going to be interesting. And that is where we're ending after the hatching of the dragon. So, Hello. thank you. You made it through. Now I'm so, super confused. Uh, <laughs> yes, you you got through that. Yeah, it's uh, so <clears throat> oddly you were here in search of what the brothers were doing down here, and so you. You don't know exactly, but you probably have a better idea that they were up to something with this. English they were trying to get were control trying to get of these dragons, dragons, is what I'm thinking. Possibly, yeah. And they got slaughtered. And they got ace three eggs right. turned into one. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if we yep. can get more. No response. We just, just get that. One. Or, well, there is an old okay. saying: don't screw with the dragons so if you're a frog. The <laughs> I mean, sapphire yeah. or something, uh, yeah. or an like elf, something like that. Yeah. So while, while you probably didn't get the answers you were seeking, you got some answers and more questions. So the other two eggs are still there. Yes. We got one that's hatched. Yes. Seems like the appropriate way to set up a scene. I don't see how this stops us from taking control over this entire world. Yes. King Pugil, Emperor Pugil. <laughs> and, we got a, and we got a water gazebo on top I of know. it. I know, that rules. <laughs> a water gazebo staff. Uh, that is now, I guess, apparently made of obsidian. An obsidian water gazebo staff. <coughs> I love it. I guess we don't need to buy the bouncy castle anymore. We'll, we'll raise these dragons and conquer the kingdom of the elves. Just as if they were our own children. <laughs> I love it. So for everyone watching, we're going to log off now. I'm going to say my thank yous to the artists. I'm going to let them plug uh, what they want to before we leave, though, um, and before I give you my final goodbyes. We're not raiding or anything because we have a costume contest that we might present some of to you in the very near future. Uh, but I'm going to start I'm gonna start with you, Bobby. Anything you want to... That was super fun, Frank. Thank you very much. Thank you all. That was great. Um, I do want to plug 
My Superior Dungeon Dwellers Dice available tonight, ReaperMini.com. Did and, you uh, sculpt those dice? No, but <laughs> oh. Ron did prompt me to, to pin oh, them. Okay. Are they all that color? Is there a I don't have any idea. I don't, okay. really don't know very much about them. You're not a very them. informed spokesperson. Wow. Yeah. No, I'm just obeying. You're not asking. <laughs> Nobody am, tells artists anything. They know that. Already. I'm an obedient spokesperson. Dungeon Dwellers Dice, ReaperMini.com. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Thanks to all your staff and all, everybody who's watching. And I had a great time, as always. And uh, I'm looking forward to what these, uh, these new treasures hold in store for us. Yes. Can't wait. Elf kibble. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thanks, Frank. I think it's safe to say that uh, everything's been re-energized re -energized again. Um, ReaperCon's always great for that. It's always great for our creative boost, speaking on behalf of the artists. Uh, thank you to the crew, and stay tuned. There's some good stuff in the future. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. I think we, everything's been regurgitized as well. <laughs> regurgitized, yeah. <laughs> had, had a great time. Thanks for everybody tuning in. Thanks for all the great miniatures. Thanks for all the sets. Thanks for Frank and his team. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for the drinks provided by Frank and his team. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael. And, well, and then so tomorrow, tom oh, well, we'll be judging tonight. Tomorrow, there's going to be a special edition of Crow's Nest on. Which here. That's true. So we're gonna have special I forgot guests. All about that. Um, also, I think we'll be broadcasting the MSP award show. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> tune in for that, see who all wins. If you're here, you wanna watch, whatever, I think that's great as well. Um, and then there, I'm sure there's gonna be other broadcasting as well. So we got a couple shows on tomorrow and more streaming and what have you. But thanks again, thanks everybody again for watching. It's always fun. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, all the people behind the scenes and you guys in front of the screens. We really appreciate it. And thank you, Derek, for coming and rolling dice way better than I do. Yay! And helping us survive. <laughs> Derek, Derek put on a clinic in how to roll dice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think there's a Beyond the Kit this Monday, but uh, I believe on Tuesday is when all the ReaperCon goodies go on sale on the website. Yep, I forgot. Yep. Everything yeah, that you could have got here, you can now get online Tuesday, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Well, if it's left, I guess. Including? Including Dungeon Dwellers oh, Dice. Yeah. No, but no, no. also Barrowgate boxes that have that awesome new painting. Oh, box. you need the Barrowgate yeah. box. And I think the dragon that Aaron was airbrushing earlier, the bust, right? Oh, yep. I think that's yep. there. You yep. can get your very own sapphire dragon if you paint them blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Uh, Derek, and Hi, Jen. Thanks for, uh, <laughs> well, uh, thank you for letting me join you here. Um, and uh, I'm glad I was able to contribute. Uh, thanks to Pizza Dungeon Dice. <laughs> the green ones are guaranteed to roll natural 20s in a statistically uh, uh, improbable manner. Uh, so, uh, and and they taste Pizza better Dungeon than this. Dice. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Same color. So, um, uh, and... Uh, tomorrow, because of Ann Forster and her new um, who puppy, we love, her her uh, puppy uh, stewardship at home uh, means that I am going to be your um, fearless host Yay. for the MSP Open Awards ceremony tomorrow. So tune in and see what kinds of shenanigans I come up with and what sorts of shenanigans I have to put up with from other people, <laughs> right. perhaps at this table, oh, perhaps in the right. uh, uh, viewing audience. When you I got mean, Derek, you got hijinks. Yeah. That's what I mean. I want to work it with them. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. So yes, thank you everyone. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna give you a break screen or something like that in between while we change up around so we can cover the cosplay contest. You get a, a nice look at some of the. Uh, there's been some cosplay. I even saw a Sophie. So uh, Ooh, there's been some good stuff up there. I missed that. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, hang in there and uh, we'll be back in I don't know half an hour or something like that with the uh, cosplay contest. Thank awesome. you everyone. Thanks Bye. again everybody. Thanks. Goodbye from ReaperCon. Awesome.
Hello, ReaperCon. Can I get a hand for all our awesome cosplayers we've got back here? Yeah. <laughs> I am Meg the Fury. I'm going to be one of the judges today. Hi, I'm Stanisas Cosplay, also one of the judges. And I am Queen Teeny Cosplay, also one of the judges, and we are with Nightheart Gaming. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, our our first entrant today is John Bone Panda. Woo! Next up, we have Jennifer as a pirate. <laughs> All right, Ted, Count Ulrich of the Frozen Sea. Sawyer, Wizard Roland. Yeah. Peter, Thornfrog. Amy, Rogue Alchemist, Alaria. From the city of Absalom on the continent of Galorian. We have Luke, Victorian Green Lantern, Vicky, Victorian Hot Girl, Valerie, Victorian Wonder Woman, and Shauna, Victorian Supergirl. Yeah. We are the League of Extraordinary Justice. Daniel, the wrestler barbarian, Craven the hunter. <laughs> Raymond, Gen Greymane, King of Gilneas. Pammy D2, Bella the Pirate. Oh, yeah. oh and Steven. <laughs> Dungeon explorers, treasure hunters, monster slayers, adventurers for hire. Patrick, the Woodland Elf, and Audrey, the Woodland Elf. <laughs> Isabella, Witch Rosie. Miria, 
Penguin. Maxwell, Tom Fixit's HVAC wizard. <laughs> Lily, the cyber dragon and cyber pup. Lotus Kitten, the Cyber Dragon Mom. Yeah! <laughs> Richard, Steampunk Texas Plague Doctor. Graham, Drain Brownbeard. Yeah. Barrett, Thar, Half Elf. Lindsay, Darius the Wizard. Yeah! Lauren, Ballroom Sophie. Dan, Okar Corsa, Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Crystal and Aria, Reaper Miniatures, the final boss. Tom Paul the Wizard. Yeah! Go for it! Take four minis! <laughs> Pirate and First Mate. All right, everyone, thank you so much for entering. We will deliberate and announce the winners here shortly.
All right, for the adult category. We have, for third place, Luke, Vicky, Valerie, and Shauna, the League of Extraordinary Justice. If you want to take the stage and then come claim your prize. Okay. <laughs> Woo! You will all be receiving a four-day ticket for 2023. All right, number two, we have Dan Okar Corsa, Bounty Hunter. But watch out, he's coming. Yeah. 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 Round of applause. For second place, you win a four day ticket for 2023, as well as two $20 gift certificates. And first place for adults, we've got Daniel, the wrestler barbarian, Crave on the Hunter. You've won a VIP pass for 2023 as well as two $20 gift certificates. All right, for the kids category, for third place, we've got Lily, the Cyber Dragon and Cyber Pup. You'll be receiving two $500 rebar box and two $20 gift certificates. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, baby. All right, for second place, we've got Barrett, Thar, Half Elf. Uh, you will be receiving two $20 gift certificates as well as two 500 Reaper bucks. And first place for kids, we've got Graham as Drain Brownbeard. You'll also be receiving two $20 gift certificates as well as two 500 Reaper bucks. Yeah. We thought all of you were really spectacular, so we decided to add an honorable mention, and I would like to give that to Lauren as Ballroom Sophie. Yeah. And each of us judges has picked a judge award. So I will let Sinisa's cosplay go first. Okay. Okay. Um, so for my judge award, uh, I chose Crystal and Aria uh, as the Reaper Miniatures, the final boss. 
Um, if you guys said come on stage, show your stuff. I loved y'all's energy, and it was just, it got me going. You guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some painting now, because you can't have them. And, uh, yeah. Oh, they run in, too. Be careful. They're, they're coming. Yeah. All right, uh, my judge award uh, will be going to Pammy D2. Oh yeah, and Steve. <laughs> I really love their energy and they asked for a special request of how to be announced on and I just really loved that for them. And Steve. All right, my judges award will go to Raymond as Gen Graymain, King of Gilneas. I'm just a really big Warcraft fan and he looks amazing. Amazing. Give it up one more time for all our winners. Yes. So tell them all the winners and contestants to meet us in the world. All right. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for participating. You all look amazing. You did such a great job. We would like to get a group picture, and we also have some prizes for everyone. If you want to meet over there um, by where we lined up originally, um, even anyone who participated in the cosplay contest.